Hello and welcome in everyone to the very final day of the Harry Potter 2 PC Bingo Tournament 2023. It is unfortunately all about to come to an end, but I can promise you one thing, out of all the days you have hopefully watched so far, if not, they'll be linked up here just so you can re-watch them, you should do that before watching this video. But out of all the days, this one is by far the most exciting one. There's gonna be some matches that are gonna blow you away with how close they were and how exciting they were, I promise you that much. So I hope you're gonna enjoy this very final stretch. You know how it works, anything you could need is as always in the video description, the runners, the bracket, the schedule. And now I'll kick it off to pass Nick, so leading you into this day, showing you the bracket, explaining the, you the rules one last time, and then enjoy watching the carnage that is the final day of the bingo tournament 2023. We've made it to the very final day of the bingo tournament. It is about time. It is about time to finish. It's about time to figure out who's gonna be the best bingo player this year. The undefeated, well not undefeated, but the champion of this year. We have only five people remaining in this tournament. I can quickly show you the bracket. Um, because we've done all the matches up to this point. We have one more quarterfinal, which is the one we start with, Portal versus Luzak. And then we have both our semifinals. The one that we already know is Beaver versus Katashi, and then Flo versus whoever is gonna win this first, first match. And I can tell you that much, either of those five players is definitely gonna deserve winning this. They're all incredibly good. They've all played incredibly well during this tournament. I think at this point, I don't really have to play the rule explanation because if you, ha if you haven't seen any of those tournament days, then what were you doing? But I'll play it anyways, just in case some people do not know what this is about yet. And then we head straight into the match so we don't waste any further time. But before we can start into today's event, let's actually recap what this tournament is about. It will be played in a 1 vs 1 setting with the bingo lockout rules. So there will be a board with 25 different goals you can achieve in Harry Potter 2 for the PC. Once one of the runners completes a goal, they can mark it in their own color and after they claim it, it's gone for good. No matter how close the other person is, they cannot get it anymore. And whoever runner manages to claim more than 50% of the goals, wins. And here we are, back at it, back with the runners. We have Portal and Luzak both in here. Aloha. Hello. And we have an amazing commentator that's going to help me out during this match. We have Luke, who's back from unfortunately being defeated in the group stage. So welcome in Luke as well. Hello everyone, thank you for having me. Well, thanks for joining while being uh, quite sick. So appreciate that a yeah. lot, shout outs. We'll, we'll be fine, we'll be fine. It will be okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, also in counting, we have two people returning to that. We have Forgetful and Dino once again helping out behind the scenes with that. Really, really appreciate that. But I think now we can kick it off if both of you are ready. Uh, yes, I think so. Yeah, yeah sure, sure. Good. I, I like the confidence level, actually. Usually people say no. So uh, I'm expecting I mean, quite the battle here. Uh, since, uh, since, Port since Portal is running, can we ask one question before you start? Oh, yeah, you should. Yes. Portal, are you gonna win? <laughs> so listen, the thing is, I don't want to win, but I also don't want to lose. This Luzak. is a very like a peculiar situation. Luzak is by far better than me, but at the same time, I know I can win. But at the same time, I don't want to lose by Luzak, and I don't want to be the one that takes Luzak out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. This is an unfortunate situation. I played kind of played myself into a corner here, but <laughs> so, I don't. I don't expect to win, but I fully ex expect that I'm capable of it. Let's just put so it this. So Porter's Porter's inconclusive. Luzak, are you gonna win? Perhaps. Perhaps. Okay. Sounds good. Well. 
Yeah, I actually do like the confidence. I'll leave the count onto you as well, Luke, if you want to, and then we can kick this okay. off. Sure. Are both runners ready? Correct. Yes. Correct. Sounds good. Huh. Okay. Three, two, one. Bingo. Good luck. Good luck. Good, good luck. Bingo. Now we can take a look at the board okay. that I they have to back. deal with. All right. So the board. There's only one jump this level, so our world record holder doesn't get to play much of that. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. He is the world record holder now. True. Yep. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, nah, that's all good. Which one is it though? Actually, oh scourge. Uh, there's complete scourge without jumping. So let's talk synergies. What mm -hmm. do you see? Uh, not much so far. I haven't looked too much at the board. Scourge without jumping is interesting, though. I think there's nothing else in Scourge, so it's really not good. There's two Richter golds, as always. There's the crabs and yeah. the stars. Um, so I would be surprised if we don't see a Richter start. Maybe a race? Um, even, especially because there's 16 different challenge stars as well. Um, yeah, you have to collect nine from Richter for, the, for that goal, so you're already halfway there. Yeah, I kind of like that as a start, but obviously both of them are going to be scared if they actually race in that, so we'll see what they do. Yeah, if they were to come to a race, who are you pitting in the in the lead? Oh, that's a, actually a really good question. I don't actually know. Since it's just like normal, not jumpless or anything, I think yeah. they're really even on skill level. This, this is two really high level runners we're watching here. Yeah. Like I want to, I want to stress this for chat. We're we're being treated, even though it's still early in the knockout stage, we yeah. are being treated to an incredibly high level match here. Like this could be, if you ignore the existence of Beaver, this could be a final. This, <laughs> yeah. This is, yeah. This is really, really good stuff we're supposed to be watching here. So, one hundred percent. It would definitely be interesting if we see a race in any of the levels here. There's actually like an interesting start you could do here that I think both are gonna do. Like they probably start Riktu and then transition into Gryffindor Challenge 10 Challenge Stars because that way you got the 16 yeah. different ones out of the way. Uh, it's the, a, that would be a really good start. The route for Riktu into Gryffindor into Scourge is really strong here. Yeah, uh, it's just that they probably both want to do it. So yeah, yeah, and I don't what really do see much else. I mean, there's cards, the 31 Bronze cards and 43 Wizard cards, which is just awful. Yeah. I mean, alternatively, if you don't want to race, I guess you go outside and start collecting the long-term goals. You've got mm -hmm. 28 beans and willow to start off. All ground secrets, uh, day and night synergizes with that. Oh, and, and the Quidditch gate as well on the way. The Quidditch gate, there's the Finto. So there's quite yeah. a bit outside if you don't yeah. want to race, but inside is just so much more ideal. Oh, and it looks and, like Luzak is okay. not risking it with the Rick Luzak December race. Outside. So they're not going to race. Uh, probably a good decision if you don't fancy yourself against, yeah. against the other runner. But yep. that means that Portal is starting off with really good synergies right off the bat. Yeah, I, I like that though. Like, it's kind of a 50-50. So Luzag was probably thinking, okay, if I go outside, I can probably get some stuff done yep. and compete well, easier. Yeah. If you lose that race, if both go to Rektu, whoever loses basically loses the match. So I'm kind of happy they didn't do that. It would be a really tough start to the match if, they, if one of them loses it. Yeah. Alternatively, sure. they could finish at the same time and mark one goal each, but that's uh, oh. unlikely. <laughs> that would have, that would be insane, actually. That would be that would have been oh. an epic start, but oh. yeah. Uh, oh, talking Luzak. about a non-epic start for Luzak, he falls yeah. down, so he can't get in behind the Quidditch gate quite yet. Has to boost both, back up. Both of them making a couple of mistakes early mm -hmm. on. Uh, Porto not with the best entrance into Rick Sempra, but he'll 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 get there. Uh, yeah. As will Luzak with the Quidditch gate, so he'll, we'll see him jump onto the railing again, and I assume he'll just keep going on the railing, right? Because the first yeah. time of asking, he activated the secret, but this time, yeah, he'll just keep going. Yeah, I guess he wanted the silver card, because cards on this board, they're not terrible. Like, with the yeah. 43, with the Harry Potter card, the bronze ones. When you're looking at these two runners, it could come down to who starts focusing on longer-term goals earlier. Yeah because you'd expect them both to get a high number of goals. Uh, so then it's going to come down to that those kinds of things at the end, who's going to collect 43 wizard cards first, which is really long, uh, really long, goal, but it might come down to it at the end. Yeah, yeah, I fully agree because it's probably going to be like a really close match. Um, also, Luzak has started to play Quidditch because there is lose a match by 250 points. Yes, yeah, so, so it we'll get that off the board. I kind of really like what he's doing because Portal is going to spend a lot more time in Rikdu and he's also yeah. only going to get two golds and a bit of progress towards stars at the end of it. While there, is, like... there is lots of outdoor synergy here. Yeah. Uh, I, I still prefer the in indoor synergy, I think, but he can do a lot outside uh, th and they will be relatively even off the back of it, I think. Yeah. 
So yeah, he does delay know. marking the goals so far, which is which is smart because Portal at this point probably thinks that there's a chance that they're racing inside. Mm -hmm. Portal is probably full, fully nervous right now at this point. Then again, with Portal going for for this star, which is quite a long one, maybe he's confident that they're not racing or they've talked about it. Because that's you only need to get nine, and that's I think is the longest one to get, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, could be that uh, he's just going for 10, in which case he probably knows that they're not racing, because you try to be as quick as possible in that case. Yeah, it's, it's it's a weird choice to get that one, because there isn't really any star goals outside of the 16, and I mean... Yeah. Mm. And you've got you've got 10 in Gryffindor. Yeah, in race, so. yeah. so you should always yeah. kind of make it regardless, but I guess he just takes the extra star, because why not? Yeah, I mean, with 9 from Riktu and 10 from Gryffindor, you've already got 19. Uh, it is it is a good synergy to go to go straight into Gryffindor after this. Yeah. Meanwhile, Luzak goes into Forest. Uh, what are we gonna see in Forest? Do we have? Uh, well, he's no, gonna we don't get Boat Oh. Portal, Portal marks the challenge stars. Yeah, uh, I know what he wanted to do. It's actually really smart. He wanted to go for that star because he's gonna get nine stars earlier in case they race. Because ah yeah okay yeah. So he wanted to have the edge on the on the first goal. Mm -hmm. So That's actually loses, really smart. At least if he loses the race, they count one for one. Yeah, basically, yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, actually. But uh, at this point, he can probably tell that they're not racing, or else he'd probably assume that Luzak warped out, which wasn't the case, of course. Luzak is in forest. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. he's getting secrets. Is that on the board, or is he just getting cards? I don't think there's... Well, there's forest secrets, so he's just oh. going for the long-term goals, I guess. Well, there's spiders in and outside the Aragog fight, so he's definitely going to get yeah. the ones inside the fight. He's getting bow truckles, he's getting cards. I, yeah. I don't hate it, it's it's pretty good. But yeah, it's not... I mean, there's no explicit forest goals, but there is a lot yeah. of synergy with, with other goals on the board, so Ooh. that's good. And the gnomes, have... knocking over the gnomes as well, so it's actually really have... yeah, solid. Yeah. There's a lot to do here, that's a good choice. Yeah. Good choice by him. And as we said earlier, like there's a lot you can do outdoors. Uh, he can go to Willow after this if he wants and to get the ground secrets day and night. So he's definitely building towards these longer goals, which could could be necessary in this match. Yeah, but looking at Portal, oh, Lusak. Yeah, he knows. He knows Portal just yeah. finished Richter. He knows he has to mark that. That's that's yeah, smart. Yeah, that really if good decision. Portal notices and just uh, loses the match as opposed yeah. to waiting for the 250. Yeah, you could tell in his face that he definitely noticed. But that if he would have yeah, sniped that, that would have been an insane... like. It would have been really good for Portal. But yeah, yeah uh, Luzak with the presence of mind to look at the board while while running. He knows he has to mark it, and he does. So yeah. make sure that he doesn't get sniped on that one. Because that would be a really brutal one to lose if you do get sniped on that. Yeah, that would have been really rough to start this off. But now they're even. Um, now yeah. the question is, what is Portal going to do? Like, does he, So he knows that Luzak is outside. Does he try yeah. and snipe some of the outside goals? Probably. I mean, it looks like he's heading to Boomslang, which is usually a nice one to quickly pick up some things. I mean, he's going to have both yeah. truckles, the three There's frogs. Three chocolate frogs. That's a nice one to get off the board. Yeah. Uh, I still probably would have stayed inside myself, but I won't question these two runners. They're both a lot better at bingo than I am, so... We'll see what they go for. Yeah, I guess it's always a, a mix of you also don't want to get sniped on stuff, so... Yeah. yeah. Of course. And, I mean, they, they probably know what they're doing, I'd imagine. Oh, oh Luzak. Luzak. That's brutal. Okay. That's really unfortunate. He can still knock over one, I guess. Nope, he just continues. Yep. Oh, that's a big mistake. Like, he wanted to uh, yeah. do the infinite norms on the chest so he can knock over seven with a mushroom, but if it's down there, it's too much time yeah. to get it all the way back up. He might have to re-enter Forest for that one, I guess. So where, where else can he do that goal? I mean, there's a couple just uh, on the way. Like, he's he knocked over two in the beginning, so he's on two at least. Knocked over two, so... Okay, so he has to do another five. Yeah. I'm not sure there is another place where you can do five or one goal. Go. Uh, oh, not on one goal, no. The chocolate I'm... frog went into the gnome <laughs> hole for Portal, that's funny. Oof. There's a place in uh, in Defender where you can do three relatively easily, and then he just has to get two somewhere else on the way to Boomslang or something. But seven is a lot of gnomes to knock over. It's a pretty bad yeah. goal. Yeah, that's that's uh, probably why Luzak wants to do it in Forest, right? Yeah. Because you can yeah. you can get two at the beginning and then five with the with the infinite uh, with the infinite spawn. Yeah, yeah, it's the easiest by far to do it in. Or to meanwhile, no issues here with with Boomstank. He'll pick up his third frog over here on the way, mm -hmm. and then I assume he'll exit. Uh, he's also collecting oh, spiders. Oh, good! Yeah, uh, I like that. 
which is a good choice. It's I'm curious if the counters have a, 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 a what the counters say or the count on that is, because they're both going for it. It's interesting that he doesn't uh, doesn't get the third one. That's all the way at the bottom, but I guess it's too much walking, so I can kind of understand it. Yeah, I mean, you want to be fast either way. Yeah, and I there's, mean, there's he... always a chance that your opponent is in the same level, so. Exactly, and he probably assumes Luzak is either in like well, Boomslang or Forest since he warped and you got the match and stuff, so... Yeah. Exactly. Probably doesn't prioritize spiders like all that much. So Portal is collecting secrets. Oh yeah, uh, nice. In the grounds. Yeah, which means which he's... Is good, yeah, and he'll go... Will he go to the Findo or will he just collect the secret? So, okay, it looks like he's just going for the secret. I mean, it's a good question. I hope he's not going to enter it because Luzak oh, is, is already... Oh. Now this is coming from the guy who always says avoid the Findo like the plague yeah. in, in Bingo. He yeah. he does not like this level and he's gonna it's gonna bite him because Luzak's already here and he's gonna compete it quicker unless something catastrophic happens. He he should definitely compete it uh, complete it quicker. I mean I think Portal doesn't like the long goals in the Findo. At least it's only the a pretty short yeah. one, so it's not too much lost for him. Wait, oh he's going the boat truckles first, which is actually good for him. Like Luzak yeah. might mark it and Portal might not actually lose that much time. The, because the boat truckles the winning, are going to be helpful anyways. The winning route here for Porto would be if he doesn't uh, stack the mushrooms like Luzak is doing and then complete it quicker. Wait. Come. Oh yeah, yeah, I guess, yeah. That would be nice. Luzak is stacking mushrooms, so he will get that one. I wonder if he'll auto mark it. And if, mm -hmm. if Luzak does mark it instantly, what does Porto, how does Porto react to that? Does mm -hmm. he quit the level or does he try and just finish it quicker? That's a good question. You need to complete the Findo, or they just no, you don't, right? No, not for the no. for the five stack to Findo. No, no, no. I don't think there is any completion star on the board either. So I guess they technically could just no, warp. Really. Okay, so he could just warp oh out. Oh my if, god, uh... portal! <laughs> Why did he do that? <laughs> I have no idea. Why did he go through the window? I mean, it's cool and all, but yeah. <laughs> well, portal is is known for the for the swag strats, isn't he? Oh, he's True. gonna stack the mushrooms. Okay, so Luzak yeah. needs to mark this. And the question is, does Luzak have any idea where Portal is? Oh, it looks like he's tabbing out. Oh. Yeah, and he marks it. Okay. And Portal, uh, does he notice? He, he does. Okay, so he's going to warp out. Uh, quite a bit of time loss for Portal. It's not Probably. terrible, though. Like, he got the bow truckles, which is, it's I guess, a thing yeah. he came for, mostly. He still kept on working towards his long-term long, long -term goals. Yeah. I guess, probably now that you're going to spawn outside the Quidditch gate, you probably go for... for Willow, right? And then continue with your ground secrets. I, I would think so, yeah. I mean, that's also his advantage now. Luzak doesn't really know where he is, and he's out of the challenge before Luzak, yeah. so... Yeah, now he's going towards Willow, yeah. It could this be a reverse the, snipe, basically. I, I like this call. I think it's good by Portal to go straight for the Willow. Yeah. Goal. Also, wow, Luzak getting this card just for the card's sake. That's a long one. That's crazy. I mean, I guess he's getting the star as well, but wow, I don't know if I would have picked up this one, I mean, but... Fair enough. 43 cards is a lot, but yeah, that's yeah. that's a long goal. I mean, imagine it comes down to 43 cards, though, in the end. <laughs> it could be. It does come down. That would be that would be very fun and very nerve-wracking at yeah, the same time. It would be. Just watching them collect cards for like 10 minutes. <laughs> I mean, they are very close so far. So mm -hmm. this, yeah, could this be. match will, could go either way at this point. There's no clear favorite right now as they are. No, I wouldn't say so. Also, Luzak is in exactly the spot I mentioned earlier. We can uh, get those three gnomes relatively easily. So he'll be on five, right? Yeah, I believe so. I believe on five, which means he'll have to collect another, another two. I guess I guess he wanted... Mm, I don't know. I, the only ones I can think of are, I guess, Goyle and on the way to Boomslang. But is there anything in Goyle on the board? Six cards. Oh, there's six cards in Goyle, yeah. So he could do that. It's actually not it terrible, yeah. He's collecting it cards. He works towards the, the wizard card goal and the, the gnomes. Yeah. He does warp out after completing that, which makes sense. And it works towards the boat ruckles. He didn't complete it, by the way, I'm pretty sure, because um, he, uh, I think the gnome was inside the hole and didn't get up anymore, so he just warped out. Oh, yeah. So he should be on four only, which is, four. again, unfortunate, because that means he can't finish it either. And oh, I guess he can still finish it in Goyle. There's three you can knock over. There is three? Okay, I'm not yeah. entirely sure of... I, I don't have the best knowledge of this game yet. Is he going to go towards Willow? 
No, he's not. Okay, so no. Luzak is not going to get sniped on this, which is good no. for him. He's probably just picking up the gnomes here and the cards. Yeah, gnomes and uh, secrets. So they're both going to be working towards uh, ground secrets, I imagine. Oh, maybe, yeah. That's that's a possibility. Yeah, he, he knows he can knock over a gnome here, which is good for him. So he needs two more. So he needs two more, yeah. I have to uh, say, though, like this goal is costing him so much time right now. It is, it really is. It's not supposed to be this long, basically. Uh, meanwhile, Portal is... Oh, he got a frog! He got a frog at full oh, health! Nice. No way! <laughs> that's nice and lucky for him. Oh my god, that's that's ridiculous. Collect the final four beans of, of Willow. And that's another goal done for, for Portal. Oh my god. I mean, to be honest, this goal, I, I thought about that before. This might be one to remove just because of that reason. It's just kind of dumb if you yeah, get RNG the there. The knocking over the gnomes? No, no, the, the, the beans in Willow. Oh, yeah, the beans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Maybe true. find a different thing in Willow. But, like, if you can get RNG'd out of it, it's just, it's kind of a bit stupid. But yeah, apparently, apparently he missed two beans already, is what mine is saying. I'm not sure. Wait, so but if you I get the it. frog, you can't get all 28 beans? No, no. Oh, did. I didn't know that. Oh, okay. And, like, the thing is, you can never get it. Like, he can't get that goal. It's done for him. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, because yeah, okay. the chest that's, is empty. Maybe that's best, best to remove, then. At least it's not a complete waste of time, because he can get the secrets. Yeah. You can only you can only do those after completing Willow, of course. He would have been able to complete Willow a lot quicker if he knew he wasn't gonna get the beans, but Yeah. That's fine for him, I guess. That's really unfortunate. If that loses him the game, that would be really, really, really sad. Yeah, it would be. Ah, okay, and apparently he did get the beans as well. According to our official counters. Uh, who got the beans? Uh, portal. Like the other beans. Uh, oh, okay, okay. I, I mentioned he might have missed two before, but no, apparently he didn't. Uh, could you just give me a minute? This might need to be a solo cast for a minute. <laughs> all good, all good. Sorry. No worries. Um, yeah, anyways, we can look at Luzak, who's making his way towards Gryffindor Challenge. I'm not entirely sure how many stars he's gotten in the Findo. Maybe he... Oh, maybe that's why he went into the long secret. He might be on six, which would finish this for him, which would be another kind of snipe for Portal. Um, because he, he already made good progress towards that with the nine Rictu stars. So really, hmm, I'm not sure. That would be very curious. I would be very curious to know how many stars Luzag is on. Because I feel like that's what his plan is. And meanwhile, Portal is still collecting the outside secrets. Is now, I think, finally done. Doesn't get the silver card. Oh, no. There's so many card golds on this board. If it's that free next to you, you should at least pick it up, but that is the outside secrets done for him, but he's still with a very sizable disadvantage. And Luzak is marking the seven gnomes. Okay. I'm not I'm sure back, about that one. Welcome no back. Solo cast. Hello. No worries at all. So I, mean, I see I'm, I see Luzak and Gryffindor challenge. That's yeah. that's a good goal. Yeah, I'm I'm thinking he's gonna snipe the sixteen different stars here, actually. Yeah, probably. Uh, and I, he marked the seven gnomes with a mushroom. I'm not sure if... I mean, in my counts, he's on six, but I might have missed one uh, during the cast. But I'm sure the counters have made sure he actually is on seven. Yep. Exclamation mark counters, if people in chat need to know who, who those are. Yeah. A uh, big thank you for all counters in this match and the tournament uh, for doing a great job and saving us a lot of work. 100%. Okay, so Portal gets an easy goal with the... 16 beans, right? It is 16, right? It is. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised he doesn't mark that instantly because it... Oh, like I was he about does, to say, does. yeah. Relatively instantly, but the, the advantage for Luzak is opening up now. Mm -hmm. And even it will though, open up even more now with the, with the Gryffindor challenge. Even though Portal is delaying one goal, but I think this will be two for Luzak. He doesn't mark yeah. the 16 challenge stars. Maybe he didn't get six in Defendo. And... If Luzak goes to Scourge, that's pretty good for him, I'd say. Yeah, he, then he can definitely finish out his stars yeah. and also the jumpless Scourge, of course, so I kind of like it. Yeah, he'll get this card first, which is good, since he's working towards those. Yeah, unlike Portal, Great. who I think has skipped all of them. There's, of course, by six bronzes as well, but that's uh, quite a long one, as it requires dueling. And I, with the way the match is going at the moment, it probably won't come to that. 
Mm -hmm. It was very close for a while, but we are starting to see a gap now. Yeah, unfortunately for Portal, uh, Luzag is claiming a lot of stuff. Oh, also has the bow truckles and everything. I didn't even see him yeah. claim that. Portal will spawn the gnomes. How many does he need? It's 13. That's quite a yeah. bit, but he's working through them uh, very quickly. It's a lot of gnomes. Yeah, even even pause casting on the toilet to make sure that they, they can't as quickly as possible. They pick up the card and he's going into chamber, it seems. So he does have all chamber secrets. Mm-hmm. Just a good one to get off the board. Like, Portal is definitely keeping himself in this match. If uh, if Luzak loses uh, an amount of time, it, it, Portal will have goals to, to keep oh, him competitive. Oh, for sure, for sure. It's definitely far from over. Like, it, Luzak has to continue to play well, and he did not get the... Oh, he's doing jumbler, so he couldn't get yeah. the skip that well. Yeah, he, he sniped it, though, which is yeah. fine. Gets it done, very nice. Does not get collect this card. I'm surprised about that. It's yeah, he opened the chest, but yeah. uh, just left just it there, I guess. Had to wait like two more seconds. <laughs> yeah. That's a weird decision. Maybe he feels that Portal is racing him in, in Scourge. Maybe, yeah. Uh, might be feeling the pressure, but that's very that would be very yeah. specific. And then he would insta-mark it now, which he didn't, so <laughs> I guess that Wait. was not it. Okay, Luzak completes Scourge without jumping, so he'll mark that at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, probably can delay it for... A bit, but I mean, he doesn't. I don't know if he knows where Portal is, but he feels fine oh, with no. this for now. And he goes into Spongify. He does have a different Spongify challenge stars on the board. Has anyone marked the 16 different challenge stars yet? No, no. not yet. No, I mean, Portal doesn't have it. He's only been in Rick too, but Lou's like, I mean, at this point, he must have it. He went through Scourge and stuff. Like, this yeah, is a weird one to delay. And he's withholding uh, 10 different uh, Gryffindor challenge stars as well, right? Or yeah, yeah. He's withholding like so much. Very nice has yeah. though, but I, this board is confusing me because both of them are delaying like everything. Yeah, yeah they're they're definitely playing the mind games here. Yeah, they don't even need they don't even need to that much because they're not in the same levels. No. Oh, oh, portal feels that portal boost. Died. And Luzak has, has to wait for the cycle, Luzak so it's actually not that bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, they end up losing about the same amount of time because Portal did get the save book at least. So yeah, that's it's not too bad. About like even, yeah. Like the secrets from the Chungus route, or as I like to call it, the Chungus route at least. And that should be the, it for Chamber 1. Uh, how many secrets are there in Chamber 2? Uh, well, three in this client because the, the fourth yeah. one is broken, so it got removed. Yeah, makes sense. Okay, so Portal will go for the secrets here, just boost up on the opposite side that we usually would to get the secret with the imps, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And Luzak, meanwhile, just printing through Spongify. You'd expect this to go relatively smoothly. Uh, it takes a bit of damage on the fall, but you won't be too worried about that at this point. Well, it is nicer to have health, of course. He only has one one uh, mm. health bar so far. But it's a bit scary, yep. We'll see. It is... Uh, what's the goal? It's all Spongify secrets? No, it's... No, uh, it's eight, eight stars. stars. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which, again, it will get him to the 16 if he hasn't gotten it yet, which, again, yeah. I think he does, so... I think he does. Um, if he got the 10 Gryffindor challenge ones, he definitely has it. Yeah. And he marks... He does mark it now, 16 different challenge stars. There he goes. Maybe, maybe he wasn't quite there yet after Scourge, which would surprise me, but... I mean, the only info this gives away is that he's been to a spell challenge, right? Which yeah. isn't that much, so I would always kind of insta market. I'm yeah. still. What has he even been to at this point? Which level? <laughs> I know he's been to Forest, to Defindo. Uh, Forest, Defindo. Scourge. Uh, Scourge for sure, yeah. He hasn't been to that many levels. No. Really, he's, if, I'm, if I'm recalling correctly. He's, he has uh, rooted his goals really well to, he does, to get into yeah, as, yeah, few, he as few levels as possible, I think. Oh, the Gryffindor as well, yeah, which he hasn't claimed yet. Yeah. yeah, that because I was thinking about the eleven boat truckles. It's kind of a lot, isn't it? Yes. How did he get like eleven in in forest? And is that possible? <laughs> in forest uh, and defender, because I can only think of ten in those level if he gets all of them. But I'm probably just one off somewhere. I'm really sure. Could I'm sure the counters will will tell us if we're wrong. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Portal going back to Willow. He went boomslang. When was Luzak in boomslang? I don't remember that at all. <laughs> But that oh, makes yeah, he sense did, then. He did actually, yeah. Yeah, both uh, of them went to Boomslang. Okay, okay, that uh, makes sense. I think sense for then. the 
uh, old truckers probably. Yeah, he went back for it. Wait, Portal is back yeah. in Willow. I don't. Portal I don't, is back in Willow. He can't get those though, right? You I said. don't think so. Or do they actually respawn? That's actually good then. I thought the goal would soft lock. That's that's on me then. I thought it would, but if it I, doesn't soft lock, then that's good news for Portal yeah, at least. Yeah, that's really he, good. He he needs some. He needs a lucky break at this point. Yeah, he's quite far behind, unfortunately. Yeah, two goals, and I mean, Luzak is withholding at least the Gryffindor Challenge stars and Jumbler yeah. Scourge, so... Portal would take two at Willow, so let's see. So, is does he actually need to collect the ones he's already collected then? Because he already has, technically. Mm, that's a sure good point. Is. I don't think he would. Usually that's how the bingo goals work. Like, if he's gotten them in the first yeah. playthrough, he doesn't technically need them in the second playthrough, but... Yeah, I, like think collecting them all again. yeah I, I think it's best. Yeah, I think insane. it's best what he's doing. Oof. Wow, okay. The board just filled up with blue goes. Oh, those beans are gone. He's still going through as if they would be there. Yeah. Um, just keep going for it. Just see if the chest I, uh, has the beans you need. I would say this is definitely fine. I hope he doesn't just like quit out of it now thinking he can't get this anymore. No, he's, he's going to try and uh, clip up to the, to the area with the last chest. Oof. Also, Jesus Christ, Luzak like, just marking everything yeah. he was holding. Luzak marked in bulk, and now the now it's looking dominant. Now mm. it's uh, looking grim for Porto, as we knew it was. Yeah, you can't empty those anymore. The beans are gone. No. Let's see if the chest gives him. Is that is yeah. that what he needs? That is what. That's the one he missed in the first playthrough. So okay. I would say this is completed. He he, he doesn't yeah. really know. He seems a bit unsure. He's yeah. shaking I, his head. I would mark it as complete. It, yeah, that seems fine to me. Like he's already collected the other twenty-seven, so he just needed that one. Yeah, same. Luzak's still getting cards. I'm curious how many cards they're on actually. I mean, I, I can't really tell him in bingo chat because otherwise Luzak knows he's been to Willow. So yeah, kind of. I don't know what the best way to do this would be. Yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, for all we know, Portal's just withholding it, right? Yeah, I mean, I, he I was shaking it, but... his head, so you, I don't know. Yeah, he seems unhappy. Uh, he probably thinks it doesn't count. But we'll see. Yeah, I can, I can, I can do like a, a portal valid in the chat. There, would that be fair? Uh, I think if you just tell him like it's valid, he might know what you're referring to. Yeah. Like it, Luzak won't know what you're referring to, but uh, portal will. Although, of course, if Portal does mark it, then lose up. No, but I mean, it's still no anyways. Yeah, I, I, it, so. I put it in there now. So, yeah, just yeah. let no Portal know that it's valid and we'll see if he marks it or not. He's going to yeah. duel, so he's going to try and buy six bronze cards. I think Portal at this point is just going for the the goals, which he knows are available, which he's not going to race lose again. I think he's just trying to get as many points on the board as he can. So that if Luzak messes up, he'll have enough goals to to catch up. Yeah, for sure. Like I mean, he's he is still holding the thirteen gnomes. In the exactly, he's withholding that and Chamber Secrets. So he has two in the back, he's, three now yeah. with Willow, and yeah, yeah, Chamber Secrets, Beans and Willow, and uh, thirteen gnomes in the girls' bathroom. So if yeah. he does get the six bronze cards, that is another four goals for Porter. And Luzak is on like the goal one, nine. but it's kind of a long one, so yeah. It's gonna take him a bit, and the dueling for Portal is gonna get him the buy bronze cards and the Quidditch yeah. armor, and then it might actually come down to the wizard oh, card collection. This Quidditch armor as well, yeah. Okay, so this is yeah a lot less dominant than it shows on the board right now. Yeah, for sure. I lost track of how many goals Portal was withholding. Uh, a lot. No, two. I guess yeah. three, three yeah, actually. The three, uh, three at the moment, and four. Well, five really once he completes dueling. Yeah, but the which is which makes it a lot closer. It does make it closer, but the unfortunate news is that as long as he doesn't snipe Luzak on anything, he's still not looking yeah. the best. Yeah, that's the issue, because Luzak is working towards those long-term goals as well. Yeah, and I don't know how many cards he's on. I mean, he's probably still going to be quite far away from 31 bronze and 43 cards as well. He has a lot of cards. Yeah. Oh, okay, he marks oh, those there he goes. Was withholding. There we go. So Portal now taking the, the goals off the board. Mm -hmm, just in case. Sadly, he does not yeah. snipe. Well, sadly for him, does not snipe Luzak on either of those. So Yeah, that's pro definitely what he would have been hoping for, but it doesn't work out that way. Oh, he goes for setup as Goyle. Nice. Oh, there from Luzak. Always really cool to see that. 
that would that would uh, that would scare me. And the menu, he's just flexing on us at this point, Lou Zekud. He gets to set yeah. up this wall walk, he gets the menu walks so effortlessly. I have to say, he's been playing really well this match, but both of them have been. I mean, it was a shaky start from both, but since then yeah. it's been really nice. And there is uh, a reason why after Beaver, the second most uh, predicted winner in challenge is Luzak. Yeah, that's true. He, he is insanely strong. Like He was really, really strong last year, but he, he is even better this year. Yeah, but even if he should pick this one up, he still has to beat Flo in a best of three, which is absolutely not easy, so... Flo is never easy. No, we'll see if he did can even make it to the final, and we'll see if Beaver can make did, it to did, the final. Did Luzak miss a card? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Did, did he just mark a goal and it got unmarked? Did I see correctly? Oh, it did get unmarked. Oh my god, he did miss a card. Oh, that's oh. so bad for him. So that's that's the lifeline for Portal, I guess. Yeah. Because he's going to get two goals off this. That's what he needed. And now for Luzak, I mean, he can still get both Quidditch cards. Oh, like, I guess I guess he can get Silvers and the Harry Potter card, so it's not yeah. actually that bad. But It's not awful, but he did lose a lot of time. Yeah. He did lose a lot of time to this time which Portal has been gaining dueling which will give him two goals. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, Luzak is on 20 silvers once, already. Once Portal gets those two goals, it's only card goals left, which I think Luzak is ahead in. Oh but yeah, for sure. I, I, to, be, to be honest, I don't even know if Portal is going to get those two goals done because Luzak is going to get 11 more cards in this challenge. Oh, yeah. He's, he's okay. at least on 30 already, happen. so... Yeah. So this is... Good for Luzak then. Uh, he'll get the Harry Potter wizard card, he'll work his way up towards 43. I think he Very might different. be there at the end of gold cards. How much does the Quidditch armor cost? So is it 750 or 500? Uh, 500. 500, okay. So yeah. Portal needs, if you take 200 per card for the bronze, uh, he needs about 1700 beans. Uh, so he should be good after his duel with the safety net of a few more. Yeah, he should be. I, I just really don't think he, he will get around to buy it, unfortunately. Oh, except if Luzak dies a couple yeah. more times. Luzak died, so why is Portal still dueling? Does he not have enough beans? Are my calculations off? Mm, no, I don't think they are. Or perhaps he wants to buy as many cards as possible to work his way up towards the card pose. That maybe, yeah. That's a, Oh yeah, that makes sense. That's actually smart, yeah. Because yeah, he has entered a fair few levels, so he can buy a number of, of cards. Not, he doesn't have to limit himself to six. No, and you can buy silvers anyways uh, at yeah. any point. So at, if... at the end of the day, if you're ready at the dueling arena, it's probably quicker to duel Peter than to uh, go into a level to try and get the card. Yeah. Full, fully agreed. These, these menu walks. These menu walks <laughs> are so fun to watch. They are cool, yeah. He does them. He does them so often. He's collecting all the cards as you would expect, but it helps him to work his way up to the goal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is this a good idea though from Portal, I would say, to go dueling and go for yeah. the card goals. Like it's his last, it's his only chance. There's so many card goals left. That's I mean, the only way he would win. There is only card goals left, except for Quidditch Armor. Yeah, <laughs> basically. And, and only one of them requires you to go into a level, a level which Luzak did try and did not manage to do, because he did forget the card. Otherwise, it would, I think, already be over, but it's not too much left anyways until he gets the Harry Potter card and then he's just going to mark everything, yeah. both the golds. Yeah. And then we kind of have it. Yeah, it's, uh, it was a good race, especially the start, uh, but Luzak did end up running away with it a little bit towards the end. Yeah. Showing his strength in bingo and showing why. Maybe Beaver should be a bit of afraid, or maybe not afraid, but not complacent about his title. Oh, for year. sure. Especially in a best of five. It's going to be a nice back and forth, I think. What's the bingo motto? Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, anything can happen. Anything that's, can that's happen. A, anything can happen, so we'll see. Not in this match, probably. Uh, this this one seems pretty decided, but... That's and, true. Yeah, Porto is just going to buy as many cards as possible here, it seems. Yeah, and Luzak is done now, I believe. So, did he mark it? Is oh, he did. did. No, he didn't. He got the Harry Potter wizard card. He's is, is he not done? Is he... Now. How many goals does he have? He has four, uh, six, nine, eleven. So, he's got 12 goals for sure. 
it, is he not on 43 cards? I'm confused. He, mu could be. Oh. he must be, right? Unless he's just... What, what is he? BMing. <laughs> is, is he just... Okay, so there's a number of cards here. Uh, so I guess he's not on 43 yet. I guess. So he wants to. He just needs to collect his remaining cards. I mean, it must be Portal, that. Portal bought so many cards. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's good for him. He's he's gonna. They're, oh my god! Imagine he snipes the forty-three with that cards. I don't think he all, can. They're all silvers, though. Why didn't he buy? Any, I mean, I know it's over, but why didn't he buy any bronzes? Uh, I guess he. Mm, I guess he just wants to snipe the gold card challenge. Wait, where's he going now? Yeah. Oh, for the armor, and, yeah. And that's it. That's GG. Now he marked it, okay. I don't know, Luzak was apparently not sure if he had... Oh, no, he wasn't. He, he, now he's good. Yeah, that's it. Uh, yeah, that's he, he wasn't on, over. on 43, apparently. All right, let's uh, get them back in here, though, GG's. Well played, guys. I did not expect them to go cards, damn. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, was... that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, what the beginning was nice. also horrible. Does the Willow count? Yes, we've, yes, we've said yes, it should. Otherwise, it's really dumb if you can lock yourself out of it. Yeah. What happens? Okay. Um, I mean, I, I got a frog at like almost full HP. It was very, very, very stupid. And yeah, then you, very bad you, luck. You sniped like a lot of things. Mm. Mm, I guess I'm s I sniped or Forest or Defendo. Uh, both. No, yeah. Well. Technically, Defendo was more important, but yeah, that one you did. Also, I, I know I made... which part I forgot about the Goyle, because I was annoyed. Wait, why I did go to Boom's Dunk <laughs> when I have a Goyle to kill some more Tracles? <laughs> mm -hmm. And because of that, I got annoyed and skipped the first bronze. Ah. Also, I made like the wrong call, like lose a Quidditch match by at least 250 to snipe that, because I warped out of Rictu after doing it. Yeah, yeah, that's I why I uh, marked that. Because yeah, I saw yeah, you yeah. do Rick to Sempra, and maybe you're gonna warp. I was surprised that you didn't go since you were in Rick to Portal. I was surprised that you didn't complete Rick to and then go for Gryffindor challenge and Scourge right after. That's why I, mean, I was. I didn't scared. know where he was though. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I I didn't know what Portal was doing because I was for sure uh, certain he w went to Gryffindor challenge, get uh, different challenge stars. That's why I was on latter half. I should have. Yeah. Yeah, that's the cool thing about Bingo. The mind games are coming in, so you have, you don't really know what to do and what to believe. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we saw you skip some cards during the race, Paul, so I guess you didn't think it would come down to it, probably. No, yeah. it's not that. It took me a while to notice Harry Potter wizard card was on the board, nah. and then ah, I'm okay. like, okay, well then... It... I, was, I was, for example, skipping a lot of bronzes because I knew Portal was ahead, I was doing a lot of stuff that's not card related, mm -hmm. so I was focusing mostly on silvers, but getting some bronzes to get 43, basically. Yep. Makes sense. I didn't expect it to go gold cards, TBH. Uh, that one... Yeah. <laughs> I, I expected it to go back into Goyo, but I guess no reason to. Mm. Well, it yep. could be faster <laughs> than getting uh, the last two bronze uh, cards in Hospital yep. Wink, I don't know. Yeah, especially because the first card, I guess, but probably wouldn't have mattered much. Yep. Yeah, and on the other hand, I knew this gold is very possibly mine, because it's only the first card, so... Yeah. If yeah. it was yeah. the last one, then I would be screwed, but <laughs> it's the first one. Out of the yeah. cards he could miss, it was a good one, for sure. With that win... Luzak is now advancing. We have all of our semi-finalists out here. Only four people left standing out of the initial 16 that we had. Uh, the next semi-final is already gonna be Flo versus Luzak, the first best of three. And then we're gonna have Beaver versus Katashi right after. And I think basically at this point any match that's left is gonna be an absolute banger. Um, yeah, true. That means two of the group winners are out. Um, so the lower tournament or like the lower tree, actually quite an interesting one with technically two upsets. Even yep. though I think, you know, both Luzak and Portal being in pot well, one that was really close. Well, no, I like I like I said, Luzak's just better than me. But because also, of, like, I lost this is the best of one, I was scared. Maybe yeah. in best of three I would be a little bit safer because I knew that maybe yeah. I can win with Portal, but in best of one it's really scary. It's the second best player in this tourney. I mean, I, I, I don't know, man. Like, 
I, I got really effed up by Willow mostly, but yeah. also you, you sniped a lot of stuff. Well, we're gonna see Luzak again in the next match right away. Portal, unfortunately, with this, it's gonna be out of the tournament, but I think, I mean, going to quarterfinals, going out against Luzak, there's definitely worse. I think it was a pretty I, good run. I yeah. played myself into a corner, yay! <laughs> I mean, I expected, I expected this to happen. It, it's fine, he deserves it. We can safely say, though, that as always, you are very entertaining to watch, Portal. I'm, I'm happy. Yeah. Uh, always, sure. always a spectacle when you play. Yeah. Uh, thank you, thank you. Back live with the very first semi-final of the tournament, which also means it is a best of three, as you can tell by the little numbers that they have next to their uh, webcams now. Uh, which obviously, if anyone wins two matches out of those three, they advance to the grand final. And we have Luzak returning for the semi-final, facing off against Flo in this one. Hello, Hello. again. And I'm incredibly excited about this, but I will not be commentating this. I'm very happy to have amazing people in my stat, which are Henrik and Miney. Take it away. Yeah, are both runners ready? Yes. yes. Right, Henrik, do you want to do the countdown? Uh, sure, I haven't done a countdown this tournament. So uh, if everyone's ready, we'll start in three, two, a one, and a go, go, go. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Bingo, bingo. Let let us see. What do we have here? We have two boss goals. <laughs> Defeat Basilisk and Peeves. Mm -hmm. Or Spongify Secrets. Harry Potter Wizard card. Ten Spongify stars. There's a couple in Goyle. Wizard in Defindo. There's a lot of very long goals on this. Board. Yeah, um, it, this this is about to be quite the the long first match for this tie, yeah. which is very interesting. Seven imps as well, which oh no, that is good for Spongify plus Forest, isn't it? Cause three and four, yeah. So yeah, just about so. okay there. Uh, you have a lot of different see. challenge stars and very different spells. I I honestly don't know. If I were in their shoes, I wouldn't know where to go first. Perhaps Spongify? Yeah. I guess? But it's like... I don't know. <laughs> There's like a lot of synergy, but a lot of long goals. Yeah. You, ha you have um, uh, Kill 10 Spiders in the Aragog fight, and Kill 10 Spiders outside the Aragog fight, which I have never seen in a board uh, together, I don't think. I'm pretty sure we had so... that one just last match. Oh, there we I, yeah. I I was I, I, I <clears throat> I've been outed for having lunch. Um, anyways, yeah, that's a very interesting one because if you get into the forest when you like at seven or eight spiders, you know, or even five, I think Ooh. you can get them all in the forest and then just jump straight into Aragog fight. I just but, seen as well. Use five mm -hmm. potion cauldrons. A unique potion cauldrons, I should say. Oh, lots of ingredient collecting for that one as well. Buy three silver wizard cards. It's also quite the interesting one. This is this is interesting. Yeah, I'm I'm very intrigued to see where they both go. I mean, it looks like a tough board, but this is the semi-finals, the first semi-final of the tournament, so. We expect tough boards. Yeah. I, I guess the board delivers. <laughs> the board giveth and the board taketh away. Um, now they are going to start finally, finally running. They have a route set up in their minds. Either that or they're just uh, Both going outside. doing stuff. Both oh, they were going to go to Quidditch Gate. 
I assume so. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, makes sense. It's like the easiest goal to get because it's quick and then you can just hop into forest. Um, yeah, I assume a quite a do. few of them are trying to do that. There's not really any goals that relate to Quidditch. So the only time we will see Quidditch is probably with Quidditch warping outside of... Um, to, to warp Ooh. out of levels and stuff. And, uh... No, I got there first. Yep. The goal has been sniped. Luzak's laughing. Oh, this is quite... quite the interesting one. And they're both going to forest. This is yeah, a legitimate race. race, yes. The race is on. I'm surprised none of them decided to to stick with spell challenges. There's quite a few you could go for, but... You know, I, I guess both of them saw exactly the same thing as as the other one. Um, this is quite fun, this is quite exciting. There are quite a few spiders. Uh, in forest, there's not really much more in forest, I don't think, no. Um, you can skip the silver cards, so you can buy them later. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, I said there wasn't any goals regarding Quidditch. I lied. There's have a score on all six Quidditch matches, which... Well, if you... If you Quidditch warp a lot, uh, you will just <laughs> get it naturally, I guess. Yeah. But we shall see. They're very close together. They're like neck and neck. Indeed. This is going to be a very, very tense. Uh huh. Like. Lots of spiders already. Four spiders each, I believe, if I've counted correctly. There's imps in there. I forgot about that one. And they're both going for the imps. Yeah, I assume if you get be. these imps, you can then get the ones in Spongify and you're all set with imps, I think. So big props to our counters for this match and all of the the best of more than yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's quite a few things to count on this match. Uh, I think we can reveal who our counters are. Uh, we are currently having Nixo filling up that role, uh, not commentating for once. Um, and we have Dino as well. I don't know oh, who is counting up. for who. But, uh, I, I thought you said throwing up, I was very confused. Well, <laughs> no, 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 um, no. I believe Dino is continuing for Luzak and... Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, Nixo has confirmed that he's counting for, for Flo. You're doing um, Flo, are you? Yes, so. doing Flo. Uh, here's loud-ass Aragog, they're both going to kill some Spoozers. Uh, who will be the first one to snipe it? And are they... I assume they know that the other person is probably also doing forest, so... I would snipe that goal immediately after completing it. Um, who do we see... Sniping it? Oh, oh! Luzak marked it first. Okay, interesting. Not Quidditch Warping. Deciding to fight... The Spoozer. Okay. GG, Luzak. GG. Okay. Um, Flo, of course, by playing through one of the Quidditch matches, is getting a score on that match. Only five left. Yep. But that's quite a long goal, and you, you don't want to necessarily go for everything all at once in terms of Quidditch because you're probably gonna Quidditch off out of quite a few challenges especially with this board yep now yeah, where going, uh... are they going oh, oh they don't playing? tell me oh my no God. way also okay. I was lose that killing Aragog seemed like a weird idea to me but he's now ahead it's the route going into Spongify so yes, yeah it was it's... the route Okay, now, who can play Spongify the fastest with Luzak a couple of seconds of uh, leeway to maybe complete it faster? This, this, uh, th th this has been quite the race so far, and we've only just started. Yep. So, is skipping the secrets? You need... 
imps, yeah, you get imps and, sp and spiders over in Spongify, and you have quite a few Spongify goals already. Oh, we're going for the outside okay. fight spiders. Yeah. The spiders have been sniped. Luzak is probably wondering where on earth Flo is right now, not knowing that they are both, <laughs> well, about the same place, really. They're in the same room. Yeah, Luzak is likely to get imps, unless he delays it, but I don't see why he would. No. Because you've got I, to imagine I that wouldn't. Flo would to spongify. Oh, who gets it first? Who gets it first? Luzak's, Luzak's marking it. it. Oh. There we go, and Flo's just seen it. So you know, they've got to know at this point they're both in the same level, because unless they're going for Basilisk, they wouldn't go to the chamber. No, they probably know exactly where each other are. Well, they're neck and neck. I, I will just confirm, chat. Nixa doesn't have two feet up for the same game. They are just neck and neck. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's quite tense. But hey, it's a semi-final, it's what you this want. This wasn't pre-programmed as well, though. I, I doubt that they're like, Oh, which route are you taking? Oh, you're going to Spongify soon? I'm going to Spongify as well. Uh, no. <laughs> I doubt, I seriously doubt they're doing that, but... This is... Oh, Flo not getting the mucus, that could cost him, potentially? Mm, we, shall see, we shall Gordon. see. Getting all of those gargoyles, there is a goal to cast at all of them in Spongify. Yeah, there's so much Spongify synergy on this board. It is quite a little bit. Uh, that's why I assumed a lot of them would go for Spongify first, but I guess they thought it was too obvious and they wanted to go for Forest instead. Which just <laughs> made it all the more fun. Yep. Don't forget, there is also um, stars in the challenge, as well as mm -hmm. secrets. Ten different Spongify challenge stars is indeed one of the goals. Which is just every star, correct? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only the only spell challenge that has more than ten stars is the Findo with fourteen. Oh, what for that spider for doing? reasons. <laughs> that was a good bounce. Oh. This is like interesting to commentate on. Oh no, oh. Luzak died! How did he Luzak. die? Luzak didn't That's see his a, elf. Quite Luzak a funny didn't see little elf. Death there with the cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> it was quite a dramatic one, yes. Um, <laughs> not exactly what you want. Yeah, Luzak is going to, to start falling behind a little bit because of that. At least Lumos is activated, <laughs> because of the cutscene. Yeah, players mark ten different. And he marks all five gargoyles as well. And the gargoyles, here it is. He skipped it, he's gone back. Luzak is like, oh, I know oh, exactly where uh, you are. <laughs> well, Please tell I'm me innocent. he didn't get a score on all six Quidditch matches. Because he's about to just get the same score on another one, I think. Has he skipped a star? Oh, oh yep. we're told he skipped a star. We uh, were told that. And Flo has looked at it. He's confused. He seems to accept it. He's thinking about where the hell is yep. that star that I skipped? Confirmed. But yes, he is one away. Interesting. He skipped one. Uh, not ideal. Not ideal at this point. He did mark Argoyles, but they also marked the challenge stars. Uh, good job on spotting that, uh, both chat and our counter. Indeed. Um, Luzak is currently thinking, what can I do? <laughs> that face tells me I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna do it. He's getting all the secrets. Which uh, will give him one of the goals, and if he has all of the stars... Oh! That, that was... To get that secret, yes. At least they're in separate levels now. Now he's going over for the big one. What oh. does he mark? Or does he not mark anything at all? He's on 15 secrets according to chat. 
I'm waiting to hear word from our official counter, but... Our counters will tell us if Luzak has skipped anything. Um... Well, if Luzak marks something that he isn't supposed to mark. Missed one secret, yep, thank you, Dino. Our counters are on point, and they're even dropping by to inform us of anything and everything. I mean, I'd rather they inform us than keep it to themselves. Well, yes. <laughs> but you know, multitasking, uh, that's not a skill I have, so oh, I yeah. have to mm. I have very... to appreciate other people that do. It's a very stressful job, I will attest, uh, as a counter for the group stages. So... Mm. I, I was going to offer myself for to, to work as a counter, um, but uh, alas, I only have one monitor, and mm. it's it's a little bit of a struggle to count with a single monitor, because I have to have a lot of stuff open. Yep, and Luz uh, Luzak is now in Scourge, as Flo is heading to the dungeons. I assume mm -hmm. he's going to Koyo. Look well, at that. already has quite a few scores as well in Quidditch matches. Um, he's working out on his work on that one for quite a while. Luzak isn't. This is quite the the interesting one. After Spongify, after going for different goals in Spongify. Yep. The two uh, runners are finally completely desynchronized from one another, so lots of things to, to have in mind now. Oh. One of them is in Scourge, one of them is in uh, Le Goyle Ooh. level. Flo marking and giving up his position, potentially. To the fireplace in Goyle. Hmm. He, was, he isn't quite sure where Luzak is, because he hasn't marked anything for a long time. It's no, almost it's been, been 10 minutes, I believe, since the last time Luzak marked. 7 minutes since Luzak marked kill 7 imps. Yep, there we go. I'm reliably informed by my co-commentator. Um, You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> anytime. Um, but yeah, quite the, the interesting one to give away your position, but then again, again, Flo probably has no idea what Luzak currently is. Uh, now Luzak, if he glanced over at the board, he probably knows. Flo's going for Goyle, I don't need to go for Goyle. That's a, one of the goals, it's complete Goyle as well. Yep. I don't think there's any others that could give you the... Points for anything else? I mean, the other synergy was the going up the fireplace. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So there's nothing else. This is quite the not very fun to route wars. Because there's lots of stuff that you have to do for a singular goal that doesn't amount to anything else besides a singular goal. Luzak is out of Scourge. Luzak is climbing the Gryffindor common room. Flo has finished Goyle. Oh, here's one of the potion cauldron thingies. Waste the ingredients. Luzak didn't want that. He's gonna have to collect some more now to use a third cauldron. Yeah, and Flo moves to 6 to 2 in his favor here. No reason not to mark complete Goyle since he's already, you know, um, <laughs> given away his position. Luzak yep. climbing the staircase, bumping into Percy, of course. It's a it's a sick strat, bumping into Percy. And now Indeed. going for uh the gold uh, what? Huh? The Gryffindor challenge challenge stars. You have to get nine of them. Nine is just one shy of the max count of stars yep. in that level. We had uh, 10 last match, actually, so it's interesting to see this level again get quite a high roll. Mm hmm And uh, in the meantime, Flo is going for something else outside. She likes the bright blue skybox. He is going for Boom Slang. Um, you have cut all Venom's tentacular heads in Boom Slang as one of the goals, and I do not believe there is any other goal in this level. 
But it's quite the quick one as well, so... While he's over in the ground, there's no reason not to go for it, and then to exit out of the level. He's going to pick up some bark for the potion, cauldron, thingy, goal. Smart. Might as well, while you're here. I don't know where Flo could be going to next. I guess the Findo, maybe? Maybe. It seems chat seems to be clicking onto his strategy of taking uh, quick goals and interwarping with Quidditch. Yeah, it, it makes Good. perfect sense, yes. For the long term. Oh, yeah. he's, he's missed the cast again. I'm but blurred. I don't know why he's so adamant in being up top. Does he want to finish the challenge? No, he wants to pick up this mucus. Smart floor. Very, very smart. Luzak's confused. Luzak has no idea where he wants to go. Well, he's in the entrance hall, so you know what? Might as well clear a few of those secrets while you're at it. Yeah, okay. You could always go for the entry hall secrets, yes. Now seven to two in Flo's favor, so he needs to pick up some goals. Mm -hmm. And Luzak also collecting silver cards along the way. Here's the first key. Yep. That's the first so time we've seen the cutscene today. Two keys. This matchup. Get the um. Get into the yep. challenge. Quick reminder. For, yes, for the people who are joining right now, we have an altered client that sets the game modes in this state. Um, with everything open and uh, basically the final, um, the final state of the game with everything open, but also it alters the gold cards challenge requirements just two wizard, um, two sets of uh, silver wizard cards, two keys, just so the runners don't have to pick up all forty or thirty, I guess, given the new strat of them just to to enter gold challenge. Luzak is dueling. He's gonna buy the three silver wizard cards, I assume. He's been in enough levels, I think, that maybe there are three that he can buy? Not too sure. But there's also win 10 duels as one of the goals on the board. Yep, which it looks like he is dueling. Now, Flo is going for... Gryffindor challenge, I assume. And yes, you can uh, always buy silver cards. There, there was a potion cauldron there, Flo ignores it. I don't know why Flo ignores it. It was right there. All right, fair enough. Luzak you... hasn't marked down the uh, Gryffindor challenge. Oh yes, could this be a snipe? It could be. How long is Luzak willing to delay it? Because if he's waiting for the, to end the duels, uh, Flo might have gotten all of them by that point. Yep. It's a question if Flo marks it. Mm, yeah, that too. This is why we love the bingo. Mind games, jukes, and strats that often you think kind of work, but then don't work. It is a pretty tricky cauldron. Uh, as oh, lose that marks the goal. The there it is. It was like nice Flo time. hasn't marked anything in quite a while since the the stacking in the Findo. So you know what? I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> and uh, fair enough. Flo didn't see it before. He sighs in expiration, like, I just wasted two minutes of my life that I'm never getting back. <laughs> now he goes for a cauldron, and he goes for one of Here's the... Here's one of the cauldrons. Ones. There's quite a few cauldrons in this game that I don't ne I don't seem to have ever used. There's like two in, Hogwarts, in the exterior, I think, or at least one in the greenhouses that I never knew was there. Yeah, uh, two. One in the greenhouses, one in the uh, hospital wing that I've just never seen. Yeah. Also the one in... Uh, no, the one in Hagrid you do see, but you don't really get to use much. 
Yeah. There's also yeah, the one in Transfig, there's the one down there. There's quite a few cauldrons, really. Um, yeah. When Snape tells you in his class that the cauldrons are spread all throughout Hogwarts, he, he wasn't lying. No, he's not lying at all. And yeah, Flo seems to be going for the ones that are dupable, at least easily dupable. Because mm -hmm. although that one in Gryffindor common room is dupable, it's said to be uh, somewhat finicky. So. Luzak skipped the dueling secret? Did he? Did he not get it beforehand? I thought he would have. Huh. That interesting. is interesting. Flo clearly going for the, the all of the cauldrons in uh, that he can find in Hogwarts. He's probably gonna spend the last two ingredients in a cauldron where you can't do the weird wall thingy magic. Well, you can't really do it here as well. Nah, so so yep. he needs two more ingredients. He needs one yep. more bark and one more mucus. And he's currently okay. one potion ahead of Luzak, I believe. The counters probably know that better than I do. Uh, not to show where Flo would be going from here. Who's that making his way through Richter? Uh, there are some goals in there, like push 16 crabs into pits, completing it without jumping. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's, that's about it. Those two. And he My seems to be going work. for the for jumpless. Yeah, because you've got all bicorn secrets. That would be some nice synergy. He hasn't yeah, marked it down. Have you noticed? He hasn't marked down the dueling. I did not know that actually. He was like delaying some goals, yeah. maybe trying to give Flo a false sense of security. And so, no just... one's marked down the Spongify thingies. Luzak, of course, missed the secret. Flo missed the star. But I believe Luzak had all of the, the challenge stars in, in Spongify, didn't he? I think he did. This is very interesting. This is a very interesting match. You can't use that code, you didn't fly. Can't use it. Damn. Well, he has the cauldron in Gryffindor and he has the two outside. Does he know about the one in Gryffindor? Because you, you're only in Gryffindor not? common room in the speedrun once. And, that, and you spend like three seconds there and you immediately leave. I always walk into that cauldron when trying to leave. So, yeah, I know it exists. Uh, yes. I don't think he does. Where? Oh, where? Is it going? He's what is out. the cauldron that he knows about? He knows the, what, about the one in Herbology. That seems to be where he's going. Yep. There it is. Look at that. It's quite Good well time. hidden. We would have known him. We would have known him. And there we are. Five unique cauldrons, which he can mark safely because it doesn't really give away too much. And he has. It's always so and so he has. Yep, but remember, chat, this is a best of three. So although Flo may be take seemingly taking the lead on this match, there's still at least one more map. Or one more round, I should say. Uh, at least so one more, yes. Here's the yes. At least one yep. more. It could be two or more. We shall see. We shall see. Anything can yeah. happen when we are playing bingers bongers. Flo's going for the duels. Will Luzak snipe it as well? Yep. Yeah. I would mark it down now. Alongside with oh, the, all of the Richter he's, ones. Because he's... he doesn't know where Flo has gotten. He knows Flo had to have been in one of the hub worlds. You know, in the entry hall staircase or exterior, because he did the one with the potions. Um, so he doesn't know where it is, where he is now. That might come back to bite him. Yep, but as, uh, as Nick says in chat, Luzak always delays mega long. In the match before this, we saw him delay like a good 3-4 goals, and then just suddenly mark them, and cause Portal a bit of shock, I think. 
So is it's he also going for a caused, similar strat here? Yeah, it has caused a little bit of shock as well to to flow before. What he's he? Oh, there we go. Win all ten jewels and ten different sponsor five stars have been marked, bringing Luzak up to six. Still lower than Flo Flo's nine. Flo's going away. Flo's like, I'm out of here. Screw this. Yeah. Now, by marking Jules and Spongify, what is Flo thinking? Where does Flo think Luzak is? Because Luzak is going back not to Spongify. Yeah, he's he gonna, like, he well, I only have one secret left. A couple secrets left or something. I don't remember how many he got. So he's like, you know what, might as well, since he hasn't. Luzak, of course, currently delaying at least two goals, the Rick to Semper ones. Oh! Oh! Uh, make it three. He has all of the ones in uh, Entry Hall, which he has marked down. Still hasn't marked down the Rick to Semper ones. Very, very interesting. So currently. He's very good at playing mind games. Yeah, even though it is nine to seven in terms of goals in favor of Flo. Luzak is the link too, which could potentially bring the match back tied to a 9-9. If, if Luzak marked it, I was going to buy the silver ones. Has they been to enough levels? It doesn't matter, uh, as someone else said in chat earlier, it's the silver which you can buy at any point, it's bronzes that you need to enter levels for. I also oh, found out recently that, um, bronze cards-wise, uh, that you can buy the card out of Dumbledore's office. Because oh. normally you can't go back there. I didn't know that's, this, but I did that whilst that's uh, very running myself the other day. And see, so you can actually buy, I think it's 19 bronze cards. It's very cool yeah. that they've programmed it that way. Well, he now yeah. has enough to enter gold, the, the gold challenges. And, of course, to mark down that he has but the cards which he has marked down still hasn't marked down Richter and he's going into Spongify. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, that's a very nice boost. What? Is this the only secret he has what? left? I don't think Am so. I... What boost did you just say? <laughs> Because you said that was a nice boost, and I looked at my screen, and neither of them. It was boosted. just from the first ledge. I don't, I don't think I had seen that before. I'm oh, very nice, Bungie. Hi, well done. Yeah, I don't think he knows which one he missed, um, which might leave it open for for Flo to take it, especially because Luzak, Luck, just enjoys delaying everything. Yeah, that's Luzak for you. Late Luzak. No, that's a bad thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we won't. We won't go Luzak. With that. We don't accept that kind of slander. I'm not slandering. Um, it's tactical. <laughs> Calling someone late. Which oh, which secret is it? I mean, there is also get uh, all both wizard cards in the uh, gargoyles in the gold wizard guard challenge. <laughs> so I was gonna it say. might well boil down to that, but this is a very yeah, interesting. There are two goals has, in, in Gryffindor Luzak challenge. has taken the, the the upper stand. There we go. Of uh, flow here with ten goals to nine in Luzak's favour. Uh huh. He has marked down the Rick to ones. Um, and he has enough to enter the, the silver the um, the gold wizard card challenge, which would bring him up. Yep, that would certainly do him a lot of favours. Will we see Luza go to the gold wizard cards again? A shock from last match. Will we see it repeated here? Quite a little bit of health. Let's see is that. Is this the one? No, it isn't. Luzak doesn't know which secret he's missing. He might get sniped on that one. 
He might indeed. As Flo gets cucked by the Spongebob. Didn't enter the one. Just the one that Flo was just in. Oh no! Oh Hi, what are you dear! Doing? Oh dear! Oh. oh dear! Will he mark it down and have it marked back out? Nah, he he saw him shake his head. He he know he, that's where he thought it was, but he's forgetting the upper one that you boost up to. Not or going for it. Get behind that. Screw that. I'm gonna go for something else. Oh, he marked it. Is that? And I'm gonna get it marked back out. I assume. Blown, oh, he got it. I made the sound, did it? Okay. So I'm Our counters know better than we do. Um, so I believe in them. Okay. If yep. I That's was a, a young little Luzak at this point, I would just go and Quidditch Warp and then get to the the Gold Wizard card challenge. Or Defender well, has, first. Flo has a single line of bingo. Just putting it out there. Oh yeah. Well done, Flo. <laughs> and this made sure that Luza can't get a full line of bingo. By getting one in each row. Yeah. Yeah, I would go for Defendo at this point and go into the Gold Wizard card challenge later. What is he going to do? Oh! Is, has he heard us? No! No, he's turning away! No. What Where is, is he going? going? Where are you going? It's so tense that this is like, Why, like round no, one. No, change his mind. Defendo again? Defendo! Defendo it is! Oh, and he jumps, and he lands. What's he picking up? Chocolate frog? Oh! He might have some of the wizard cards from the Findo. Because the silver cards what that he bought. What is the ruling here? Because I know during seeding, it was fine for me to just open the chest that um, they would have been in. But I'm assuming from chat's response that it's you have That's, to actually collect cards. That doesn't it. work. It's currently wondering that very same thing. I think. I have to open a new instance. Oh, yeah, that's not going to be worth it at all. We shall see then if... If he has bought one of them. The video feed is struggling on Luzak's side. Yeah, I'm glad I was like, what's that? In the meantime, on? we've been focusing so much on Luzak. Um, Flo's getting through chamber very quickly. Um, yeah. He's almost about to, to face off against the snake. He has five potions, he has nothing to worry about. Um... We have been reliably confirmed by our host that it is not the fault of his own internet for once. Mm -hmm. Which is very funny. Well, we confirmed it for him, I think. So we, yes, yes, because uh, we are also... Well, the, the feed seems to have been... to have returned. Moment of truth. Flow is killing Snake. Something which I don't even feel like we've seen all that much in this tournament. This Snake. So maybe I'm just being forgetful. It all depends on if the, the Silver Wizard cards he bought. There it is. That's the card. That's the card he already had. He acquired it, he's thinking about it, he realized. I think you may want to drop a refresh, by the way. Because that happened a little while ago on my end. Oh, has it? Oh, yes. I am disappointed. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, 
So he is locked out of that goal. And as he rewatches the two and a half minute intro segment, he cannot do that goal. And uh, I, Flo is going to go for for Vicorn. If he gets locked out of the Vicorn one, well, Luzak can't finish it unless he watches the, the intro. Yep. He won't be able to, to win unless he re gets the starts a new game. It, that, it is an interesting point from uh, chat that it's interesting to fly going to Bicon where he could just go to goal with the cards and get both here, which is interesting. Uh, get both goals in there, which is interesting. So going for Bicon secrets. Oh, he has no cut. Okay, fair enough. That makes more sense then. Uzak's carrying on his quest. You must think that it's still all good. Because, well, that's how it was in the in the seeding matches, as you said. You must think I can just get through this. And because I've opened up the, car, the, the chest, everything is fine. When it really, really isn't. He has to go for gold cards right now and then, and then, start his game again for Defender. But if Flo goes for Bicorn and then for Defender right afterwards, it's over for Luzak. But he keeps wasting time. In Defindo. Mark all eight was a card. I'm not sure where we're leaning with this, so I'm leaving that for other people to do it. The counters will say, and the counters have decided. Yeah, lose that knife. Zach's not happy about that one. Zach's not Thanks. very, very happy. It's like, what do I do now? I'm screwed, aren't I? Yep. Unfortunately, it's a lot of time wasted. He has collected seven of the eight wizard cards. Luzak is going for Bicon. Oh. Is oh. he going for Bicon? Is he going for Bicon? He assumes it's all he can do. Oh! Oh, Flo! <laughs> Flo's is... expression well... then was great. Flo's facial expression <laughs> when he fell in the... the Flo's the... facial expressions are always great. They are really good. You can make like a whole emo collection of Flo's facial expressions. In fact, I know regularly people <laughs> do. Yeah, Luzak just assumes this is all he can do. Yeah, but this is... With Flo about to finish uh, Bicon Secrets... Yeah, well, this is gonna be a tough one. What final gold is Flo gonna go? Is Flo gonna go for all eight with the cards? If he does, yeah. So if he, if he gets this gold and marks it, then Luzak has to go for gold with the cards, because otherwise, he's there's nowhere else he can go. Mhm. Mm Besides restarting his game, but then he stuff works some stuff out of the other two. So... Close the lane? That's... Maybe Flo? he's waiting to... Flo! Yoo-hoo! Mark it down! Oh, he doesn't mark it down. Um, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, is he gonna like... Is he gonna get sniped? Or is he gonna snipe? Is the lane him going to defend though now? Interesting. He's seen okay. it getting unmarked. There, now he's marked it. There oh. it is. That is rough for loser. Has he seen it though? Yes. Yeah, he's seen it. Oh. He thinks it's all over. He needs to go to. No, yeah, it is because he can't. He can't win now. Loser can't win. He doesn't have enough time. 
If he had gone straight for Gold Wizard cards, he would have had time. If it quit out of Defendo, or not even gone to Defendo at all, he would have had time. Yeah, he. I think at this point he would have been win. Would it? Because he would need to have restarted. So yeah. He he would have had to press new game and have restarted it. And gone back to only collect that one Defendo card, but but um, uh, alas. Yeah, this is. This looks like it's gonna be GG's for five. But we have to remind everyone in chat that this is a best of three. Luzak may have oh, seemingly yeah, yeah, yeah. lost this one, and I say seemingly because we say in Mingo, anything can happen. But there is going to be at least one more match, and if Luzak wins the next match too. So we will see who takes the W in this uh, match. But this it round, at least, going looks like it's going back to, to the Finlow. It's going back to the Finlow. Uh, He's... I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest with everyone. I have no idea what's going on anymore. <laughs> I know what Flo's doing, but I'm curious why he's gone back to Defender. I don't know. Does he think that he maybe missed one card? He hasn't. He just hasn't collected them all. Because one of them was just not there. I think that's what he's, he's thinking. It's like, did I miss a chest? No. You just bought cards a little too early. Yeah, which is an interesting ruling in my opinion, but I'm not here to debate the politics, I'm here to commentate on the match. Nope. We are just following the rules that have been sent to us and to the runners. We don't make the rules, we don't even enforce them. We're just here to commentate on the matches. Precisely. Yeah, that's Flo. Flo is here? Why is he here? Did huh? he fall up or something? Why is Flo down there if he's doing wizard cards? That's a good I... question. This is... But yep, Luzak is what? just... Luzak. Wrapping up Defender once more because... Oh, he failed to be his thanks for Of reasons? I was looking at Luzak's screen. Oh. <laughs> oh! There's, there's light in Luzak's room. Yeah, he put his light on. One more. N now, no, two. that's. Two more. In Luzak's terms, that's the equivalent of sitting closer to the monitor. He's like concentrating. Yeah. That's focused gamer Luzak now. The darkness messed with his brain a little bit, so he's put the light on, and next round he's gonna come back stronger than ever. Yep, he knows. That's the fault. That, that was the problem. But does Flo know? This is the interesting, because Luzak, I feel like, knows at this point he's, he's lost, but... Yeah, he's just going for know. gold wizard cards, because, well, he can't do anything else. He might as well yeah. get a couple more points on the board, just to... But I don't think he's going to be able to do it fast enough, as Flo's just about to get the final. No, unfortunately, no. Sure. And he should insta market. If he doesn't, I'm going to be very confused. He should. He's one goal away. There is absolutely zero reasons not to mark it right about... Oh, yeah, now. There we go. He marks it. That's bring it's back a in. GG. You put up a this really, really good fight. Both of you uh, immediately out of the gate went for the exact same goals. You kept I, chasing I, each yeah. other for a while. I <laughs> like saw the forest minutes. energy plus DM, so I'm like, we're good. it's gonna be a race to put each gate. I'm glad I got it. Yeah, you'd either go for that one or Spongify, we'd guess. But uh, both of you yeah. went for the same one. Yeah. And the ruling yeah. is that if you do buy one of the cards and you need to complete one of the goals, you have to restart your game eventually to get, in order to get it back. Which loses all of your other progress. Flo, do you know what secret you were missing in Spongify? Or you got yeah, I mean, I found it at the end, but it was so stupid. Yeah, you found it. <laughs> This match yes. was, the board was interesting. It was like a lot of long goals, but also a lot of synergy, it felt like. I, yeah. I, I always have to mess up something, and like, of course I had to miss the, like, last star in Spongebob. I don't even know which one I missed, actually. 
when I missed 10 star and I had to go back. Oh, and then Luz, I got it at the end. So yeah. yeah. Spongify was very interesting for both of you, because both of you always missed something. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, I, Spongify. I, I knew so we were... Spongify. Yeah, I, I knew we were both going to Spongify, and I really don't want to do secrets because that's really slow. But stars and gargoyle were really fast, so I wanted to get that. And then, yeah, I just missed a star somewhere. And I have no idea where, but yeah. That's fun. Yeah. Well, then, yeah. it is 1 to nil uh, in favor of Flo, who managed to snap. Snap? Snipe! Those goals right at the end. Luzak, unfortunately fell to the favor of the rules um but when you two are ready again we can start match number two count us down okay. miney it's your turn all right i will do the counter this time three a two a one a go good luck, good luck. which board are we going to have to work with let's see if there's any good synergy there's a lot of jumpers on this one. There's a lot of jumpers. Chamber, Defindo, Boomslang. And Boomslang. Okay, Damn. 4 names for the Mushroom, 14 names in Bathroom, 27 Challenge Stars, 1,100 Beans, more Gryffindor Challenge, Bunch of Vitals, High Potter Wizard Card again? Everyone loves a good Gold Wizard Card Challenge. Throw yeah. a gnome at Malfoy, so quite a few gnome-related ones. Throw a potion Root with a gnome as well. Gnome. Yeah, a that's, lot of gnome-based skulls. Yeah. That's not too hard to do because if you if you spawn them in the bathroom, you can just take one to the cauldron. Yeah, um, I, I assume someone you. will see that, but there's no chamber nor anything to hop onto right afterwards. There's Willow as well, there's Grand Staircase Secrets. Ah, oh, that can be useful with the, the gnomes in the girls' bathroom. Yeah, okay. Two potion ingredients in Slytherin, plus throwing a gnome at Malfoy. Defeat Peeves and Aragog this time. Oh, that's good. one we don't see very often. Yeah. Jump on 20 Spongify tiles, that's also an interesting one that you can get in a you get quite a few in Forest and uh, in Grand Staircase again. Ah! Oh, complete chamber without jumping. There is a chamber one, I just completely missed yep. that. It's right at the center. There's it's... quite a bit of synergy in the Grand Staircase. Yeah, mm. all Grand Staircase secrets. Yeah, it's a nice bit. This is going to be an interesting one. Where do they I... go first, though? There's Boomslang secrets and jumpless Boomslang. I th can you get both? I think you can get both. Oh, so oh, in, in one card in the window is in the same spot as it was last card. Is it really? Like it's oh my god, it is. I assume Luzax looked at it and he just got PTSD. Like, no, not again. Yeah, that, but there's it's the fact that it's in the exact same spot. But there are... Card. That's the only... That's one of the only two card-related ones. That's all. There's only that one and the Harry Potter Wizard card, which just which doesn't gel particularly well with anything else. Um, yeah. that's interesting. Uh, flow is flowing away to Gryffindor, Gryffindor challenge. Oh, don't don't tell me. To... Not this again. Please, lads, please, come on. Can't you be so, a little please, bit original? Please, see the cauldron, see the cauldron flow, please. We should have asked him if he knew that cauldron was there last time. <laughs> oh, we failed to remind him. Come on, a little bit of originality. Come on, come on, lads. There's more to really life the than board. Gryffindor, you know. There's more to life than Quidditch, you know. Yeah, uh, I... I... Hmm. You caught me there. <laughs> but I guess they looked at it and they were like, well, this is the closest one. It's but... not amazing, this bunch of white tiles, but there are three you can get in here. So I'm surprised. But they got all three, but there's there's more and in that also tower There's room, quite a but... few very quick challenge stars you can get in this one. And the only other level you really need to get into is the Findo. In terms of challenge oh. stars. Oh. So... oh, what is Flo doing? Oh my god, what the fuck was that? 
Oh, oh my god, god, that scared me. That scared me. <laughs> Does he snipe it immediately? Oh. Luzak has stolen it. Luzak has stolen it. There's there's two goals that require challenge stars, but the only other challenge where which has stars that you should have um, in is uh, the Findo that you go in. Oh, I guess Spongify if you want some tiles. Luzak's stream is just a little bit delayed. Just a little bit. Um... Yeah. Which just makes it more interesting, I guess. Defeat Peeves is on the board. He's also probably going for some uh, for some bronze cards because you have the goal for uh, 10 bronze cards without getting a health increase and some challenge stars along the way. I assume that's what Luzak is going for now. No one's going for the Grand Staircase. I'll just say that right away because I think that's the place where you have most synergy. Um, Flo is taking a gnome to Malfoy. Yep, but I, I, I see the pattern of Luzak immediately marking down goals right at the start and then not marking them at all. <laughs> like yeah. after the first two or three minutes. Um, I think that one he must have thought that Flo was also going to go for it so I wanted to avoid the snipe. Yeah, but he... Uh, correctly assumed that Flo wouldn't be going for Scourge, because he has a markdown defeat peeves. He's going, of course, Flo now to uh, throw a gnome at Malfoy. There's quite a, a lot more synergy in this world compared to the last one, which I'm very happy about because um, makes it so they are more likely to be a little bit spread out in terms of which challenges they go to. <laughs> Apart from both of them just going for <laughs> Gryffindor challenge right at the start. Which is very funny. I mean, but I feel like most matches, even with the removal of the Hagrid Hut goals, start with some form of race for a goal. There we go. Malfoy has received a normal to the face. <laughs> Known for you, Malfoy. And Luzak has died. How did that happen? Oh, Flo going for the two potion ingredients. Gotta make sure he picks them up. This was Only um one. Going around town for I can't the second one. Which match it was, but I had a bit of trouble with these at the very end of one of my matches to the point where I just ghost smoked <laughs> into it after the match finished. Hey, come back He's here. dragging everyone. Yeah. In, uh, in Slytherin. Because oh. he wants to get to the, oh, 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 the warp. Oh. That was close. That That's was a jump scare and a half. When I get um, tense, I make quite interesting noise. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hush. Thank you. <laughs> no, no, no. You heard nothing. Um. Anyways, Luzak is still. Are going in Scourge after their death, which was very unfortunate. Picking up stars along the way, of course, because uh, why not? And picking up silver wizard cards because, well, if it comes down to the damn. Uh, what am I called? Harry Potter wizard cards. Wants to get ahead of the curve. And if he's going yeah. for Grand Staircase. For all those secrets, and he already has quite a few silvers. Why not? Why not? Indeed, indeed. Low is currently flowing in uh, foil. You do know what flowing means, don't you? Yes, I do. I don't want it to happen. Let it be clear. I I don't want it to happen. I don't want flow to flow. Oh, only the type of flow that has a W at the end. Uh, Was that Xalvo Scourge? Okay. okay. He has quite a few challenge stars already. I'm not sure if he's holding on to the goal and not marking it for now. One moment, I'm going to pull a loose leg and tell my lawyer. <laughs> it's getting quite dark here as well. Um, oh, look at that. Luzak is in the Grand Staircase. 
We talked about the Grand Staircase. That it is one of the places you want to be. There's quite a few things you can do in the Grand Staircase. Uh, but there's also quite a few things you can do in uh, Boyle. Uh, well, there's the obvious one of Complete Coil. There's uh, also a couple of orders, I believe, killing imps. Uh, you can get the... Uh, there was another one that I saw. Where is it? All Goyle Secrets, there it is. Second row, fifth column. Zach's trying to go for the wall walk to get on top of the uh, the toilet stalls. Yep. Let's see if you can get a good cycle. Not at all, not at all. Still trying. It just isn't very, very easy. Ah, there we go. Myrtle's opened up one of the stalls. Thank you, Myrtle. It's and, a perfect uh, try if you do get a slightly dodgy It's time time. for gnome spawning. Yep, 14 to be exact. There's three, there's four, I believe. Five, six. There's a couple. Oh no, I lost Five, count. Six, seven, eight. I hope the counters can see the gnome hell that's going on over there. Dino, good luck. That's what I'm gonna say. Dino, good luck. Everyone wish your good lucks to Dino. Meanwhile, Flow marks all goal secrets and completing goal. Yep. Luzak's not picking up one of the gnomes to throw at the cauldron. Oh. Why not? You're over there already. Grab one. Does he have the ingredients? Oh. Never mind that. I forgot about that part. <laughs> he doesn't know. Are there ingredients in Grand Stackies? He has no bark, but he could have got some from the toilet, as Rene says in the chat. He was barking at the wrong tree, I guess. Um, sorry. Uh, he's going for the, the secrets in the Grand Staircase. And uh, flows in some more synergy, he's going for Boomslang. And he has absolutely no idea where, oh, where is Luzak. But we know. We know he's in the hospital wing. And collecting the silvers because, uh, might as well. If it comes there down to HP. The there it is. Sniping that goal. Luzak doesn't need to go for it. He pitched his nose. It's like, hmm, I wanted to get that one. I guess he wants to get every single secret in Grand Staircase before marking down the gnomes as well. Interesting choice. It is very interesting. But it is definitely one of the options of all time. Yep, not forgetting to get the ones over in Dumbledore's office. I have seen people forget about those and having to come back here. Because they don't remember. This exists. There's Hermione and Ron doing absolutely fuck all. <laughs> In the meantime, uh, there's no goal, I don't believe, about killing spoozers. But uh, there is a goal which is completing Boom Slang with Jumpless, which is precisely why Flo is taking the long way around. Yep. And also getting all the secrets. Luzak has Quidditch Walt. Where is he going? That is the question. For him to Quidditch Warp, he wants to get away. He wants to go to the grounds, maybe. Oh, I see where he's going. 
It Where starts with D and then it's in Findlow. Yes. Oh, yes. He needs to collect some challenge stars. Is he gonna do the treaded oh? all eight with the cards though? Yeah. yeah. He's going for those. He do There's no oh, gold and so fire. Is blow. So is oh blow. my god. Why did you delay it for a single instance? Oh my god, here we go again! We have a race, we have a race again. The race is on. Luza can get to 17, uh, but will he though? Because he has a tendency to, uh, well, to delay those goals. But they are both going for jumpless. Not going for wizard cards, they're both in jumpless. Oh, but one of them's been successful. Only one of them's been successful, first try. Oh dear, oh dear, will, but will he mark it immediately? Because... Well... <laughs> Flo's right in the tail. Will he mark it immediately? He has to think that Flo is close, and he does. That's one of the goals he marks down immediately. Doesn't go for the wizard cards. He's not interested in that right now. Willow? Willow. He's going to Willow. I would have stayed in the fin though. I would have gotten the wizard cards and the, the challenge stars. Just to get those 17 at least. Because there uh, are 17 challenge seven stars. Two in there's, let's favor. Yeah, there's so. 17 challenge stars. There's 27 challenge stars. And that's 6 different challenge stars from each challenge. There's a lot of challenge stars, but not a lot of other goals inside of those challenges. No, Marks down defeat three. Peeves. He's trying to bamboozle Flo. Flo's now in the Great Staircase. I believe Flo is either going for Chamber or going for the Gnomes. Oh, he's going for the Gnomes, isn't he? He has to mark down the Gnomes, Luzak. Otherwise, he might lose it in the next couple of minutes. Oh, yep. Well, there is going for the gnomes. Oh, but there's a marks here and all Grand Staircase secrets. Blocking <laughs> flow. Oh my oh, god, I... that flow I roll said it all. And uh, it's like, what on earth has Luzak been doing? Is he spying on me? Does he have a camera in my room? Can he see what I'm doing? Can he see where I'm going and sniping it at last minute? Yep, Flo is on his way to defeating the imps and he can get those as well as, well, completing chamber jumpless. Which seems to be precisely what he is doing. Luzak's currently getting all the 28 beans. He has all 28 beans. Oh, he got a health upgrade. Uh-oh. He didn't remember that this was the one with the cutscene. This is the card with the cutscene. Oh, I've oh, seen the goal, which makes that problematic. Yep, he now has to collect another 10 cards. I mean, you already get a couple of them in the fin, though. But is he gonna wanna touch the Fender though? And now that uh, his Quidditch warped, I would just go for the Fender. I I would go for it. Getting some challenge stars, getting the wizard cards. I mean, might as well since you are outside. Is Luzak locked out of this goal? N um no, I don't believe so. Luzak just has to collect another ten different cards and not get Oh, that Flo dies! Flo is... well... It's flowing. <laughs> it's flowing again. Chamber do be kinda hard. Chamber do be kinda hard. Is he not casting at the imps, or is he just delaying that goal? Oh, it's Flo doing secret? 
and not jump less? I am not sure. Is there chamber secrets? I'm not seeing it. No, I'm there's going not. For the secrets. According oh, to he's now going for Spongify. He realized he jumped, so he's just going for Spongify tiles. You know what? Fair enough. I Apparently commend that decision maker. From the start, according to Beaver in chat. He's been does jumping he in the for like three secrets? minutes. I think he does. I think Flo thinks there's a chamber secret skull on the board. And Where has is missed... this in that one? And has missed the jumping without the uh, uh, jumping that well, I can't word today. I I know my name. Wording is hard. Chamber Secrets was on the last world? I don't know. Was it? I don't remember. I don't remember. remember. Last world. Uh all I know is that currently Flo is just uh going for spongify tiles in chamber. I don't know. I honestly don't yeah. know. He's this, going for the imps. If He's killing Flo the imps. has misread this goal, I think it will be the second time that in chamber he's mucked something up because if you At remember least, yeah. when he did uh he went through chamber, did a goal in chamber, then just didn't go and defeat the basilisk. True. Because he didn't see the goal. <laughs> At least he's that getting was... some spongifies and some Oh well. Death. And he dies again. And some but imps, yeah. I was gonna say. But All right. what else? What else is there? Luzak's collecting a lot of cards, of course. He needs silvers, he needs bronzes, he needs everything. And he probably also needs a hug after the last match. Yeah, Luzak needs some emotional support because that last match was Here's some him. imps. Not killing the imps. This is very interesting. He's, um, he knows that Flo's got the imps already, so no point in going for those ones. Oh, yep, he marked it. Cleared it and then marked it. <laughs> yeah, Flo is going for secrets. Flo, what are you doing? There's no secret go. I guess he'll know soon enough. I'll see it soon enough, you know? Yeah, I'm not too sure. Secret. I'm not too sure what he's doing. Locks over four gnomes with a uh, mushroom. Oh, he's warping go. out! Oh, he wasted so much time with that! I mean, yeah, he got the imps. Wait, what wait for it, Dave wait for it, wait for his reaction. Hey, oh. there we go! Uh, there it is, he's like, oh. oh! Where was it? Oh, Flo! Luzak has the blue check mark over the gnomes with the mushroom. Oh. Flo is still, like, glancing over, like, I swear, I swear I saw that somewhere. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. I saw it. I don't know where it is. Because I don't know what I've done. That they has got some spongy I don't know if he was counting those. I guess he was. But Lou's like getting knocked over four gnomes with a mushroom, bringing it to 8 7. Still in Flo's favour, but Flo cost himself a good bit of time there, even though he got the imps. Jumping on that spongy just because spongy I would go for Spongify at the moment. He's set very, very close to jumping on 20. Yeah. So you might as well. You can get some challenge stars and snap snipe that goal from Luzak because Luzak's delaying it. I think. I think he has 17. Maybe he doesn't. Uh, but yeah, Luzak has just killed Aragog there. Will he instamark or will he delay? No, Luzak will probably delay. He skips. He's skipping stars. Oh. Why? What I is swear, going on? I swear, I don't understand any of these two runners. Why am I here? Why are we commentating? We cut. We are not in in their brains. We have no idea what on earth is happening. Oh, we're um, trying to help the audience. Please, Luzak, don't happening. skip stars. Please, please don't skip the stars. Thank you, thank you, Luzak. At least someone is looking at the challenge star numbers. Yep. Oh, and he's going into the but Flo is, uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what Flo is doing. Is, get, is he getting the jump with the, the tiles? doing it for the tile, yeah, it looks like. But, but nothing has... else. You might as well oh, yeah. take advantage of the fact that you're already here and grab some he's other get... goals. He's oh. skipping all the stars. This could be what Luzak needs. 
Luzat was doing good yeah. anyway, but this could be Luzak that Nian in the coffin. Luzat is for going this round. for all of those long goals. He just put down that he's beaten Aragog, I think. Yep. I just hope that. Oh, if and the Flo... challenge stars. He's just marked the 17 challenge stars. Now Flo probably knows that he doesn't have to go for them anyways. Ooh, but Luzak takes the top 9 to 8. Now, in Luzak's favor. And Luzak has a lot of those long term goals. Luzak's well on the, his way to get them. He gets one of the keys uh, for the Harry Potter Wizard card in case it comes down to those silvers. A lot. Yeah. That's, uh, that's very interesting. We are reliably informed that Flo is good on Spongify tiles. I don't think he was counting all of them, so he's just counting the ones in Spongify probably. And maybe the ones in Chamber he also counted and is like adding those yeah. up. We have a race! We do Everyone in the indeed. audience. This we is exciting! Oh, 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 this is very fun. Lots of stars being collected. Luzak needs at least six in each challenge if he wants to get that goal. And he also needs, well, the biggest amount of stars that he can from every single one of the four spare challenges. Yep. He's gotten a few. Is he gonna snipe on Spongebob Tiles? No, because Flo marks the goal. Yep, and there he's seen it. it. He cast it on the, that other one. No need to have done so. But he's going over. And he has collected a few more challenge stars. Which challenge has he not entered? Oh, Defender. He's missing stars in Defender. That's the only one. He's been in Rick, too. I think. Yeah. He's been in Scourge. He's been in, Spon in Spongify. He's just missing Defender. Six what? challenge stars there, and he's got it. Why did no, Rick Flo just get that, bro? Oh, Rick 2 was last match. Oh, I see. And there's nothing in Rick 2. Why is he collecting bronzes? Am I missing something? Well, oh, he's going, he's going for the Hess cancel. Yep, yep, yep. Hess cancel. Because uh, Luzak missed it the first time. He wanted to, but he forgot that he picked up a bronze card that was tied to a cutscene. He is now collecting beans. Please, 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 Luzak, don't buy wizard cards before going to defend them. Please. We both know what happened. There's not a buying goal there, so it's fine. I know. I know that it's probably just going to for the beans one. But yeah. But also, um, because this is I'm the first time this kind of a goal has come up today, have 1,100 beans, that kind of a goal where it says have, uh, is one of the goals that can be unmarked if the runner goes below that amount. So, like, have seven mm -hmm. potions, have 1,100 beans, I forget the other ones. We seen that yesterday where a duelist was, well, dueling, got the goal of beans that was required, but then wasted some of them to re-challenge the student. Ah. And it was unmarked and it was sniped by the other person. Oh, so that is that harsh. That can happen. They gave themselves away. They gave themselves away right there. Ooh. Flo not lying, Flo scared. <laughs> you could see it by his eyes. It's like, oh. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, very interesting. But yeah, it's lucky because there is nothing to buy this match. No, no, no. Unless he wants to buy a couple of silvers to get into the Harry Potter, uh, to get the Harry Potter wizard cards. Otherwise, oh. there's no reason to get I would imagine uh, the duels. I want to touch the... buying cards after last match, but yeah, um... I would be terrified as well. <laughs> um, um, I will answer the question. Different, though. Who I would say the person you see on your screen right now, Eshi, to answer your question is who won. Um, just to clarify. Yes. Yes, this is the first of the semi-finals. The first of the best of three matches. Well, the second leg, I guess, of the, the tie. But, um... Yeah. And we are in for a very exciting match. As the last one, for those of you who have missed it, I would highly recommend you go back. Um, because it teaches you important values, like sniping stuff whenever you can and uh well rules 
I guess. Like oh dear. Oh dear. Is in the field as well? Yeah, I think he does have 1,100 beans, so that's something. He, he has the Findo jump plus. Right now, what Holy can do with the Findo is get the wizard cards, which Flo is getting, and Flo usually immediately barks them down whenever he gets them, or like within the minute, um, and getting the challenge stars, which uh, I would go for. And even if Flo marks down the the one for ch the the wizard cards, I would still get them because. Um, you might as well try and get the bronze health upgrade still. Plus, yeah. you need the silver cards to get into the gold wizard card challenge. This is very true. This is very true. You know, I feel like Flo is gonna, if he doesn't get the bronze test at the end of this, he will seek out the, another bronze to cancel the Yeah, there's quite a couple of them uh, near where you leave after the Finder, so. He's already grabbed himself a few, but there's a couple of more that are easy. Oh, oh who's that? That wasn't called for. Oh, no! That's oh, rough for oh that. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. That's not what you want to see. That's the problem with not taking many safe books. Sometimes they are out of the way, but when you don't get them, stuff like this can. Um, and knowing Lady Luck will happen. Yeah, this could be... Oh, I'm nervous now. And Flo will look, probably so instantly look. mark it down. Or as soon as it leaves the, the challenge. Oh, no, it's just marking it, it down now. Oh, like with a card. Will Luzak see it? That's the question. He's collecting stars. Even if he sees it, I would still card. go for them. So, no, yeah, he's, he's just going for stars. stars. Uh, makes yeah. sense to go just for stars, but you also need a couple of silvers, Luzak. If they're in your way... Oh, he nearly fell down again, exactly the same way. No, he bumped into the pixie. At least challenge I, um... stars, he needs six in each spell challenge. This is the spell challenge that has the most, but he still did quite a couple of them. And they are sometimes out of the way. Flo, where is Flo a going? He's going to the bronze okay, to get some bronzes. That's interesting. Yeah, getting bronzes for the health upgrade makes sense. We spoke about there uh, being quite oh, a couple. Oh, oh, that was a bit that was funny. <laughs> oh, that was genius. Um, yeah, going for a couple of bronzes just to get that goal as well. How? close are they in terms of... Uh, it's 9 to 10. Yeah. Flo's leading by 1. This of the marked down goals. Yeah, it's 10 bronze cards for every health boost. 10 silver cards for each key to unlock old wizard cards challenge. Another one sniped by Flo. Flo getting the health cancel there. If only Luzak had remembered that that was a cutscene cards before in Willow. Yeah, that's gonna suck for him. This Flo now takes the 11. This... Yep, two more. Flo needs two more to wrap up the tie in his favor and get himself a spot in the finals, the grand finals. It is worth against noting, though. Either, um, no. Against either... Beaver or Katashi. Yep, it is worth noting though, although it's not on the bracket, we will be doing a bronze uh, medal match uh, before the grand mm -hmm. final. Indeed, so uh, this is the last time you see these two runners, that you will be back, both of them. Yep, the no bronze match, I will warn, it's just a normal best of one. Yep. And I will also be commentating that match with the wonderful Nixer, which I'm going oh, to oh. enjoy. Nixo will return, yes. Nixo will commentate uh, every match after this one. He's currently taking a break because, well, um, <laughs> he's, we can't take too counting. much of a heavy toll in his voice, yeah. Um, Flow dueling for beans. Uh, yeah. Luzak, Luzak who's market? Yeah, Luzak's going in for a couple more beans. Good. Yeah, he's a bit low, he's on 700. And I would mark it down 
instantly. Instantly, if I was Luzak, but it is Luzak. So you never know. Indeed, but at this late stage, I feel like it would be a bad decision to not mark. Also, my chat right now just crashed. Well, I lost my chat in a few seconds. Thank you so much. Yep. It is getting very, very close. Yes, indeed. I am. Even though. This will be a big upset, is, uh, I think. Yeah. Flow knocks yep. Luzak out. Oh? Getting away from the beans. Yeah, he marked the beans. And Flo has noticed and is like, oh. Wasn't exactly what I wanted. Wanted to get it. Luzak currently collecting a couple it. more of the silver cards that he's missed. Going for Rick to the one spell challenge he hasn't gone into. Yep. Yeah. He thought about it, but you know what? It's it's worth it. Flo hasn't it's been not. collecting stars. You might as well. Challenge yeah. stars and silver cards. And if you do do that, Flo is going for chamber. Yeah, there's really nothing else he can really do at this Flo point. Flo is going back he, to chamber. He hasn't been doing many of the long-term goals. He can't really do anything right now at the moment. Nah. But he doesn't have enough cards, he knows that he probably doesn't have enough cards, because he hasn't, is, he hasn't been collecting them. Interesting he knows he hasn't been collecting the stars. Back to chamber now. So he's going back Even to chamber. He's already there. This time, That's... presumably to not jump. Yeah. He might as well go for, for some more long-term goals. He knows he only needs one of those long-term goals. If he completes chamber jumpless. This Luzak, of course, getting all the silvers. One, yeah, Luzak has been stockpiling those goals like a madman. Yep. So, it can come down to the wire, but I think Luzak's more prepared for it. Oh, oh. what's he thinking? What's he cooking? He doesn't have anything else to mark down. I thought he was marking something, but he is now. <laughs> Yeah, Luzak does like to collect everything. He likes to be prepared in case this um, the, any match goes like long term. We might be seeing a game three. We might be. This. Oh, this, is... this is one of the most exciting matchups we've had, both the last match and this one. This is incredibly interesting. This is incredibly close. This is incredibly fun. Do we have word from our official counter on how close uh, Luzak is to 27 stars? Yeah, Luzak has already over 27 because he has 6 in each challenge and he collected a lot of them in Gryffindor. That, so yep. he would have at least 20... a lot. And, and I think he has over 30. I trust chat, but I always like to confirm with our official counter. Our official counter says he has easily more. <laughs> yep, I saw. Which, I, I assume the counter has stopped counting as soon as he got to, <laughs> to 27. Yeah, I, that's what I was doing a lot. I would just stop counting. And like... the other counter has reliably informed us that Nixo... Uh, oh, what? Well, Nixo? What? That's the counter. Uh, Flo <laughs> hasn't been collecting the 27 stars. Our counters for... Well, one of the counters is currently chilling. According to themselves. Interesting. It's chill. Sounds like we need to get them some more work to do. Going for that silver card, I assume? There is one down there. Makes sense. Yeah. Might as well, while you're here. Where else? Where else can you find some silvers? This is gonna be quite close, because I'm wondering what Flo's gonna do after this. He's Wait, very what? close to completing chamber. He has to go for one of the long-term ones. He has to go for some cards. He has to go for some stars. There's nothing else he can do at this point. But he knows. He knows he's behind. On both of those. Yep. Is Flo gonna delay with hopes that to no one lose back into the chamber. Is Luzak going to mark them down immediately? 
Delaying a little bit. Delaying Very a little bit. Chamber. Buying cards? No! You're not gonna have the beans anymore. What, what, what did I say? Did I say something dodgy? He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't drop the beans. He's like, no, ain't no way. Oh, because it right. needs every single one of the goals that are left. He just needs Silvers. That's it. He needs Silvers to get into the Gold Wizard card challenge. There is that secret over there, yes. But Flo is on 12, but his next goal is a lot of work. So, this He's is delaying the stars sense. for... Yeah. I don't know don't the reason. Know. Yeah. Does it think it doesn't have enough? That's more than enough. Sure, you must know if you've done six in every challenge. And e uh... oh my god, getting that boost! Yeah, why right, is fair enough? Good. I guess stars. He's very good at those boosts. Who's that kid? Oh, you heading out? Oh, surely now, yes. Surely now he's on his nice. way to it's a 12 to 12. ruin Flo again. Ooh. Flo is like, how? how, how, oh, how am I going oh. to get seven, seven or six or whatever it is, wizard cards? How many does lose that cow? That's the question. That's his 20th. Enough. I think Luzak has this. Luzak definitely has this. Unless it goes awfully wrong for him in goal wizard cards, Luzak nah, has Nah, it. it ain't no way. Ain't no way, we're gonna have a game three. We are we gonna have are a game three. We are on our way that. to game three. Keep your butts clenched a little bit longer on those predictions. We're going for a game three. Which is gonna be very exciting. I am. I am shocked. I, I, I'm not gonna lie, I, you know, this has always been a very good matchup. Luzax proved Flo last match Julie? that he's very, very much, oh, very good at bingo. Uh, yeah, I would agree that after the slightly VSE business with the bingo in game one. Um, yep, but Luzax sniping all of those goals that Flo was going for. Those delays from those very specific goals twice ruined Flo's plans. I am very interested to see, like, I think it's obviously as ever with Bingo, it's going to come down to the board we get, but I'm very interested to see what round three is like. Anyone, any of these two are more than worthy to getting into the grand final. They've proved time and time again that they are some of the best bingoers to have ever bingoed. Yep. But Not only one of them can be. Beaver and Katashi as well. You know. Like... Yep. They are very, very, very fierce competition. Whoever get makes it to Grand Final, we have to say they are more than deserving of it. Yeah, I am very interested. There's and again, no one who got here whoever just does... Like... Lose this match, um, like overall, we'll still go into the, the third place match. Mm -hmm. so... We will always see them at least once more after what yeah. we have oh, to assume, and... unless Luzak loses like all power. Unless... Yeah, <laughs> Luzak making his way now. The West Internet oh. goes away. <laughs> do the Harry Potter wizard card as he becomes a uh, pair. And we have a game number three. Oh. That was so unbelievably close. If it wasn't for the Gryffindor snipe, I was literally about to click on it. I, I clicked I, I, on it I, and then it turned blue. I was that landing on the 20th of Spongify tile. <laughs> also, I don't know if you know, Luzak, but there were two goals that you delayed that Flo was going for them both. 
and you clicked on one, and Flo was like, oh, oh, I can't do this one, guess I'll go and spawn some gnomes in the bathroom. And then you click on that one one minute later, and Flo's like, come on, I can't do anything. Wait, uh, which ones? Because I... Like, you sniped me on, uh, well, it didn't really snipe me, but I, I was about to click on Gryffindor Challenge, uh, you sniped and I was doing Defendo jumpless, and I was doing 14 gnomes in the bathroom, and like all of yeah, them. Yeah, at that point yeah. I was thinking you will go to Willow or Defendo, and I took a yeah, chance I should have and went to, to Defendo. In fucking yeah. chamber, I read all yeah, secrets happened? instead of jumpless. <laughs> we, we were wondering. Yeah, I was confused. I was like, jumpless, uh, jumpless uh, chamber is yours because you probably killed their imps, and nothing's happening. Yeah, he left chamber, Flo has, did, and he... while he was dying in Quidditch, he was like, huh? Looking yeah. at the board like, I'm sure I saw this one, where is it? No. Nope. But it didn't exist. Oh my uh, god. Well, this is where it all matters. There are no second chances after this match. Um, I'm just buying up time until you see some synergies, Miney, by the way. Um, but it is the very, very last one. One of these two is gonna compete in the bronze match, the one that neither of them really wants to compete in. And one of them will move on to grand finals later it's on today. It's a very interesting board. There is a lot of secrets. Uh, there's both spider goals. There's 12 oh. Defendo stars, Harry Potter wizard cards. Oh my god, all, all again? 200 beans. Why is that guy one always there? Has three peeps chest. Buy 10 wizard cards? What is this board? Oh my god, this is like the longest board in the world. So, uh, Both of them are like... We'll be with you in about two hours. Yeah, <laughs> basically. Uh, this is uh, this is gonna be fun. Lots of things, a lot of things for both of our counters to count. So, once again, shout outs to Nixo and Dino for having to put up with this board's bullshit. Because it ain't easy. Lots of stars, lots of cards, lots of secrets. Flo can't dodge them anymore. Oh. We are in for some very, very interesting routings. I, once Great. again, I don't know where they are going to first. I hope they don't go for the same thing. There, there are a couple of ones that you can go for. You hope they don't, the but like, it's their thing to go for the same goal first. So, um. <laughs> There's a couple in Rig yeah. too, maybe you could start with those. There's some Spongify tiles and Spongify secrets, you could start on that. Um, there's spiders in the forest, if you want to go immediately for the loser Quidditch Here match by 250. Here we go, where are they gonna go? The where are they gonna go, Henrik? Where are they gonna go? I don't know. I'm betting one of them's going outside. Because also ground secrets are oh, a thing. Oh, Flo is warping. Flo's doing what yeah. I said, he's going to go immediately for the 250 oh, points. Luzak, for the first time, doesn't agree. He says... Flo's gonna get that one first, I don't care, I'm going for something else. Maybe the long-term goals. Slytherin, what is there to do in Slytherin? Well, there's complete Slytherin. Um, and besides that, there's arm stands. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some spiders you could get in there. Yep, you, indeed, uh, indeed. And you have to cast so it quite a few. Some bronze cards. For the uh, Temple and Cons Bronze cards are out ahead, but I suppose. No, you would just buy silvers. Maybe. You could buy. Yeah, this is a very yeah. interesting board. Very, very. Alright, Flo board. is immediately gonna mark that down. He doesn't wanna get sniped for the first goal again, but. Doesn't know that he has yep. time. He doesn't know that. Actually, he wouldn't have been sniped and is going for Forest. Like I said, that was one of the possibilities that I, that I talked about. I'm glad I have a bingo thinking brain, even if I can't play bingo. Um, but yeah, this is very, very, very much exciting. 
definitely. I am. Um, <laughs> I don't know where I was going to that one. <laughs> for a final match, for a final round of this match, it's a very exciting board. Indeed, it is. I wouldn't want it any any other way. If it was a boring board, you know, I wouldn't want that. We want some exciting matches, and I hope we get exciting matches, and I hope we get a lot of close calls. And as we have been reliably informed by the host in the chat, Luzak could be in to doing nine matches today, which is definitely yeah. our max. Because he has oh, yeah. already done... This is his fourth match. He hasn't stopped. We've all been seeing yeah. his beautiful, handsomest face over there in that corner for the whole of the tournament since 1 p.m. UTC or... No, BST. Well, there was a brief moment where we couldn't quite see it because it was getting quite dark. But then he well, put the yeah. light on. <laughs> and then he <laughs> turned on the lights. But yeah. Uh, thankfully, though, they won't be in a row because um, the next match is the next semi-final, then the bronze, then the final. Yeah, finally there's going to be a break for Fort Luzak, no matter what, after this match, for at least the duration of two other rounds of Bingus Bungus. Indeed, as Flo is making his way through Forest. Making his way downtown. Okay. Um, yep, he's making his way. He's getting some wizard cards for the bronze one. It does make you wonder though, because I think it's quite a common sort of theory that if anyone could beat Beaver, it's Luzak. Do you wonder whether all of this bingo will help him if he makes it to the final or will hinder him? He's getting a lot, a lot of practice. Um, so there is the possibility that uh, all this practice is hel just helping him route stuff, knowing exactly when to snipe goals or when to not snipe goals. I don't know. It can be interesting. At the same time, um, he's definitely getting a little bit tired of this. Uh, yeah, you, 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 can, you can see a little bit of the exhaustion. It's also, not easy to, to go um, for this. It's been a very good chance for um, Beaver to look at the way Luzak's playing. Which is mm -hmm. interesting, but the Beaver's, Beaver has been able to be studied for a lot longer, so I'm very intrigued. But obviously, he hasn't made it to the final yet. He needs to win this final round of this match to make it to the final, which Flo mm -hmm. can do, because he is currently two goals up, but at this point that really doesn't mean anything. One of these runners is going to face Beaver, not at all one of these runners, is going to face Katashi. Indeed. We don't know who is going to face who in which match yet. That is, or at least half of that, is to be decided right at this instance. Forest secrets are in, our spiders in the Aragog fight are in, Luzak knows exactly where Flo is. Flo has no clue where Luzak is. Luzak isn't giving it away. Even though he has some goals in his mind, or in his back pocket, I guess. We buy in bulk and pass the savings on to you. How about a trade, Harry? Indeed. He has, he has completed Slytherin. He has all of the Slytherin secrets. And uh, I don't know what else Luzak has. I don't think he has anything else. Where, oh, where are they going? I, personally, would go for Rick to Sempra quite, quite early. You have the beans in the chasm, you have ten different stars in Rick too. Um, but since I didn't go for it right at the start, uh, I'm not sure it's worth going for now. And of course you can get some bronze cards in there. Yeah, I am... Um... He has the nine armor stands, says Dina. So he is. He's like, he's delayed. Again. Oh, he does. Okay. <laughs> armor stands oh. is one of the ones that doesn't give too much away of your position. There's only a couple of levels with armor stands, but at the same time, 
it's a weird one to delay. It? It's a very weird one to delay, especially when Flo can just snipe them here. Yeah, I seeing Flo was in Willow, I would have marked that at that point. Mm hmm I would as well. Unless Luzak has no idea how many armor stands he has. Which would be uh, weird. Um, I would have counted them. Yeah, you'd imagine he would have counted them. But there is a lot going through these runners' minds. As someone who has ran this tournament, is it going for I can attest. Cards? Is there any... Oh, yeah, the Harry Potter one. I keep forgetting about that one. That guy popped up in every single one of the matches between these two. What's that all about? And he popped up in the first match between Paul and Elizabeth. Come on, Harry! Are you hard-coded to really, show up in every single one? Really is narcissist percent, what can I say? Leave us alone, Harry. For God's sake. Anyways, Flo got... Uh, gotting? Getting? Secrets in the grounds during the night. One of the goals. Yep, we're getting the bronze card there by the. Uh, Not sure point. why Luzak isn't still refusing to mark down any of the goals, but he's in Scourge now. He's going to defeat Peeves. One of the Imagine goals. Imagine if Luzak just delays like all of his goals and just goes boom, 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 boom. I wasn't. I personally I would wouldn't. That's terrifying. One of them. Look and at that. You would lose track of Flo. what you had and hadn't done. Flo is going for Slytherin. If it doesn't mark Slytherin soon, lose Zach. He's yeah. gonna lose that one. Oh mm. dear, oh dear. Ah, uh, and armor stands. This is gonna be a tense one. But knowing Luzak, I'm hoping he has a plan to mark at the right time. <gasps> did Flo get those armor stands or did he? He did, he did, he cast it on. Oh, cool, okay. Come on, Luzak. You're going to have to mark soon. Who's that? I don't know how many, oh, how many armor stands is Flow on at this point. Uh, can he finish them in Slytherin? We have to wait for our reliable informer. Four. Okay. Tell us that it is four. So the two That's in Willow and the two in here. enough is it to finish in Slytherin? Because there's only a few more, like three at max. I think. Oh, and Luzak has finally marked complete Gryffindor challenge. Okay. Very interesting. Still no Slytherin. Still no understands. And Flo is close to completing Slytherin and getting all of the secrets. Though, if if Luzak is to mark it down within the next minute, he will have made Flo lose a lot, a lot of time. True. He is but kind also, of if he delays it too much, the armor stands though. But yeah, if he delays it too much, um, Ooh, it might be a uh oh time. This could also be a snipe for the armor stands as well, because yeah, he's now on seven. Yeah, seven. So if he gets the two that are in the secret room, emptying bean boxes, Luzak is. He has very, very little time, Luzak. But will he have time to tab out and do it, is the question. Oh, there we go! Slytherin! And Mark, MT9 armor stands flow, not looking happy. But he gets the spiders. That is that find us? a good bit of progress, though. How? Oh, how? How, oh, how does Luzak keep stealing gold from right under Flo's nose. How? Oh, how does he do it? Late Luzak strikes again. Late Luzak is like the story about the the third is it the turtle and the hare or the turtle something like that? And the hare. Yeah. Yeah that's the one. I, I never know the Flo English names of them. Marking but... ten bronze with the cards. This time no he it wasn't him that struggled with that last time, it wasn't his other I had the problem with that last time. Now, is Luzak holding on to anything at the moment? I do not believe so. Uh, all sticks with the cards and Scourge? Oh, except defeating Peeves. And that too. Did he get with the cards and Scourge or did he skip them? Both Scourge cards, chat's telling me. Thank you, chat. I do believe he got the cards. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm That's being told two. that he did. So, yeah, yeah he is on told. six to five, technically. Oh dear, oh dear. 
he would be leading. But he, again, he doesn't want to give everything away. Or anything yeah. away, yet, really. That's the Luzak way. And we love to see it. Getting a bronze cup. Is that one from down there? A bronze one? I don't that think is a bronze, bronze one. Yep. Has he not looked in to see if uh, Flo's got that one? He's getting bean boxes. Yep. I am. You, you might as well climb up to Lockhart while you're there, but if you do, do that, um, you probably wouldn't be able to do anything about it because Flo is on his way. Indeed, to get one of the easiest goals and on the board. Flo oh, usually insta snipes everything. There it is. Yep. Flo now Luzak is wondering, what do I do? I was going for that one. Thank you, Flo. It is a fairly easy goal to get. Oh, is but... it still... Has he not seen it? Oh, bean boxes. I forgot about those. There are still bean boxes. I don't know where every single bean box is, but apparently Luzak knows. Yep. It's a slight snipe, but I think, as Shai said, It's better than nothing, snipe. Yeah, Luzak still definitely has the, the up on sniping. So, mm -hmm. uh, oh, Flo is also going for bean boxes now. This could be problematic. As we say, collect the silver card. Oh! And marks the bean boxes. Oh! Courage and bean boxes, and Flo once again looks over at the board, and he's like, "Oh, seven to six now." I shouldn't be doing that one. Blue's like, uh, eight, I think eight bean boxes is is. Above average, yes, definitely. Yeah, That's I think um, the break has done Luzak some good because he really seems to be energized. Firing on all cylinders now. Uh -huh. Still going for the silvers, never forgetting those long, long goals that keep saving him. Yeah, as Flo makes his way through shape. Also have Spider, 21 right. Spongify tiles, which you can't really do in Spongify alone, I don't think. Maybe you can. I was slightly confused why he was going into chamber there, but that makes sense. Good quick spider count there for Flo. Bringing him back level 7-7. Seven, seven. There goes Lee Jawson, calling out Peter Pettigrew. Snitch, snitch. Um... Potter is indeed out of the game, but none of those two runners are out of the game. Luzak not forgetting the, the Spongify secrets. We talked about those. We talked about those um, regarding the first match. You might remember our little talk with the, the runners after the first the first um, match between them. Uh, we talked about the secrets that they both missed, so I would assume they both know now where all of the secrets are. I hope so. You don't have to. And now for jumping on Spotify tiles. Spotify tiles. There he goes, a couple more. Hashtag that won't hurt. Now, I don't believe any of them are holding on to... Um, any goals at the moment? I don't think so. But, but the next couple of ones, there aren't a lot of synergies left. There's the one with the Spongifies, and the Rick 2, Peef's Chests and Defindo, you know, can clear that one. Have to do some duels to get all those beans. Mm, that's interesting. Very, very interesting. First key by Luzak. And this thinking. Very, very hard. Has decided either to sneeze or to get away from the idea he was having. We might never know. Spongify is quite a long challenge. Not quite as long as the fin, though. But definitely long when you want to go for a hundred percent. Definitely. Or at least all secrets. Mm -hmm. 
one. Sorry, I just saw in chat Spongy Fire Wrapped. And I like that. Oh, yeah. I Everyone, like that a lot. Everyone's riff enough of your Spongy Fire and Spotify tiles. My Spotify tiles. I like my Spotify tiles. So do I. But yeah, now both of them going for different goals. Flo has seen the synergy in um, in Rick to Sempra, while Luzak is still jumping away. Jump, jump, jump. And Rick to Semper stars is indeed the max number of Rick to Semper stars. So you have to collect all of them. Oh, yep, 10 different Rick to. We've seen a lot of max star goals today. Mm -hmm. 10, um, Gryffindor 12 challenge. in Diffindo is also quite a high roll. Not quite max, but definitely a little bit high. There's 14, as we have established in the last few matches. All of the beans in the chasm has been collected. Will he hold them? I would assume He's not. Yeah. That's because blowing. why the hell wouldn't you? Blow is, and Luzak has, uh, Luzak has done a nodding of understanding a few seconds ago, like, yep, I know where you are. Yep, oh, getting the secret but not collecting the card. Which is no, need. no need to get the, the bronze ones. Yep. At this yeah, point in time. There's nothing you can do with the bronze ones. Getting a good ledger grab, just hopping into that Spongify tile and hopping back. Yep. Does he claim any of them? He might not. Because he knows exactly where Flo is. He knows Flo instantly marks them down. So he can hold on to Spongify a little bit longer and try to see if he can bait Flo into it. Flo seems to fall for a lot of those Luzak baits, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately for Flo, fortunately for Luzak. So maybe he's gambling on that one again. Don't yeah, tell cool. me. Don't tell me he's going Ten. to Spongify. He is, isn't he? His stars has been marked. He is. Oh dear, oh dear. It's he's another right one. hands here. It's another it's one. Long goal you can get on. the 21 Spongify tiles a little bit early. You can snipe that one maybe. But if Luzak just waits till mid goil to to I go think... for the Spongify secrets, it's more time wasted. The more this goes on, the more likely I think it is we're going to be seeing a Luzak final. It is possible. Luzak plays the bingo mind games. Incredibly well. Yeah. But yeah, Flo, as pointed out, is just going for the tiles, not going for the secrets. He isn't falling for that bait. So, oh ho! Maybe. He's gonna go for the long. Yeah, he's going for the long spongy tile again. Or just for the silver. I suppose it's got the silver as well, so. Yeah, there is some benefit for it, so... Oh, no, no, he's not even going not for the even silver. silver! He doesn't like the silver ones. I would have at least gotten the silver if I was going down there. Yeah. Uh, I do have to agree with our bemused chatter, who says, this style is so slow, why is it going for, him, for it again? We also don't know. <laughs> it's as much of a mystery to us as it is, as it is to you. Um, but he does seem to like to go for the slow tiles. Indeed. Very much indeed. It's his favourite tile, yeah, agreed. I think so. He's going for every single tile in the history of man. In the meantime, Luzak is wrapping up Le Goyle. Yep, so is he about to Will mark? he now use... He's uh, oh my word! Eleven to nine. Oh man! Ongify peeves gold oh, right as, and right tiles. As, right as Nixo says, flow is good as well. 
Oh, that was brutal. Four goals. And but... suddenly, all of a sudden, Luzak is coming back yet again to defeat the odds, to defeat all likelihoods, to crush French hearts. Yeah. And a specific German heart as well, I am sure. This is gonna but be. Very... Luzak's delays will not be denied. Dueling but... for beans. Is Flo going for the ground secrets? He might as well. He's already gotten them at night. He can go for them for the day. He's just going for the yeah. Findo. Oh, he's if... going for the secrets. Of course he is. Luzak, if he was to win this though, would be setting up for an incredible final. Assuming that Beaver wins his semi, which I assume purely for the sake of he's undefeated, but anything could happen with subbing a motto. Even if Katashi makes it to the final, I think we could be in for a very, very interesting uh, matchup. Mm -hmm. We have one Pole, one French, one Canadian, and one German left in the competition. Which nation is going to come out victorious? You have to wonder now. Luzak only needs to. He can't just go for duels and buy 10 cards. That's enough. That is enough. He could just go for the 10 cards and then the Harry Potter cards, but really, why would you? You yep. just need about 2,600 beans or something, and you're set. Even more, like 3,000 to buy 10 cards. Depends on... You probably on which cards to buy. Ten cards is a lot. That's a lot of bean grinding. But he knows. It's just bean grinding now. If Flo isn't bean grinding, if Flo isn't bean grinding, it's easy. It's just that easy. Yep. And Flo isn't. There is no way now. That Flo can get four of them. I don't think he can get one. Can he get four? Four is a little bit too much. Again, with the long range goals and the snipes. Yep. This is gonna be. Oh. Here's the entrance hall. I am. Oh. You are all, indeed. Yes, I am all. We are all whole. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. What did you just say? Want to trade? I said oh. Leave me oh. alone. <laughs> like you said something else. I was like, excuse me. I'm gonna use my English as not my first language card again. Okay, my name. Okay. <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> okay. Flo is just making his way downtown. What's he doing? He is tickling. He's getting on top of Hagrid's hut. What? What is he doing? Does he? Wait. What? I... What? Wait. What did he I do? I do that? believe Flo has like. Is he flowing? I believe. I believe Flo has more or less surrendered. He knows he can't pull back. Because why is he going through the forest? I do, I do have to remind everyone that is watching this that this isn't the last time we will see Flo today. Flo will be returning for at least one of the two matches. It looks increasingly, increasingly more ah. likely that you will see him in the bronze I mean, match. At this point, I think, given that Flo is just doing forest jumpless when it's not a goal, <laughs> I think at this point he has flowed a little bit and we'll be seeing him in the bronze match. But it's not 100% confirmed yet. But just showing off that forest Even if he does, both of them have put in a lot, and I mean a lot of effort and hours into practicing bingo, and they have put on quite quite amazing entertaining shows today, 
and yep. throughout the last few weekends where bingo tournament has been played like these two are very very much top bingo runners um and uh it is it is very 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 much it's very it has very much been quite an entertaining matchup between the two all of the snipes Definitely. all of the confusions all of the rule things oh. use that marked beans gotta keep an eye on that but i think at this point it doesn't really matter so uh, he can just it's just grinding for the buying of the cards Definitely. there it is he's marked them the beans one more one more, and we can officially crown our first finalist, finalist. Our first finalist of today. One and he more. And we'll finally have a break. And we'll, find, we'll finally have a break. This is. He's been at it for three oh my God. How hours. How many big spiders? If you're more. an arachnophobe, I would not recommend looking at Flow Screen right now. No, definitely. What is he trying to do, even? I don't know. Flo is just, you know, he's having fun. He's, he's, he's having fun. He's just having fun. He's just trying to lure as many spiders as he can. He's trying to jump on them. To get the hot power. Arachnophobe. <laughs> Arachnophobes. This is looking for the 12 challenge stars in Aragon. Yeah, he knew he knew immediately from the goals that were left, like, there was no point. Yeah. That he couldn't compete. Luzak only needed to, even if he sniped them in one of the bean ones, in one of the wizard cards one, you know. Luzak was always ahead of him. It was, it was uh, being incredibly hard. Luzak's sure. just beaning. Is oh. he... Has he been to enough level? Why? Why does he look stressed? Is he tired? Is... I think Luzak needs uh, a white people hug. Yeah, agreed. As Jinx removes it, <laughs> you say that. Now you can. Now you can apply it. Now everyone can yeah. can white now people you hug. Can give both of them. Both of the runners hug. need white people hugs. I would, but that would mean alt stabbing from the stream, and I can't do it. I need to keep watching. Yeah. He's at 3.3. He's at 3,300 oh. beams. <laughs> Flo's just waiting. Flo's just like, alright, you know what? I'm just gonna play something in between. I'm gonna play some Quidditch. As Lizak makes his way up to go start buying cards. Count with us, chat, as Lizak buys. And Ten wizard cards. Here we go. Are you ready, chat? One. One, 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 one. Two. two, two. Three. <laughs> four. Oh, oh, oh. Five. Oh, oh, oh. Six. <laughs> Seven. Seven, seven, seven. <laughs> Eight. Nine. Nine, 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 nine. And ten. Luzak takes the win. <laughs> Let's there get this. I counted here. them correctly. He's marked them on the boards. Bring them both. Well, the strat works once again, Luzak. You keep sniping every single one of them. Uh uh, hang on, hang on. Flo's won. He's won the Quidditch final. Flo's won. Oh no! Oh my like, god. Flo's won the Quidditch final. Oh no! Luzak, you lost sorry, the Quidditch right. Sorry, it's your right that we didn't know about. Yeah, yeah, yeah sorry for the ending, <laughs> but uh, those duels secured me a win, so yeah. I had to grind a little. Yeah, well, I course, started doing the round secret, and then I heard Luzak's keyboard. I was like, okay, he's doing duels. <laughs> I lost. <laughs> uh, I see, I see. Because we were like, yeah. Flo has to know that it's almost impossible unless, like, Luzak's yeah. electricity goes I mean, out or something. When you jumped on top of Hagrid's hut and it did forest jump plus, we kind of knew. That's when we kind of knew, yeah. That point. But, uh, you were just having fun. 
jumping on spoozers and winning the Quidditch Cup and dying. What were you doing in Aragog, by the way? I don't know, I'm just chilling. You jumping on spoozers. You know what? We command it. Uh, we command it. That's all I wanted to say. Um, GG Zuzak, your, your strategies yeah. worked once again. You kept sniping things from under Flo's nose. Mm hmm Our first finalist. How are you feeling? Yes. Um, I need a break after those four matches. And... <laughs> That's <laughs> just think that you could be going all the way to nine matches. Well, at least Beaver is not gonna have a break after his semi-finals, so... Yeah, uh, he, he potentially has. He do have That's that advantage. advantage, yes. There's the bronze match feel... in between, so he does have... Oh, match. there's also a bronze. If okay. he wins. He has, but... yeah. Let me just ask, do you feel better that you've had the practice, or would you rather have done less matches? Um, there was a potential after our groups, if I end up being first, to uh, meet Beaver in semi-finals or quarter-finals, no, semi-finals. Uh, and that would be worse. I feel like, uh, as I've said before, my goal is to win at least one match. Uh, and in the best of five, it's more possible, <laughs> to be completely honest. But I don't think I'm gonna win, but I'm gonna try my best. Um, for sure, I'm gonna try hard. If I haven't done it yet, I certainly <laughs> have. That like snipe of like four goals in one was brutal. Yeah, but it... sniping Beaver is gonna be very, very hard. I guess he's gonna hold the goals and he's not gonna go for Who like says very obvious face... goals because Who says I... you're gonna face Beaver. There, there's still yeah. a semi-final to be played. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, but uh, I, I've, I've lost to Katashi. <laughs> Uh, so oh. uh, I don't want to face him. He's fair, all right. You know what? Fair enough. Uh, for Flo, we have one more match with you uh, in about oh, yeah. an hour and a half or two oh, hours or something. Yep. You have oh, the bronze have match bronze to match. see who yeah. gets oh, the bronze. third place. Yeah, I mean, I think I played. It just really sucks. Like it, it, it's just like the match where I miss the Gryffindor, like hitting the Gryffindor. If I would have clicked on that, I would have like. One, but I mean, I would have. Liam is destroying anyone, everyone, anyway. So uh, it, it's probably better than Luzak uh, faces him. Luzak will be our first grand finalist, which is pretty sick. And Flo, Ooh. even though this match is not on the bracket because the website doesn't like it for some reason, uh, Flo will still be back later on in you know, after the next semifinal for his match for third place against either Katashi or Beaver, whoever is gonna lose. are back once again we have the second semi-final going on two people we haven't seen at all today it's Beaver versus Katashi hello oh. I very excited runners uh, looking forward to a very exciting matchup as well and I am joined by the one and only portal who unfortunately earlier lost to Luzak but he's back for commentary my goodness am I still alive <laughs> hello chat hello everybody hello yeah y'all ready well, i suppose yep. i don't know if i'm ready and i hope mano is ready ready because he's gonna take over the counting for this match i think apart from that i'll leave the countdown to your portal and we kick this off all righty well um all that aside uh i was gonna make an anime reference anyway not important three <laughs> two one bingo go good, good luck. luck good luck bingo. Did you spot any synergies yet already? Uh, no. There's there's some pretty good like low golds with the 15 stars, the 22 cards. They're pretty low ones you can easily get. 31 challenge stars as well combines quite yeah, well. That's interesting. There's a lot of challenges. 
There's Spongify Secrets, there's Finish Challenge with Noom, there's Stars, there's Defendo Secrets, there's... Yeah, yeah, that seems good. Mm-hmm. Defendo Secrets and Challenge Stars, decent. Uh, there's also Ground Secrets Day and Night and Willow, that's good. Yeah, there's it's... a match, which is like your backup goal if you don't want to do anything. Honestly, <laughs> quite, like, quite, quite an interesting board. Um, I don't hate it one. either, yeah. Uh, potential start is Warpout, Boomslang, Boomslang. With like the Jumpless and the Frogs. It's probably what I'd do. Uh, with long-term goals, we have to, we have cards, we have challenge stars. There's there's a lot. There's not a lot of Rick to Sample. No, surprisingly. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's... Which can be annoying for 31, but 31 is doable still, so... It's not even like that many synergies on this board, I feel like. I mean, at least not quick synergies. It might be worth even going for Willow and get the double synergy. There aren't that many on the board, so... Yeah, uh, Willow is a good double synergy. Here's the thing, I... What I would do is warp at the beginning, uh -huh. just to secure... I like that, goal. I like then that. Then go either... Boomslang or Willow. Is Boomslang also double, or I'm not only uh, seeing yeah, frogs? Yeah, it is. It's three frogs jumpless, which is ah, not yeah. difficult. No, uh, no. Unless you do... No, even... Eh, I guess you could do like the hard part, but there's no point. You do need 11 spiders anyway, so... Not a lot of forest. There's chamber secrets and spawn gnomes. Um, mm -hmm. And imps, so... That's the thing. Oh, and avoid avoid damage. Holy crap. Okay, chamber's powerful, actually. Chamber's strong. Alright, let's see where we start. I'm actually kind of curious, because I don't know what, like, obviously, like, Harry Potter wizard card is also on the board, because of course it is. Yep, Going as outside, every board so nobody far. Nobody warping. Uh, Imagine someone actually starts with chamber. No, nobody does. Okay. <laughs> outside, I like outside. Seven different Gryffindor challenge challenge stars that that is a mouthful um mm -hmm. which is good for the star goals basically yeah, like it, it, combines it is, quite it's, well to start we were starting with willow i wonder why he didn't warp probably expected katashi to or he d just doesn't want to looks mm -hmm. like katashi is gonna take the two cards on the way because he can yeah makes sense going They're for the long-term goals well. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Liam obviously seeing how powerful Willow is. And even though it doesn't yeah. give him anything towards the long-term goals, really, it's just the quick goals you can check off and claim. Yeah, and it gives you the night secrets, which yeah, is true. annoying. You might as well... It's actually really good to get this at the start, because delaying this for like the late game can get very awkward. Yeah. I mean, he might yeah, honestly three. just not go and into the night secrets like if he goes through willow it kind of guarantees him that katashi will never go for the night secrets yeah three for willow i'm i wonder what like obviously katashi is going to be making a lot of progress here but and there's also bicorn on the board hate that um anyway mm -hmm. um i wonder where he goes after this because um pro my, my guess would be spongify if he um if he continues like the 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 star plan uh but also chamber is very strong he could like just go grand staircase and just do the gnomes and uh i wonder if either of them has seen that oh, i guess his beaver already has but yeah yeah i mean he insta marks it as well the willow from secrets from out of bounds which makes sense because he would he had to assume he's racing katashi and willow just because yeah. of how strong of an opener you, it is you would have to uh is, is there secrets for gryffindor challenge on the board that we just haven't seen uh, no. Oh, he just Don't went for please. the card. That's why he went in there. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Um, He's going for all the stars the he can smart get. smart first casting on the armors and yep. then going for the thingy. That is good. Yeah. So he can get the beans. He also boosted out of the other beans, which is uh, also cool that you can do. And he didn't get a frog. Imagine that. I mean, he is full HP. Well, he actually had to collect the set frog that's always there because yeah. he... Uh... Well, I, to, to be fair, certain someone did that as well, but it was yeah. just not enough, was it? Very uh, true. Obviously, I'm curious. going Night Secrets here makes perfect sense. I'm curious um, if Katashi is insta-marking. It probably shouldn't because he knows Liam has started with Willow, so he has time to he delay it a bit. He warps out. 
Oh. Good. I like that. Uh, He's gonna get the uh, gonna get the Quidditch goal. Yeah. Any? I don't know though. Like, I I guess you you, you go boomslang. Do you go boomslang? Mm, I, I mean, mean he know... has to assume he has to assume Beaver is doing night secrets. Exactly. Yeah. So he has yeah. to know he has some time. But also on the other hand, he knows Beaver is on the ground, Gryffindor so scored, it's kind of scary. Because of course Gryffindor scored. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yes. Takes him a bit to get this oh, done. Gryffindor scored again. <sighs> yeah, he's no, he does not look pleased. That is, so, that's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, that's the small RNG things are still left in Bingo. Even though most of it is skill based, I would say. Sometimes stuff like this happens, or you get a frog in Willow. I mean. Nothing you can really do about that one. No. Just RNG. Yep. Now he dies still perfectly on time. That is losing by 150 points. He marks yep. that one instantly. That is, is... I don't know about that. I think no. Beaver was just about to Quidditch Warp. He was on the Quidditch menu. Beaver, Beaver has information now. He knows Katashi warped out of somewhere. Yeah. Um. I, I don't know about marking that. Ins I mean... I guess, but he had to assume that like Liam was doing secrets. Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, I guess they're just on his way. Interesting. He doesn't go to Boomslang. He's probably too worried about Beaver Defendo, being there. There's a double synergy in Defendo that will get him more stars anyway, but I no. don't like Defendo. No. I mean, he's going to get 15 challenge stars as well at the same time, but all secrets is really, really long. It, it's mostly yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, eh, it's, it's not as worst. bad as cards, though. It's not as bad. Is it not? I thought it. Oh no, it's it's better. Yeah, because you don't have to go all the way on the long thing. But I feel like he's gonna get the cards anyway. So <laughs> maybe at least the silver ones. Bronze cards oh. actually useless in this. Dear board. mother of Chungus, that was that was a weird setup for that boost. Yeah, it was a lot of fall damage as well. Uh, meanwhile, Beaver is in Scourge. What is he doing here? Six cards, I assume? Because I saw him collect the bronze card. Oh no, there's uh, 22 wizard no. cards. Never mind, it's not useless. Yeah. Yeah, see, Kadashi gets it as well, so... So Beaver's here just for cards and stars? Uh, it must be something else. I guess the bean box is at the end. Oh yeah, bean box, of course. Yeah, Pretty there's... Neat. Yeah, he can he can get like three of them here, and then three of them at the grand staircase that are pretty quick. Yeah. Oh God. Okay, Beaver's plan is actually really good here because I think he saw the chamber synergy. Yeah. It's like it's go to grand staircase, get the three boxes, spawn the gnomes, get chamber. Oh yeah, that is uh, good. That that's that's a very strong combo. He doesn't even get the silver <laughs> card here, but he might actually finish with the gnome in his hand. Is my guess. Yeah, he, he's going yeah. for it. Might yeah, get the card as well on top. Up there as well. Yeah, so true. So it's true. it's a it's a double whammy. So true. Beaver is actually in in a very short period of time. He's gonna get a uh, finish challenge with gnome in hand, six bean boxes, oh. um, spawn gnomes in bathroom, and will be entering chamber. So yeah. the, these are like which is also strong. So yeah, that is a quick succession. See, this is why I don't like Defendo because yeah. by the time Katashi finishes. Beaver will have three goals. Yeah, at least he's still gonna get the 15 challenge stars. That's that's the yeah. one benefit yeah, for him. True. He's not gonna get sniped on that. Yeah, at least I mean, if Beaver does Kadashi what you think he has. A, a triple whammy here. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah, grand staircase. It makes perfect sense. You were absolutely correct. And uh, he can also like he can get the imps as well. Oh, six of them. Is it six? five? Five. Oh yeah, it's actually really good for him. It's enough to yeah. just go onto this floor because um, he, he's gonna get six exactly here, and that's all he yeah, needs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like that's that's what I was saying. Oh, oh he didn't or not? Cast on it. He didn't. No, he also didn't did go not? into transfig. So he starts with the gnome, maybe. No, he wants the cycle. I oh, guess. but he, I don't. Oh, he actually yeah, still he, gets he it. Wants, I'm surprised. He wants the cycle because like. He can get that on like the way back, I guess. Yeah, I, I'm very surprised oh, that, was, that actually worked. That was good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he fell down. That F. much too. That was good. 
Also, Kitashi is back in the, the first secret? room. What happened? I guess he missed the secret. I wasn't watching. Yeah, I wasn't sure either. I was just kind of defendo, so we just kind of let it play. But I am doing a bad job at predicting their movements. Did he forget like the peeps chest, or is he just going in here I, for the star? Know. I don't know what he's doing. Oh no, he's just back. Empty six bean boxes. Wait. <laughs> Wait, no. Wait, is that correct? Uh. Where did he empty the first one? I. I mean, he needs two more, right? We saw him get two in Scourge. Now we got three in Scourge. Oh, three in Scourge. Did he get three here? Or did he just get the two? Uh, okay, we're... Um, oh, you did get three? three. Okay. okay, three, okay, good. good. Because I didn't we'll see find. him cast it like the Transfig one, but Me I... Me neither, I, I didn't think he did, but yeah, makes sense. Yeah. Then this we'll is find. Very, the thing he's attempting right now is very hard. I have never gotten it, uh, but you might as well try until, like, while you're waiting for the cycle. I'm so confused what Katashi has to go for, though. Like, what did he forget? I didn't see a secret guess, counter. It's too small for me. Uh, let me pay let attention me, when he boosts now. He's on check. seven out of eleven. Seven. Okay. Oh my god. What did he do? <laughs> I mean, he could have just done Hundo route, to be fair, and he would have been fine. Yeah. Well, I guess yeah, now he has to play like through the Defendo. Defendo, yeah. like, as you can see, is such a time waster in Dingo. <laughs> like, obviously, it's, it's, it's overpowered in the long run, but I don't know. Also, people are doing it from below. I personally prefer from above. Oh, I hate that. I hate that so much. <laughs> I also oh. do it the way he does it. And I think he needs one more and then he's good. Ah, which doesn't want to spawn though. Yeah, there's one on the spawner. Yeah, he goes. That's 15. I'm pretty sure he did one extra just to make sure. Probably, yeah. Oh, Katashi skipped the first part of the level. Oh, I guess he wanted to finish the stars quickly. That kind of makes sense. Yeah. It is 15 challenge stars, so that is one could double you. But I wonder, like, Beaver marking six bean boxes, like, that has to mean he's going to chamber, right? He did uh, warp out. I, I wonder why he warped out. Exactly, there. like, since he warped, I kind of really don't think he's gonna go to chamber. Even no, though he was right next to it, so I'm surprised he doesn't want those two golds, but I guess chamber does take a while, like, it's relatively long. And Boomslang is still open, which is arguably the way quicker goal, so... It's true. He must be kind of confused where Kadashi is in, to be fair. He hasn't yeah. marked anything really for a while that gives anything away, with Defindo being super long. True. And Liam probably knows that Kadashi usually insta-marks his things. Yeah, I'm... I, I, I don't know, like, I'm... I'm very confused with Kadashi's decision on such an early Defindo, but I guess for challenge stars... Mm -hmm. But that's not what I would do, there's Boomslam. Get Boomslang and then do Defendo. Uh, yeah, I agree. You know what it, I mean? Especially because Boomslang spawns you like really close to it anyways. You spawn yeah. in the entry hall, so... But I guess, I mean, he didn't know where Liam went after Willow, of course. I think he was just worried that True. he went to Boomslang. Yep, there comes the Defendo. Beaver looks a bit confused, <laughs> but accepts it. Yeah, he was. I think he was expecting a Hess there, but didn't ah, end that's up why. one. Makes sense, yeah. Yep, and Kadashi is done with Defindo. Hey, where is he gonna go now? If he goes to Boomslang now, there will be a problem. But it looks like he collects the secrets even further. I mean, I, if, I feel like he has collected those bad already. Because Beaver already has Beaver already has the Night Secrets. Kadashi true, doesn't. true. But I mean, he can still snipe him on that. It's not like Beaver. Or did he actually fin? No, he didn't finish the Day Secrets yet. So. I'm pretty sure that was the last one, like the one before Boomslang. Was it? Did he go into the ones Katashi is about to enter? Cause I don't remember him being he in that one. Might not actually. Yeah. yeah, I know he went during the night, but yeah. God, I'm doing the thing where I'm not paying enough attention. I mean, it is two screens to pay attention to. It is kind of difficult. Twice, twice high-level gameplay. 
Oh, Beaver instantly marking that just in case Kitashi is in Boomslang. I kind of like the move, honestly, yeah. because, you know, he marked the Findo and Beaver doesn't know when he's actually done it, so. True. It's I don't know, close like, to Beaver's playing. very ahead on secrets, and if he's planning to finish him, it's probably now. He's also ahead on cards. Mm -hmm. He must be close to 22, actually, at this point. Up there goes Boom Sling Jumpless. Good thing he didn't reflex jump when he was getting the card from the chest. <laughs> True. I've done that. Happens. So where's he gonna go next? And where's Katashi gonna know that go next? Good thing for him is that Boom Sling got marked off so he doesn't get baited into going there. So here's the thing. By warping out of like bathroom, Beaver is kind of baiting Katashi to not go to chamber yeah away. and now he's confused because like mm -hmm. he's like do i do bicorn no bicorn's too slow what do i do and uh i like the spongify call here let's see if he's gonna up oh, he, he can't decide he's going up he's oh. just getting cards for now which i mean i like long-term goals are always a good thing to get started with or make progress with rather but beaver i think is getting just a lot more a lot quicker oh he's already on at least 20. 20 cards now like he's one or two off and he is in the grand staircase so there's a lot to collect here that is that is a snipe yeah and chamber looks like he's going chamber oh no they're both going chamber now mm. but liam is picking up this card is katashi gaining getting it as well probably probably it is i mean there, it's not the quickest no reason oh? not to get it Oh, maybe, okay. maybe there is a reason if you... It. Okay, this gives him kind of like an edge. Yeah, if Beaver actually ends up going okay. to Chamber, that's oh, really good news. Oh, cards. That's actually kind of good for Katashi, because he's like, okay, I don't have to worry about this anymore. Yeah, he doesn't seem pleased with it, but in, in the moment it actually might not be bad for him. And if he snipes those two secrets from... or those two gold oh. from Beaver, then it's actually even. So, this is not over. Katashi has a very good shot here. Chamber secrets. That all depends on who can do them faster, though. Yeah, for sure. He has to play well yeah. to be ahead of Beaver, who's obviously very good at HP2. Yeah, keeping up with Beaver is uh, is tough. Katashi can for sure do it. There's also imps here, which I reckon both of them are going to go for, because I, I don't think either of them mm -hmm. expect each other to be in chamber right now. No. Uh, oh, Beaver's going down. Goes for the spy, which outside. is a goal. Yep. Yeah. Yep. It's good. Uh, Katashi skipped those, actually, with the much more difficult scourge now but it is good right now in the race you for those it, two goals got it first try though and yeah. also like i i act, i personally really like his decision to skip uh spiders here also he missed <laughs> that there's a there's a very easy boost he can do there yes um, but i i really like his decision to skip the spiders there because uh he's like okay i'm on zero um at the same time like you you need 11. Mm -hmm. um he and uh, can't just go for already beaver already got boom slam once so he only needs to go to spongify for example to get the final one yeah he's on eight um, right now so very close to yeah. being done with those 11s I, I agree it's a good call from kadashi who is also making his way through chamber but beaver is actually not that far behind all things considered oh, oh no no the imps Come on, Kitashi. I personally prefer grabbing oh, the other side. He got it. Let's really go. nice. That is a very difficult boost to get to the M's quickly. Yeah. And I assume Beaver's going to go for it as well. Yeah. Is he going to get it equally as well? Struggles a bit with the ledge grab? Nope. I it's mean, that this puts there. Katashi kind of ahead now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And oh, Beaver doesn't make it. That is a fail. Still that is a fail. As a second try for it, though. That is... Oh, okay. So we're... This is an outplay. Mm-hmm. For skill sure. issues <laughs> really difficult though and beaver doesn't make it again and yeah. now he just has to opt to go through i, I don't know if he's actually okay, gonna this go is, around this this actually gives katashi a comfortable lead entering yep. uh, the second chamber here oh my god he's gonna go for the imps anyway he has to he, otherwise he can't get yeah. to seven right it's like impossible yeah that's that's true but like I don't know. He probably assumes Katashi is not here, which yeah, is a very yeah. fair assumption because he, he thinks he. I, pro I mean, probably. Him away. I don't know what he's thinking, but that's he what he's he thinking. Him away, I'd, I'd assume. 
Yeah, I, I assume that's that was his thought process, and now he's very far behind Katashi on Chamber Secrets. The question is, is Katashi yeah. gonna insta mark? He usually does. So I kind of expect I it. I think he will insta mark. Yeah, yeah I kind of expect it. And then is Beaver gonna warp out? Probably, right? He's not gonna uh, go for the last secret. There's no way. Maybe for the Imps, and that's it. But he's gonna get those now, anyways. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna get those two, puts them to five. Yeah, Katashi instantly Insta. claims it. Yeah, that is that <laughs> is very good. Yeah, Beaver not happy, but kind of ex it's looked up. like he expected it. So where do you go here as Beaver? Get the rest of the day secrets, oh, I oh, reckon. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, on Mark. Yeah. <laughs> oh, which is good, because Beaver already warped out. <laughs> it's really fortunate for Katashi that Beaver decided to warp already and didn't actually finish the secrets. Yeah. With that death on the on the bridge yeah he's he's very upset you can tell mm -hmm. yeah it's a tense situation and failing stuff like that does not help you to feel more comfortable yeah i and that that was a hype moment um i was supposed to remain neutral but i'm kind of rooting for katashi here outplaying beaver is like quite the feat here yeah, they started basically at the same time in chamber. I mean, Katashi with a slight yeah. lead, but he increased that by a lot, so. Yeah, Very nice. Yeah, yeah. The question Beaver is, what is Viva gonna day do? Secrets? Maybe. Not, not no, doesn't day look secrets. like it. I, f I feel like he wants to finish the spiders, but all the level oh, that are left. Oh, maybe imps. Maybe imps into Spongify? That's oh, a good that call. Because, be. like, he knows Katashi's in chamber. Yeah, he would get secrets and imps. That's kind of one of the few synergies. Yeah. Otherwise, Slytherin, and he gets the two spiders he needs for 11. That would also work. But Spongebob also gives some challenge stars, which is never bad towards the 31. Yeah, also, like, that's a, that's a good backup. Like, if Katashi is there, I just warp out, I go Spongify, and I yeah. get the imps anyway. Yeah. Um, very nice boost. Yeah, it would be really oh, that, nice that for... That chest snipe yeah. is surprisingly difficult. Yeah, it uh -huh. is. Beaver with a good start into Spongify. And Katashi with a very beautiful damageless fire statues. So he can claim that yeah. for himself. Easy. I feel like he's gonna finish out the ground secrets now, maybe? Like he might just play through Willow to turn at night? Since he's close? I don't know what, you, what I would do in this position. Maybe he goes to forest for spiders and imps. Who? It's kind of tough. Nothing really feels obvious for him. Spiders he's very much behind on. Mm -hmm. I I don't know. <laughs> well, he doesn't know. <laughs> I, I don't know what I would do in his place here. Uh, forest for the imps would be nice, but the Beaver's gonna get that in a second, and Beaver's also gonna get spiders here, and Beaver's also gonna get secrets here. Yeah. And come to think of it, Beaver's in a really good spot here. Um, yeah, for sure. He's marking the imps. Yep. And now what? Finishing the secrets probably, and then he's on 10, which... Okay, Katashi must know Beaver was in Spongify. He must know. I he mean... Surely. You can get him in, in Forest, but there isn't too much in Forest, so I agree. He must have a feeling, but it looks... Please. Mm. Don't do it. Good. Good don't decision. Have... <laughs> Very good decision. Nice. <gasps> bad decision. No. Very bad decision. <laughs> <laughs> No. Katashi, what doing? I'm, I mean, it, it is makes sense for him because he's so close to 31 challenge stars, so he wants to finish that and get the one synergy that's left, basically, for him. Yeah. Like, I can yeah, understand I it, but he he, sh he should know that that's where Beaver is in. I mean, by my rough calculations, he should be on, like, what what what's that, like, 21? Mm -hmm. So he needs 10 more, which he can get here. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, something. If he gets all 10, I'm pretty sure he's fine, but we have men counting for that, I'm fully sure. He's still collecting silvers, which I do like. Yeah. Gotta, gotta be there for the Harry Potter this wizard is, card. This is bad. This is bad. I, I think he could have stolen secrets here. Probably. Or gone Slytherin. Mm -hmm. Or Spider- Forest is also- like, I don't know. Like- <laughs> any any call here is like very sus, but Spongify is by far the worst one, in my opinion. Well, if, no, with the knowledge we have for Beavers, obviously yeah. we know. Uh, I, I do understand it because it combos with the cards. 
And also with the spiders, I guess, there's a couple in there, so... Yep. It just kinda makes sense. But yeah, he, he, he knows probably, like, looking at how undecisive he was going into it, he probably knows that there's a good chance that Beaver is in here. Beaver needs one more spider to be good on spiders. Oh, he <laughs> signaled as well <laughs> to the camera, I think. Yep. Oh, and Katashi missed a secret. Oh, oh no. I mean, it's not probably not gonna matter, but... Not gonna help him he much. Could, he could just be going stars and silvers TBH. Because maybe he just assumes Beaver's here, which is a good assumption. Because uh, Beaver got imps. Yeah. And if my calculations are correct, like, Katashi just ne needs 10 stars here. Oh, that is what he's doing. He's, he actually doesn't care yeah. about the secrets. Never mind. Yeah. It's just rushing through. Uh, he did. You got them at the start, though, right? Oh, he wanted the cards, yeah. maybe, I guess. He wanted the silver. Yeah, makes sense. Beaver's yeah, done this now. Is, this, is, this is for sure a deliberate choice. Oh, wow. It's very rare to see Beaver insta, insta marking, but I think he hasn't missed any insta mark yet. Has he delayed anything? Uh, maybe at the start. No, he went um, to Willow and instantly uh, marked it, so... Yeah. I don't think I he has. he's just nervous. Maybe. I mean, Kadashi, not to be underestimated for sure. Very, very good bingo runner. Yep. I mean, he beat Luzak, who's the second seed Wait, for this. Wait, why did, why did Kadashi get that secret? I don't know, but he also got what? bit by the pixie and died. I'm confused. Did he... F what? Oh. Excuse me? Oh, he claimed was the he gold. going secrets he, he, and then just forgot he was going secrets? He, he claimed the 31 challenge stars at least, so he, he yeah, got enough I mean, apparently. Maybe he's like, okay, I'm done here. Yeah, But maybe. Beaver's gonna get this now, and I think that's exactly what Katashi wants to do. Uh-huh. And then the question but, is, what is but, Beaver but, going to a, do after? That, that's a good thing though, because if Beaver marks, um, which I assume he will, then Katashi can instantly go to the dungeons. Yeah, but, but it's kind of it's, a 50-50. It's, it's a tough call because um, Beaver just needs one more after this. Yeah, to win. and Katashi is moving away from the dungeons because he needs the secret here. Oh, God. I mean, and Beaver can just duel. He could. He could do anything. He could do either of the dungeon levels or duel. <laughs> like, it's yeah. Katashi has to read him correct like twice in a row and beat him on all three goals and then somehow have more silver cards. It's right. looking a bit, a bit grim, but... The good thing Luna's is, this probably is... probably the, qu the quicker one of the two here. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Um, but the good news is, this is a best of three still, so... Oh no, he's gonna uh, finish on Harry Potter wizard card. Boy, Ari, want to trade? Maybe. I mean, he might be close, actually. No, and that no, might that's be the exactly safest. what he's gonna do. Yeah, that's the safest to do. Yeah. He probably knows Katashi can't snipe him on that. Don't know how many cards he's on. I mean, assuming you're good on silvers is always like a safe bet. Well, yeah. a relatively safe bet. Especially if you're Beaver. <laughs> yeah, and uh, looking at Katashi's face cam, he's a bit indecisive yeah. on what to go for, but it will probably won't matter for but, him. The thing is, like, whatever he decides to go for, it's it, it kind of doesn't matter anymore no, because no. Beaver can do any one of them. He is too far away at this point or too far ahead. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, I really liked this route. I thought it was really well done. Yeah. And, I mean, there weren't even that many snipes. Only in chamber, I think, Beaver got sniped. It's the only one yeah. I remember. Uh, that was a that was an in, uh, interesting snipe, because Beaver should have had that goal already. I really am interested why he warped out when he did. Yeah. Because, like... What, did he just assume? He probably just assumed that Katashi was in chamber. Mm -hmm. I, I have no other explanation for it. But then when he saw, he was like, oh, okay, I can still get this. Yeah, that's a good question to ask him during the <laughs> the small interview that we do before we kick off the second in this best of three. I'm very curious as well why he warped there and didn't just go for chamber instantly. Uh, Katashi has decided for Bicor now, is gonna get the potion ingredients. I kind of think it makes yeah. sense going for this. It's the long of the two goals, but just, you know, thinking that your opponent goes for that as well to outmind game you. 
It's the reverse mind game, but again, Beaver is gonna finish yeah. on gold cards, so it will not matter, unfortunately. True. Which again, I, I would be really curious to know how many he still needs. He should, he should be getting 20 here. Uh huh. He's gonna do probably the gold cards, his. Assuming he's on. 17 now. Yeah, we'll see soon. Wait, I mean, wait, it can't be I, much I, left. I would assume he's keeping track because um, 18, yep, and then 19 and 20, yep, yeah, that, that checks out. Mm hmm. That's the one. And there it is. This way. <laughs> Upstairs. Very nice one. Very satisfying. And with that, he is just one gold card challenge away from taking this first match in this best of three series but that yeah. doesn't mean much yet i mean one match is nothing we saw last match that flo also got a hat after the first match and then still loser came back and won so reverse sweeps are always possible yep. nice spongify Obviously, though, Beaver living up to his favorite role. I mean, he is the favorite of the tournament as the first seed and two times winner. Both versions, or like both uh, times we had this tournament, he emerged victorious. They so, were undefeated in attorney setting, yeah, by the way. That too. Nobody has taken a game of him yet. Well, they, they have offline, just not. Yes, yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> just not during the tournament. It's okay, I believe in Katashi. Oh yeah, yeah I think Itachi definitely has what it takes to come sure. back. Like, uh, we we saw th this game. Beaver's capable of mistakes, so... Mm -hmm. No, I, 100%, I think Itachi is one of the strongest runners in bingo, so he can pull this back. Oh, oh my god, that turn was sus for Katashi. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, uh, wh why turn? Jump. There you go. We were finishing off my guild cards. Only a couple of seconds away, I guess, like a minute out. Yep. And then we can send them on to the second match already. Atashi did perform a relatively quick bike run. Uh huh. He did. That's nice. Calculated confusions. Ah, <laughs> all right. Yeah. <clears throat> of course. Um, his, his route was really smart, though. It was. I really For liked sure. it. And I mean, it's so hard to do a bingo match without Into mistakes. Hard. Okay, yeah. That, that boost is a lot harder to get than it seems. Yeah. Need to do it perfectly or you won't make it. I love Delete how he's the correct the cards. Time. Doesn't have to. I mean, at this point, he, he just has to do some stuff and hope he somehow snipes Beaver four times. For Katashi. So he's getting the card. It's not gonna matter, even though he is close to 20. Beaver is finishing off with match one on the Harry Potter wizard card. And two more Spongify bounces. Yep. So I'm already gonna and credit this to him. Game. And GG's. There it is. GG's. Uh, yeah, cool match. Let's get them back in here for now. Yep. GG. GG's. Beaver. Scared. I, I have a question. Okay, I have answer. Why 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 warp after spawning gnome? Uh, cause what what was my luck? I didn't want to do chamber there. I wanted to go boom slang, and it was like I was two goals, and then uh, I was do, do, gonna get flower pots too, but did, he did that before yeah. I could enter. Did, did did you know where he was? Cause like. Boomslang is a risky one to go for there. I, I like. figured he was probably going Defendo for to get the stars. Yeah. So, but it was yeah. risky, but I kind of had to because I needed those goals. Yeah, could, could Tashi, why, why Defendo before Boomslang? Uh, because I kind of thought that Beaver is racing me for the challenge stars. That makes sense, yeah. That's exactly yeah. what I thought you were, why you, I thought you were there. Instead. That's, that's yeah. what I said. <laughs> I feel smart it's now. Also, I, I was thinking about delaying the Findo because... But I was there was a chance that Beaver's raising me, so... I was about to enter Boomslang when he marked it. I'm like, alright, I guess I don't need to get the pots. 
Yeah, it's, it's yeah. interesting. I don't think we saw many delays at all. I think basically both of you <laughs> always insta-marked or within a yeah. couple of yeah. seconds. Uh, which made this the delay really from me was Gryffindor at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I was like, there's no way you went to. I sniped you on Willow. There's no way you would think that you would go there to start. So you went Gryffindor and then warped out after, I assume? Or did you go sk uh, or Yeah, I kind of forgot to warp out, so I warped out a bit late and thought you would snipe me on the match. Lapfully, I got that. Oh, like right when you marked it? It, I don't know if the commentators saw this, but I paused while yes. I was in the last secret. Yeah. I did night. see that. I was about to warp to do it, and you marked oh, wow. it, and I'm like, alright, I guess I just go in the castle instead. Yeah. Yeah, I got fucked on the match, I got 20 score from Gryffindor, <laughs> yeah. so I needed to wait a bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a really fun round one, but as I said during the commentary, it is a best of three, so we've seen the reverse sweep in the last match by Luzak. So let's see if can if Katashi can pull it off as well. If both of you are ready, then I would send you on to round number two. Beaver, are you nervous? Uh, never. Always. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. You both got this. I believe that was an awesome well. race. Right. Was a good first match. So on to a good second one. I shall count you down. I see two open games. So we start again in three, two, one. Bingo! Good luck! Bingo! Alright, on to another one. Let's see if Katashi can come two. back. I see a win condition immediately. <laughs> Which is? <laughs> Get behind the Quidditch gate. Oh yeah, good quick goal. Also, I think it's the first goal of the entire day where we don't have the Harry Potter wizard card on the board. Uh, yep. We do have gold card challenge with the Gargoyles, yes. but no Harry card. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. It happened. That was oh. like a double synergy with that earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of cool how that can happen. But there's two quick goals, by the way. There's the Beans and Lockhart's Balcony and the Quidditch Gate, right? Yep. That's kind of really rare that those are both on the same board. Yeah. Um, what else is there? There's a lot of stars, yeah. 28, which is less than in the last match. There's six from every challenge, seven from Gryffindor, oh god. Eight from Rick to eight from Defender. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> uh, Sponge my secrets. But I feel like what's going to uh, happen is that both of them are going to go spell challenges for stars and then they're just going to basically lock each other out of getting a lot of stars. I will Chamber see. Jumpless. Interesting is there Is there forest? There is no forest, right? Well, that's knocking gnomes over with mushrooms, but going into that no. only for that is kind of weak. No, I was just curious if there's forest. There's... Yeah. Okay, so... Uh, Boomslang double synergy. Combined with Defendo is nice, but I think the correct call is like challenge is Rick to I think Rick so to too. start here. Yeah, I like because uh, like to start. eight eight Rick to stars, which is not a lot. You can skip the two slowest ones, um, and then Gryffindor challenge. Yeah, but then on the other hand, like what if the uh, like one person does that, the other person goes Quidditch Gate into Boomslang, three goals, boom. Quidditch gate into Boomslang would also like give progress to both Truckles and spawn yeah. you close to Defendo, which is uh, that's a very strong start. Very true. Yeah, I don't know. This is a very cool board. There's a lot of possibilities. Five in Defendo, which is such a quick goal. Especially like yeah, you need eight Defendo challenge stars, so you have the bridge down anyway. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be easier. It's interesting that the bridge is the easiest way to stack it. I... It's, it's I think, by far the fastest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds about right, because you can just walk off. Yeah. Okay, Beaver and Katashi are synced, literally Gryffindor? on the same yeah. frame. Yeah, Gryffindor challenge. Oh my god, no. One of them is gonna suffer after this. They're both thinking challenge stars. Which uh, makes sense there's seven, on this board. There's seven different, and there's, uh, or seven different, and then there's all but, secrets. But Beaver's is collecting once again cards. guarding the two cards here, which will cost him. Oh no, but that's Beaver. Yeah, Sorry. Beaver. I, that wow. Okay, this Kadashi's one, this one card. Th this might make. This might do it for Kadashi if he can translate that into like playing well in Gryffindor now, and if he can stay ahead of Beaver, that would be insane because of this one card. Oh, but yeah, Beaver has already caught up. Right now, though. Yeah. That card really did not lose much time. No. But he might go Holy for the crap. other one that's in this challenge, the other bronze. 
my goodness, am I watching the same screen? Oh <laughs> yeah, on. that's crazy. This is disorienting. Wow. Nice. Alright, show me what you got, top runners. You got this. Katashi getting the safe book, which I kinda I kinda I kinda dig it. And now Beaver with the better setup to get up there, but the gate kind of trolling him a bit. He's sniped that late. Uh, yeah, but he, he is ahead. Yeah. Nice. Oh my goodness, Katachi barely made that. Nice. All right, and to jump there. They're yes. both playing this. Yes, Katachi went for the figure. sick oh fast jump yeah. and he gets it. Wow. I'm very happy he showed that off. Goodness. He insta marked stars. Oh. That is, that is a snipe. And Beaver's facial expression, he was not yeah. happy about that, but he continues on anyways. The He's secret's like... on the board. Wow. Oh yeah, it is on the board. So let's see who gets that one. Beaver, I think a bit an advantage there, because Katashi had to tab out. Actually, is he though? Yeah, Actually, this is, no. This is the final secret. Whoever clicks first. Oh, <laughs> Beaver clicked oh. first. <laughs> and they... Both so, seem very excited. Knowing, <laughs> knowing what they know, I would actually warp you. Well, it depends on where they want to go. If they both go to Rick to Sempra now, I, then... I mean, surely they know they're both going to Rick to Sempra. Yeah, Beaver knows. Katashi goes. I, I respect that as well, uh, going through yeah. with it. Beaver is going to Grand Staircase instead. What is there? There is, once again, Gnomes. Lockhart? And then there is yeah. a Chamber. But he can also warp out, like do what he did last time, spawn him closer to Boomslang. I am surprised he does not go for the balcony. I mean, if you're here anyways, right? It's it's a goal. You think he just missed that? Oh my god, Katashi did what I did and bonked his head like during the <laughs> rising platform there. <laughs> hmm, I'm surprised he doesn't. Maybe he's going to go back after the gnomes. If he... Oh, he wants the cycle, that's why, of course. So the doors yeah. open perfectly once again. Oh. Boom. Nom. Uh. Back at gnome spawn galore. Four. Five. Dash plowing through Rick too. Gotta hit Bob. Oh. Love that. Beaver getting a bit trolled again, and I can confirm he is I'm, indeed I'm on 13. Curious. I'm very curious. Uh, <laughs> wait. He clipped that gnome curious. out of bounds in the wall. What the hell? What did he want that gnome for, though, Beaver? Hold on, I'm stupid. Katashi's thing was not a mistake. I just realized he's doing Richter jumpless. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he's also gonna get six stars because that's not hard. No. Eight stars, even. Yeah. Richter here is strong, what the hell? Yeah, that's why I thought both of them are gonna go, but Beaver probably yeah. didn't want another race for his nerves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he also insta marks gnomes again. It's interesting, that's not usually how he plays. He likes oh to delay Oh my god, stuff. he got that? Okay, that's so hard. I saw, yeah, that was crazy. Katashi with some nice jumbo no, no, strats. No, 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 for sure. Like, that is... Wow. <laughs> I am so <laughs> impressed. Yeah. Also, like, I kind of assume Beaver gets this on the way back, so he never wanted to go to Chamber. He wanted to pick up the gnomes and the balcony because they're just kind of fast, I guess, so... Yeah. So do you warp here? What do you do? Good good point. I think you probably do after getting the cart. Yep. Yep. Makes sense. And then into Boomsling? Boomsling is a strong combo. It is fast and it's two golds, as in the last yeah. match. Different goals this time, but still. Yeah. It's kind of very similar to the last match. Like Katashi going for the challenges, for the stars, kind of long term stuff there. And then Beaver going for cards and for the small things he can pick up. Ooh. I like it. Oh, Katashi's going for this backup for the thingy. Mm -hmm. You can get that with a medium. You just have to delay it until practically the end of its animation. But it does get that. Very nice, actually. Good jump, Liz Rick, too. Yep. Kind of a long roll. Yeah. Um, I wonder where he goes after this. Quidditch gate? I mean... Question mark? You mean Beaver or Katashi? Katashi. 
I would honestly you were waiting expect, for the gnome to knock him out. Yeah, I would honestly, honestly expect him to go for something that gives him more challenge stars. Like, I think he's kind of focused on that. Maybe just defend. Yeah, but defend defendo's the the correct one, but Scourge yeah. is closer. Yeah, he might go to Scourge. What is there in Scourge, though? Just, just six stars? Yeah, there, there's nothing. Oh, oh my goodness. That feels kind of oh bad, though. Oh my god. That was so scary, man. Oh, it was. It got, uh, oh, there we go. Good. But Jesus. I really hope he doesn't go Scourge. It's like so bad to go into there for no mark. bolts. So he knows Beaver's not there. Oh, of course he knows Beaver's not there. Yeah. So he's delaying. That's interesting. I like it. It's a double synergy that he thinks Beaver might go for eventually. Oh, oh that gnome did not stand Quidditch gate, Quidditch gate, Quidditch gate. Quidditch gate. Oh. Oh, but if Beaver struggles He's more with the gnomes, Kitashi might overtake him to Boomslang. Uh, no, won't. actually, no. Never mind. Oh, no. This is sad. Well, this we don't know. Sad. We don't know when they're gonna mark it, so. I would assume instantly. I, I have the fear as well, yeah. And that might be heartbreaking for Kitashi. Yeah, there's. Boomslang is just one of those things where. I, I personally wouldn't delay. No, that's true. It's too uh, easy and too quick to do, and it's like nice goals to have. Damn. Doesn't look like either of them are, skip, are skipping one of them challenges. Nope. Oh, wow, yeah, Beaver, Beaver instantly insta marks. marks yeah. And what is Gitashi gonna do here? What would you do in his in his position? I would have boosted uh -huh. to overtake Beaver here. Yeah, you would have at least had a chance then, true, if you do the, the yeah, difficult boost. Yeah. He knows they're racing now, but Beaver is ahead here. Yeah, I'm surprised he stays in. I mean, I guess there's the bow truckles I... that he can get for himself. Eight bow truckles is not a lot. Like, that's easy to do. True, but still boost over. I agree. He, he would yeah, have overtaken. He could have even I... jumped, so, yeah. Beaver's getting the well, card no. though. He does want the. I, I get that he wants the jumpless goal, but uh. there, there's a way. Oh no, and he doesn't. Mm. Oh, yeah, he skips the bow truckles. Kitashi seconds away from that jumpless goal. That's that hurts. Yeah. That really hurts. I oh. think the boost would have been enough, right? I think so. If you would have gotten it though, it's not that easy in jumpless. Yeah, true, true, true. Beaver is going in slow motion for me right now. I'm not sure why, but yeah, I'll try same. to. He's bit doing the choppy. Yeah, <laughs> I'll try yes. to refresh it. Quidditch get on oh, now. <laughs> why now? What? Katash is also doing it. Oh no. Oh. Okay, I think Canadian internet is kind of uh, having a field day. This is bad. Oh, we see them both there. Who's going to claim it? Click, 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 click. Click. Nobody. What a painful round for Katash. Oh, Beaver, yeah. Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie. Very, very painful. So he was there before Katashi, even though it was kind of hard to see during the slideshow, but. Yeah, for, for me, made it a little bit before, but. Yeah. Let me reload him real quick. Yeah, it didn't help much for me. But let's hope his internet stabilizes. Oh god, Defendo. Oh, but this could be what Katashi needs to come back if he goes into Defendo now. Is there he doesn't have the bow truckles though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, true. You like, need to kill two, yeah. I don't know. Beaver's in a... in a terrifying position. <laughs> yeah, it's looking really good for him. Undoubtedly. Yeah. For me, it's like well, kind of gone on now. The, on the bright side for Katashi, he does have the brick to goals. Um, but I, I assume that Beaver already knows that they're being delayed. Yeah. And there we go. That's that's enough bow truckles for the Beaver. Yeah, we saw him hit, kill the last two. Yep. And then he, <laughs> and then the video jumped, and he's now with the gnomes. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna believe that that was legit. No, I mean, it's just internet lags, but it looks a bit better, hopefully. Yep. I mean, not really. 
Yeah, we'll try to fix that until his grand final, which it looks like he's cruising towards right now. Picking up a couple, three more gnomes for knocking them over with mushrooms. I don't actually know how many is on there, but he must be kind of close. Uh, he did two before Boomslang. And then that's three here. That's five, so he should need one more. Yep. Is there one more nearby? Apparently. Oh yeah, this one. This one he's about to go to now. We oh, have a yeah, lot yeah. of delay now because, uh, well, yeah, apparently stuff is it. happening, <laughs> but he got the six. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know why it got this bad all of a sudden, just super randomly. What the hell? Yeah. I mean, it, it's fine, guys. We promise you, Beaver's not splicing. <laughs> no, no, but it would be better if we could see his gameplay. True, true. But meanwhile, Katashi, at least, we can look at, who is in Defendo. Uh, still, well, which Beaver is such a long low. Mm hmm Like that. I mean, what is he gonna do here? I guess activating so, the secrets? How many is Katashi on here? Three, five, five? Five. Do you wanna jump in there real quick and ask him to connect to room two if he can? <laughs> uh... Should we though? Okay. I don't know. Nah, maybe not. Yeah, I don't know. It looks is, better uh, now. No, oh, never mind. All right, let me go ahead and ask. Yeah, if he knows what's up. Yeah, but we are still kind of here. Um, obviously with Katashi in Defindo. Who is... And Beaver is now done with the Out of Bounds secret, so maybe, maybe he has a moment. The good thing is that it doesn't seem like the closest of matches. Yeah, it looks like he's... Uh, reconnecting let's hope that does something so we can at least see like the final stretch for him that would be great and uh, let me get him back in here real quick yeah that seems better that seems better yeah that's a lot better uh i just have to get him into the scene oh he already is okay perfect um cool then we can continue this Sometimes the rooms, I guess, just kind of die in the thing. We're all back. Good. All right. Uh, so Good. is he in European room two? No, no, it's the same that you had, but change uh, room one with two, just like that. Thank you, Miney. Uh, oh no. <laughs> and there it goes. Oh, it, it's happening again? Ah, a bit. But it's better than before, so it already helped. <laughs> That's nice. <laughs> Maybe right, it's quick, only for over. one I'll, second? I'll be there in a sec. No, 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 don't. That's fine. It's better now. It's better now. Oh, I mean, I'm loading up people. Oh, I thought you were going back in with him. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry for the confusion, everyone. I mean, the good thing is this match is, uh, thankfully, not incredibly close. Well, unfortunately, not incredibly close, but... Yeah. Uh, we still see Beaver collecting some cards. Why is he even getting bronze cards? Is that good for someone? I mean, he, no, oh, he needs 24. 24, yeah, I didn't see. Yeah. He didn't get a f health increase yet, though, so he can't be on, like, too many. Yeah, and he's also like not been to that many levels with cards. No. Like he was in he was in Boomslang, Gryffindor Challenge, Willow. Yeah. So I think his card collection has only just begun, so Katashi is ahead on that for sure. Warping out. Well, I mean to be fair, he does have ten now, so he only needs fourteen. Did Katashi collect a lot of bronzes? I feel like he got a lot of silvers, but I'm not sure about bronzes. Maybe. Also, when did... <laughs> I am uh, I, I am so bad at paying attention. I'm so sorry, Chad. Uh, <laughs> wow. 
Anyway, Spongify secrets. Mm -hmm. That is what is occurring currently. Plus, jump on 22 Spongify tiles. Those two will bring Beaver to 11 goals, leaving him with only yep. two to do. Yep. Uh, which are probably going to be the buy goals or a buy goal plus mm. gold cards. I mean, he likes finishing on gold cards, so I wouldn't be surprised. It's but such it's, a safe finish. It is. I like Katashi's decision to duel here. It's what I would do. I agree. I mean, it's good gold. It's yeah. the Nimbus. It's buying seven wizard cards. He needs a lot of beans, though. It's not like those are easy to do. Has he oh. also been to levels? He hasn't been to levels. So. I mean, he can, seven, he can just buy silver. So it's a bit more expensive, oh, se though. Seven silvers is like 2,000 beans. It's a lot of beans, yeah. Yeah. Like dueling until 2700 is rough. But the question is also if he knows that. Because if he tries to buy bronze and then he, he runs out of cards he can buy, that would be a bit of a problem. Let's see, how many can he buy? He can buy... Did he get the one in Boomslang? I don't think he did. So he can buy two. Mm -hmm. Can he only buy two? Mm. I think he can only buy two. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So, two bronze to five silver. That's still well over 1500 beans. Plus the Nimbus, you'd, you'd still need over 2000. Yeah, he's gonna be dueling for a while, so let's hope Beaver's yeah. internet holds strong so we get to at least see a Spongify challenge. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's been playing it really well. Yeah, yeah, he has been. He's been playing this entire matchup incredibly well, I have to admit. True. Like, uh, we saw him make some mistakes in the earlier days of the tournament, but I feel like in this knockout so far, he's been he's been very, very solid. Oh, yeah. For sure. Did he enter that secret? I'm not sure if I heard yeah. the sound. Yeah? Okay. Good. I mean, that would be an awkward one for me to miss. Honestly, I had no idea you can enter that from the top and you don't have to go down to the star. It's kind of cool. Even though he is still collecting stars just to have six from each challenge, since that is still on the board, even though Katashi is incredibly close to claiming that. I think he only needs Spongify and Scourge, actually. He's not that close. <laughs> Never mind. To answer a question in chat, uh, no, he did not get that one. He, I, I, I believe he can only buy one from Boomslang and one from Dumbledore, unless I'm forgetting yeah. something. I think those Which are Which is entirely people. possible. Uh, Oh yeah, Beaver is done with the Spongebob tiles as well. And almost done with the secrets. So as you said, he's going to be on 11. And then if he goes dueling for the last two, that could be Katashi's window back in. But he would have to get very lucky for that, I think. And he's made it to Peter at least. Oh boy. How many Peters does he need? Like 10? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. It is, it is 10, yeah. <laughs> Checking secrets. Yep, that means he is good so far. He's gonna get the final two in here. Gonna get some more stars, even though I don't think he needs those anymore. But yeah, might as well. I mean, Kadashi has a significant lead on that, and I, I think Beaver knows it. Well, I mean, he claimed it, right? Yeah. The 28 one, yeah. Uh, well, there is still the six different from each challenge. Mm -hmm. Which I don't even know if Katashi has that much of a lead. I mean, Beaver has been to Spundle well, right now. He, he does have like Defendo and Rip too. Yeah, I guess that's true. Those are harder to get stars in than Spundify. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, oh, but Beaver has been to Scourge, hasn't he? Or was that the first match? That was the first match. Oh dang! <laughs> Fair yeah, enough. He went there for boxes. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, where is he gonna is go? Is he gonna turn? go dueling? That's the only way I can see for Katashi to come back here right now. Yeah, I, I'm very curious what Beaver decides to do. Uh, he can just go buy corn secrets into going. It Is looks like he might want to go dungeon, pick up some silver cards just as an insurance pol policy. If something He's on goes 11, wrong. He, so he only needs two. Yeah. He can, like, make a decision here. I I, I like Katashi's decision to duel. Mm -hmm. uh, two more silvers for a Hess. So... Beaver's gonna get... Oh, wait, no. Yeah, he can just finish gold cards again. <laughs> <laughs> he can for sure just finish gold cards again because he... Like... 
Wait, no. Yeah, he's ahead on bronzes. All he needs to do is finish his card collection. This is a cool Hest Cancel, by the way, that he can do. Yeah, there you go. I think that's actually the, the one in the old, old gold cards we have. That's fun. I think, yeah. Complete. Oh, the, oh wait, that's all by Corn Secrets, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I'm surprised he goes for that first because that's, I think, longer than completing goal, but... I think he just assumes Katashi's in the shorter ones. Yeah, he hasn't marked something for a while, so Beaver kind of has yeah. no idea where he could be. He could also be like, oh, okay, he's dueling. Yeah, true. Because he hasn't marked anything. Yeah, well over 2,000 beans is a lot of beans. It is a lot of dueling. As we said in the start, he's gonna be here for a while. And it's only two gold, so it's not like great. I guess he's making some progress towards the HP card and stuff. Go straight yep. for the Nimbus as well. With the Quidditch Warp. I mean, I guess there's a silver trader outside as well, so he might just go to the, the girl and trade silver seven cards. I don't think he has enough Banes. Nah, probably not. I don't know what he's on right now. Like 2,000? Malfoy trolling does not want to kill him. Yeah, 1300 is no way is that, uh, that's enough. No, that's true. Even if like two cheap bronzes, that's like still 2100. Yeah, it's unfortunate that it's the Nimbus and not just the armor. Well, I'm curious what he's gonna do now. Is he gonna go to the trader, or is he gonna go somewhere else? Silver trader? Does not look like it. Maybe he goes for bronze, which I guess makes sense, but I just, again, don't think... <laughs> be for being upset about thinking there's a he card in that secret. A level and warp out. Yeah, that, yeah, he could do that, he could do that. Doesn't look like it's the case. No, I think he just goes for bronze, and then he's gonna realize he can't buy seven. Oh, wait. He goes here? Oh, okay, he must not know where the other one is then. Because th this one's way further away. Wait, there's another bronze trader? Yeah, in front of like the... What's it called? The the, the silver secret. And uh, outside. The one, the Lumos one? Yeah. No, that's no. silver though. No, no, not that one. Oh, the, that one, the with the gnome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. But I guess he's yeah, kind of only, out of the way. You can only buy two, uh, two bronzes, so... That, that's not enough for five silvers. Nope. And I hope he doesn't buy that many that he can't, like, duel anymore for 200. Because he will have to duel. Even meanwhile with the masterful bicorn. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. It actually gets a decent price. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good price. That's a really good price. I would price. take this. Oh. Like, buy four and then... Oh, no. I think he did the maths and realized it's not enough for five. Wait, is it? Wouldn't it have been enough? It's no, not quite, no. No, but he can't get a prize that's enough, <laughs> as you said, so... He can get a really low one, but, like, that's so rare. Yeah. I mean, 200, okay, I guess. 200, 201, yeah. and 202 would all work. But... Yeah. <laughs> or am I doing the math wrong? No, 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 it would work. Oh, this will work. Oh, 220 is fine. Okay, never mind. Maths one. are difficult. <laughs> Two. Nice low roll. Three. Four. Five. Nice. Actually, really cool that he got that. So, from here, Scott, uh, Scourge and Spongify for Katashi? Probably. Uh, probably. Or maybe he's gonna try to snipe Beaver on Silvers or something. He needs some Hail Mary place. Uh. It looks like he's going for silvers and to the dungeons, so... Isn't he way behind on that, though? I think so, yeah. Well, he sees that beavers claim uh, background secrets right now, so I don't know. I don't think he should be going for Gora now. But beaver just needs one goal. Uh, that's a good point, yeah. I guess that's true, so I guess he should be going for Gora in the hopes he can somehow snipe this out of beaver's hands. Beaver was like, wait, he just bought seven cards. There's no point. He could just get, like... Uh, the final one, so I might as well just get here. I'll get the bronze cards if he gets this before me. If not, I just win here. Yeah. 
Um, and Katashi entering as well. I mean, he is not too far behind, and but Beaver is getting cards. Katashi is just gonna pace through. He might actually overtake. Yeah, he, he might snipe this. He might but snipe it, this. But Beaver is gonna win on bronzes, though. Uh, is he that close? He's for sure close to the second has by now. Uh. Yeah, so it's probably only a matter of time. He skips this bronze, though, which is probably good for him. Yeah. I like that discipline. It's kind of actually impressive that he keeps on collecting cards, even though it's his final goal, and all he has to do is finish Goyle. I mean, he can't know where Katashi is. No. He could be anywhere. No, just in case he gets sniped. But I don't know if I would have that discipline. I think I would just finish the challenge and just, you know, <laughs> think I would win. <laughs> Oh, did he hit the middle? No, okay, he got it. Oh, nah, very nice. Oh Ooh. my god, oh, that what was the perfect. hell? What the fuck, man? That was not perfect. <laughs> oh, what? It was. It was, yeah. I think I had some delay. I, I thought the, he would there's die. There's the has cancel. There, oh, no, no. Oh my god, it's saved. It's wow. saved. That was, uh, that was quite something. I don't know what I've just watched in that room, but... Yeah, uh, that was really impressive with, like, the casts. Mm-hmm. Very nice. We'll try with the Hess cancel though. Yeah, but as we said, Kitashi is gonna snipe Goyle away, so Beaver has not instantly won. He needs three more bronze cards, which yeah. shouldn't be a problem to pick up, but <laughs> let's see his reaction here I'm if, pretty if sure there he is any. The card specifically for that Hess cancel, but that's unfortunate. Yeah. Kitashi marks it, and Beaver, when is he gonna see it? First he falls off the wall walk, does not get the no setup, and then he and then he sees it. <laughs> Very nice. Damn. Yeah, at this point it is only a matter of time for him, Kadashi. Not even on ten bronze cards, so absolutely no shot. He snipes that he's going for the stars now. Needs six in Spongify and Scourge, so it's a long goal for him. Yeah, and Beaver just needs to two bronzes yeah <laughs> or three yeah three three which might what actually still be here in the entry hall somewhere he's thinking where the quickest ones are the sites on scourge it looks like interesting yep. i mean and there are some quick, quick one ones start. yeah and then another quick one like after the peeves room and, and then, then another i guess quick the third one, right one is right that. after that so yeah yeah that's gonna be his road to victory. Yep. I guess, you know, as predicted from most people, the favorite going through here, but I think Itachi is still absolutely holding his own. Oh, and I'm of course. Very yeah. curious, or very looking, very much looking forward to seeing him in the bronze match. Yeah. Which is right after this, by the way, so you can be excited for, well, I think now I can say it for Kitashi versus Flo, so That's I cool. cannot wait. They're both. I think pretty evenly matched. Oh, yeah. Get one final loud peeves on Beaver's end. Oh. Block trolled Katashi. <laughs> yep, he's gonna go down, get that bronze card. Yep, and then get the other. Mm -hmm. The one right after that's just kind of out in the open. Damn, Scourge as the win condition. Would have thought. Would've <laughs> yeah, that's thought. a rare it's one. It's the first time we've seen it this match, so. Yeah? It's very rare to just. I mean, Katash is going finish. there as well. This is fitting. Well, he needs the six stars, so that's actually cool. Yeah. They're going to be in the same challenge once they finish. I'm pretty sure Katash knows by now. Alrighty, final card approaching. Casts on the gargoyle because habits. Mm -hmm. And there he goes, that's it. He's marking it. GG's very nice performance from both, but Beaver with a quite the quite the dominant win. But let's get them back in. GG's well played. GG. GG. That was one hell of a match. Uh, fun to watch. Yeah, Liam sniped me on a shit ton of things. I don't, I don't know if you could tell, but we both clicked both of them at the same time in Gryffindor, and we each got one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I clicked it, and I'm like, wait, that's blue. Okay, I need to concentrate now. And then he was like, no way. <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, that was a crazy start. At least you did other things after that, <laughs> so like different things. I just simply went to Red 2, right yeah. 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 And you also pretty much clicked on the same time on Quidditch Gate, by the way. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, yep. I was I couldn't find out it. at the moment. Yeah, that's why I yeah, said that, yeah, like, me, me same. <laughs> Damn, click wars. Uh, fun game, and though. Then I was in Boomslane and you marked... When I was uh, getting up to the Boomslane skin with mm -hmm. without jumping, mm -hmm. you mart jumpless. Like two seconds yeah. away, basically. It was, yep. it was like two seconds away. Damn. Yeah, it was yeah, a bit of a heartbreak. You were there. I figured you, after you, you, you probably went straight to Defendo. You sniped me on a on Mushroom Stack. I was about to get there. But I went to the Gnomes first. Yeah, I thought that you sure would probably that. go for the stack, and if I snipe you, you probably warp out. Yeah, I went, I went in there, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get the bow truckles because that's enough to finish it. No. And then I did the gnomes over by the bow truckles, and then I was going back to do the stack in that last gnome. I'm like, ah, shit, you marked it, so I'll just go and do the last gnome, and then warp out. I really like the um, the Goya race as well. <laughs> well. Kitashi overtook you and Goyal obviously because he had to get cards, which was the correct decision. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it, like I could have just gone for it, but yeah. it was safer to get cards to. Like, yeah, yeah. Key, I mean, I Beaver just gave yeah. up on cards pretty early. Yeah, Beaver's contingency plan had a contingency plan because, <laughs> like, even if no Goyo, you had bronzes. Even if no bronzes, yeah, I'm like, you I'm, had silvers. I, yeah, I was like, I could just like grind out cards. So I'm like, okay, I'll go and buy corn, and then I ended up getting. I'm like, okay, now I only need one of the card goals. I'm like, but I could go Goyle here. I'm like, if he <laughs> takes it, I still can just get one of the card goals. True, yeah. true, true. Really like, cool game. A lot of ways three. to win at the end. Mm -hmm. um, which makes me transition to this, the bracket real quick, because oh. with that, we have our grand finalists assembled. It is going to be Seed 1 versus Seed 2, who both had quite the journey to get here. Um, Beaver versus Luzak, which will be the final match of the day, a best of five, by the way, so at least three matches of bingo. But before that, we're going to have a bronze match, which means the two people that lost in the semifinals, which happened to be Kitashi and Flo, We'll battle it out in a best of one for third place, so we're gonna get to see, well, Kitashi back as well, which I'm very happy about. So, uh, yeah, how do you both of you rate your chances in your respective matches? I think I have a good chance against Flo. That's not my first match against Flo in Bingo. I played against him every year, I think. <laughs> yeah. uh, and it was always pretty close. Yeah, he was in your group last year. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very, very curious cool. to see how oh. that how that pans out. Um, you could have the same podium if you win. That's actually kind of cool, though, what you pointed out. If if you win against Luzak and Kitashi wins against Flo, we do have the exact same podium as last year, which, uh, well, what are the chances? But that would be, would be interesting. We'll see if that happens. are back for the second to last match of this entire tournament we have two people that fought very valiantly but sadly lost their respective semi-finals we have Katashi returning and Flo returning for the bronze match hello hello and I will be joined in commentary by someone who's also going to return they're going to return from the first semi-final we have Miney back hello which I'm very, very, very happy about, and also in counting Menno and Dino taking this away. So we make sure that no goals are counted wrong. As per usual, I'll give you the countdown, Mani, if you want to, and then we kick this off. Thank you very much. Our boyfriend is ready to rock and roll. Yep. Mm -hmm. All right, you start in three, two, one, go. Good luck, good luck. Good luck, good Bingo. luck. Bingo. 
is an interesting card. Oh, is a it? A lot of star gold on this card. If you look at the top right corner in particular, oh, 9 yeah. Rick 2 stars, 10 Spongify stars, 10 Defindo stars. Oh, God. And 31 total. Challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's a very star-heavy goal aboard. If Dino was playing this board, he would be a happy chappy. <laughs> Sadly, he's not. No. Um, I can confirm. But... <laughs> Thank you. Uh, more defeat bosses, killing spiders. Oh, there's a lot of really, like, relatively good and quick ones. Like, 20 cauldrons isn't that much. 20 wizard cards isn't that bad either, especially if you need 21 bronze cards. I kind of like this board. It's cool synergy. Yeah. A lot to count, yeah. A lot to count. Uh, I don't know what I would start with, though. I haven't really been able to think about that. Is there anything, any stars in Scourge? No, that's the one challenge you don't need the stars in. Yeah, that's not even a in all challenges go. Nope. Because uh, I'm speaking 10, 20, 29. Yeah, just from the oh. three golds. Yeah. It's probably going to be Rick to Semper here. You could do Scourge for defeat peeves. Mm -hmm. And some extra stars. And some cards, I guess. I would do that like later along or along the road. If you just go in, defeat True, peeves, get like yeah. three stars or so, that you need to 31 and then boost out. True. But it's gonna be an interesting one to see where runners go. We've got complete goyle and go at the fireplace and goyle, so there's a nice bit of synergy there. Maybe that's a good place to start. Yeah, it's interesting. I'm very curious uh, where they're going to go. The good thing is they're completely synced up, so at least there's not going to be any load. I mean, I hope there's not going to be any load disadvantage if they happen to go for the same game, uh, the same goal. Yep. Like this is it's a weird board. I don't know what I would start with. Like the only thing I can think of is Rick Sempra because it has two golds with the 17 crabs, which is by the way a pretty insane high roll. And the yeah, nine stars. Pretty much all of them, isn't it? I think someone told me there's 20, but uh, there must be some really obscure ones that you don't want to push in ever. Well, there's the one like up the top in that room where you do the um the ja that jump that we were talking about when you did the world record react stream. No, oh, yeah, yeah. That, that that one up there that you just don't have a pit to push into. Yeah, yeah, true. I don't know if it's 20 crabs you can push into pits or just 20 crabs in general. That's a good point. Um, and it looks like Flo is going for the Richter Sembra strat that we pointed out. Katashi in the, sa in the same... at the same time is going to Spongify. Yep. He's clipping gnomes out of bounds, which I like. There's three in Spongify you can use. Oh god, yeah, clipping gnomes out of bounds. I missed that go. Same, actually. And there's 22 Spongify hearts. There's the stars. This is pretty good. And there's cards, of course, quite a few. Indeed, quite a few. I have to say, I think that's even better than Rick to Sempra. So Kadashi seeing, I think, the better route here that we didn't even think of either. Yeah, definitely. It's a shame, to be honest, there's no um, Cancel a Hess on here. Yeah. That would be a really nice synergy with the card goals. Yeah, that would be nice. I mean, imagine anything synergizing on this board. True, true. We'll see. I don't know if they've cast it on Cauldron so far. I feel like that's a thing you easily forget. Yeah, I mean, I, I do often enough. Same. And there are a couple in both challenges that they're in, so they, they could be on just, a few. It's a goal that I just don't go for that often, so my knowledge of exactly where they are isn't great. Oh, oh trust me, I have no knowledge of where they are. I'm just kind of just whenever I see one in the level cast at it, basically, I when that goal is on the board. One up there, where Flo is, there yeah. is. Just coming into frame. Oh, he does go one. for it. I mean, I know there's two in the first room in Spongify, but I just don't know if Katashi got them. He is pausing, being confused. Not sure what about. He might be thinking he's racing Flow in Spongify because nobody has marked something yet. Yeah, there's not like a lot of matches today, an easy first goal that can be done quite quickly. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually mm -hmm. true. It's one of the first matches where it takes long until something gets marked off. 
Yep, well, it adds to the tension. Yep. Because this is the bronze medal match. Best of one, and like the last two matches have been one chance to win this match and to claim third place. And is it, would you say it was Katashi that needed to win to start yes. to rebuild last year's? Uh, yes. Win? Yeah, it would have to be Katashi winning and then Beaver winning the grand final to be exactly the same top three that we had last year. Uh, last year I was in the bronze match though, losing to Katashi, so at least the top four is a bit different. True. Well, it's the French versus the Germans this time, rather than yeah. German versus German. No civil war here. <laughs> yeah, Flo's almost done with Rick too. That's the only issue I guess with the sponsor if I start. It's gonna take a little bit longer, but not even like that much longer for Kadashi. But is it more gold? It's more gold though, isn't it? I, I think, yeah, yeah. Because he gets the tiles, yeah. the Spongebob stars, and he gets progress towards um, the gnomes. Nice going for your, what's it called, glitchless strap there, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, he wants the tiles, I guess, so. True. Very useful. Misses that star, but that's actually a bit of a problem, because he needs all ten. Does he know the boost? This is a really, really weird boost. Okay, I guess that works. <laughs> works nice. Too, yeah. Nice recovery. I don't think he intended to do it like that, <laughs> looking at his facial expression. Well, we take those. And now Flo is marking the goal just in case he's racing with Kadashi. I don't expect either of them to withhold anything, to be honest. But I guess we'll see once Kata. I mean, now that Katashi has the intel that flows in Rick do, he might actually withhold. Because he now he knows he has a long time until Flo can even get to Spongify and then do the golds. Definitely. So we'll see where he's about to go now. Maybe. I mean, I have the kind of the feeling he might be going there. Like the star golds are just so OP. I think they both want them and the app, yeah, but ooh. Oh, it looks like the Spongify angle for Flo. And um, that means if Katashi marks those golds, he cannot get them anymore. If Katashi ends up marking them. And I think he's looking for them on the board right now. Oh, or not. That's to a Spongify tower that caused Gertie so much pain in groups. <laughs> yep. Watching that clip recently when pulling clips for stuff made me laugh. It's uh, it's definitely a time really to sponsor a match for me at least of like reminiscing of what a great tournament we've had over these four weeks, four weeks and three weekends. Well, I'm glad to. It was really fun uh, for me to to host. There's a lot of very talented runners that are part of this or were part of this. And I think, I think it's been enjoyable so far, but the good thing is we're not even close to the end. Yeah, we've still got at least three more matches after this one. Yeah. If it's a sweep, which, well, we'll ho we're hoping it's going to be a, an exciting final and a close final, but who knows? With Beaver, it can always be a sweep. Yep. Uh, also, Katashi has indeed delayed the goal, by the way, or delayed marking it. I saw. This is very interesting. I just hope he knows the timing. Like, I just hope so he knows how long no, he can delay it. Gefler's going for the Spongify tile again. <laughs> he I likes that one. come for a break. <laughs> <laughs> he really likes that Spongify tile. Going for the secret. So pushing the block. Also, I don't think anyone's shown it today, but there is another Spongify tile down there, mm -hmm. which is hidden by the Luma that you can get, but it's probably as slow as the one that we're calling well, Flo's favorite. I would say it's a bit faster, to be honest. <laughs> so, yeah, but I guess a bit faster than so. it's a also, weird one, you, though. Can I see marking all 16 beans on the balcony? Now he's marked 10 different challenge stars. Yep, and that's the rough Flo one for Flo. It's interesting though, he didn't mark the Spondrova tart, so I guess he's not done with 22 quite yet by just being in Spondrova. He must be close though in the grand staircase. 
Yeah. Do we have a count from our update from our accountants on that? I mean, flow is continuing because of the cauldrons and the tiles. If he gets that, I mean, I, I th I'm pretty sure he can get 22 in the challenge, right? Oh, he's only on 17. That's not even that close. Flo might actually get this. Takashi making his way up to the Dumbledore's office. Mm-hmm. Anyway, which I don't think we've seen so far today. Hmm. No, I don't know. I don't think so, <laughs> to be honest. Can't remember. Oh, no, we have, because I remember Henry making a joke about Hermione and Ron doing nothing, just standing there. Oh. We have been up here. <laughs> Fair enough. But, yeah, so then we don't get to see often because it's quite out of the way. Yeah, it's basically only four Grand Staircase secrets that people go in there. Or I guess if they really want that card, like right now. And, I mean, it's a good thing for Katashi that he can warp out. I kind of like it. Like, at least you don't have to go all the way back. Oh, we're getting a little tap there from the swings. <laughs> little love tap. Yep. And he's now onto the final card in here. Um, does he know what the secret is this time? I mean, does he need it? He doesn't still. need it, right? No. Oh, I'm just taking the... Yeah, the fair enough. After last time. I, I just don't know how many tiles he's on. Like, I'm surprised he's finishing that just for Spongify tiles. Like, it does seem kind of slow. I won't lie. But I guess a goal is a goal, and he got some cards in the process. But Katashi is outside, and he was to the Grand Staircase, so he's grinding cards. <laughs> the one time Flo actually goes for them, Katashi, I think, goes for them harder. Did he? I assume he... Wait, if he was on 17, then he could have gotten... 18, 19, 20, 21... He could have gotten 22 if he'd have got the ones in the Grand Staircase. Oh yeah, true, if he got all of them, yeah. So it's an interesting call he didn't do that. But maybe he miscounted or didn't count at all or something. Always possible. Flo is definitely going for them right now. Definitely. So I assume he's close. Also going to get some cards on the way. Is that it? Is that 22? No, not quite. Not quite. Oh, but if he doesn't do it now, Katashi might actually still... Oh, no, he got it. So she getting a silver hurst. And now Katashi is confused. <laughs> How did this man get 22 Spongebob tiles? But yeah, it's really good for Katashi to already be on 10 silver cards. That's a lot. But he's been mostly doing that, so... He needs those card golds or it's all been for nothing. Definitely. What is there to do in Defender? Is it actually the 10 stars? And then I guess Flo can clip some gnomes, get some cards on the way. It's It's definitely not terrible. Yeah, progress towards the bigger goal. Yep. Uh, ten spiders outside of the Argo? No, there's no spiders in there, is there? You would think so, but I guess they get introduced in Boomslang, so yeah, yeah. they can. No. But it does seem like a level that would have spiders. I feel like in the in the tunnel where there's one bow truckle, there really should be spiders instead. Yeah, that's true. But I guess it makes sense because when you think about it there's only spiders in the places you shouldn't be like mm, in boom true. Sand, like in Cedarin, true. that are not well maintained yeah so at least it's archaeologically accurate i guess yeah <laughs> immersive uh, also katashi i like it that he's picking gryffindor challenge because he's getting cauldrons quite a few in here and also more challenge stars and gnomes that you can clip, and I'm sure there's a goal for it on the board. Yeah, all secrets is on the board as well. Actually, really nice. Yeah, it would have even been a decent starting level. I don't disagree with what the chat says, what Kaz says. Yep, very true. We'll go for the challenge secrets. Probably would have been where I would have started now that seeing that go. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of an underrated start. Going in there relative, relatively late into the match now, with Kadashi now entering it. Flo is on his 10th bronze card. They're both relatively close to 20 Wizard cards. Flo does have more bronze though, so even if Katashi gets the 20 Wizard cards, he might still get 21 bronze, specifically. Yep. Oh, Katashi. <laughs> Unfortunate Spongify tile there, not quite making it up. Yeah, this room can be a bit of a pain sometimes. Yeah. 
Oh, Flo does not clip, clip the gnomes, interestingly enough. Decides against it. Interesting. I thought that's one of the... Long... Oh, no. We might be going for the long corridor. Secret. Hello. Yeah, I mean, he gets potion ingredients, which is nice. He's going to get the one back here, probably, the one mucus. So he can make a potion with a gnome. Oh. Oh. Perhaps not. No, he's not. Interesting. I am surprised by that. <laughs> Same, to be honest. I I guess he might get a quick one somewhere else, but... Oh yeah, there's one at the very end, if you place it until the very end of the challenge. I don't know if that's quicker, but I guess it's kind of just there. So it makes sense. Yeah, that's true. And meanwhile, Kitashi is almost done with Gryffindor challenge. Just one more secret to pick up, and I guess the stars as well, I would assume. But it happened exactly what I thought would happen at the beginning. They kind of traded the star secrets back and forth. Like, Kadashi got Spongify, Flo got Defendo. And now they're both just kind of, like, not close to 31 stars. Never mind. Actually, Flo oh. claimed 31 stars. <laughs> yeah, and Kadashi might clip eight names out of bounds. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he got that. Dang, already 31 is actually very surprising. That's a lot of stars. It's a lot of stars. I mean, I guess Where's he's been... He been? He's been to Spongify, to Defindo yeah. now, and to Rikdu. So I guess it makes, yeah, it works out, yeah. Yeah, it's possible. Or Gryffindor trying secrets from Kitashi Dan Marketing instantly. Yeah, and don't want to waste any golds if you got them. Like, they're both insta marking here, and I think they know that they're both insta marking. There's yeah. no mind games in this bronze match. It is 5 to 4 in Flo's favor at the moment, though. But. Mm -hmm. As we say, and I feel like I laugh every time I say this, but it's the bingo catchphrase. Anything can happen. Anything can happen indeed. I mean, Katashi's gonna defeat Peeves very soon, so he's gonna pick up that goal. Yep. Without any issues. Even though I do believe Flo is probably gonna brew a potion with the gnome very soon. If he can finally get his last mucus. Mm, the 20 cards is also really big for Katashi because Flo must have been close. I wonder if he will still try and get the... Yeah, he probably will still try and get the 21. It's just one yeah. more card. Yeah, I think he should. Even though it is scary, if your opponent marked that, you're like, hmm, can I even actually beat him still to 21 runs cards? But little does he know it's the silver 20 that he's got. Or a potential yeah. silver 20. Yeah, Katachi got a lot of silvers. Which it is kind of... Useless because there's no gold card goal on the board for once. For once, yeah. So Flo on his way to Goyle, which is just completing and going up the fireplace and getting some good cards. Actually, very nice synergy. I like it. Yep. Let's see if you collect card uh, Roderick Plumpton. Yeah, he does not forget about him. <laughs> Quite detrimental in bingo. Yeah, has killed loads of runs. Oh, Kitashi now also on 10 bronze, though. Oh, that's a nice half upstairs, although I think that's the reverse way you want to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it's still quite a satisfying half to watch, to be honest. Yeah, I always like it when people keep track of their cards and actually get the hasses, like know when they're going to get it. It's always a lot more satisfying to watch. Oh, definitely. Um, I'm just actually wondering right now, though, what, what else is in uh, Scourge apart from getting some cards? And I guess, no, that's it, right? I'm not saying anything else. That's an interesting decision. I mean, there's some other golds on the board. Bicorn, Chamber, Slytherin even, where you could get cards. Oh, I guess he wants the potion ingredient. Hmm. Also can do that in Bicorn. That's true, but is he gonna... Thinking about where you spawn. Hmm. Now there's no names in entry hall, is there? Hmm. Mm, no, not really, I don't think. Unless he's gonna try and do the horrible getting the gnome out of the grand staircase secret. <laughs> yeah, that sounds awful. 
I mean, he can, he can, uh, yeah, yeah, I guess he can go to Grand Staircase and throw the gnome, like the one in the bathroom, to the cauldron. Eventually, yeah. And then head to chamber after that, maybe? Yeah, yeah, that could be his goal, but it's a lot of walking from after, sc I mean, actually, no, Scourge is kind of close. Oh, I guess he wants the cauldrons, yeah, it's a cauldron heavy level, that True, makes sense. yeah, that too. That makes a lot of sense. Also, I do like that Flo chose Garl over Bicorn, by the way. Even though Bicorn has more uh, cards, I think Garl has more, on average, like more bronze cards, basically. Um, and it also takes less long to finish it and to get the cards. Wait, the one up top is also bronze, isn't it? I believe so. Interesting that he chooses to skip that one. Huh. Well, now Kadashi is done with Scourge, cannot mark anything, which is it always frustrating if you play a level and then there's nothing that you can mark. Definitely. It's a bit of a rough one sometimes. Yeah. It's now all it's for the greater good. And Kentashi is going for the final Grand Staircase Secrets, which will get him a lot of cards, but I don't think he can quite get to 21 bronze. Like, he might get to 17 or so at the end of this, if he gets every bronze card here. But I don't think it's quite gonna be enough. Oh, but he, got, he get the, gets the cauldrons. Nice. And I, I couldn't tell you what flow was on when it comes to cauldrons, but he must have been close as well. It's that bronze card. Yes. Wait, he's still casting on cauldrons? I guess he didn't see the goal checked off. I thought he looked at the at the board. Maybe he didn't. Yeah, who knows? I'll see in a minute when he comes down here and goes past some cauldrons. Oh no, he's gonna get the bronze card in here. It's fair enough. Oh, oh, it looked like you were setting up for a house, but I guess not. And <laughs> they're both collecting cards right now, so this is a race to 21 bronze yeah, cards just in the middle of the run. He hasn't seen. Oh yeah, he is. Is this gonna be his 20th? That I think it might be, and then he might go to chamber for his 21st. Nope. Okay, never mind. It's not no, quite. Not quite. Maybe I overestimated his uh, card collection. And Kadashi, I mean, he also... I don't think he can get there just with Grand Staircase, but they're both doing the same thing. And that's gonna mean one of them is gonna lose a lot of time and get sniped, unfortunately. And in a match this close, because it is 7-8 to eight in favor of Kadashi right now, uh, that can be that can be rough. Actually, Flo mm. is not going for secrets, though. By the looks yeah. of it. Well, Kadashi has marked it, so... Oh, okay. I didn't see Would that. Be... So it is that that was the eighth goal. Yeah, makes sense. Um, but Flo is now on 20 cards. Katashi not quite there, but he does go chamber like we kind of thought. You, you predicted that very well. And he is going to get two goals there, but they're two very long goals. Wait, is he going? What is he going in here for? Oh, he wants no. the gnome for the potion. Yeah, he, he does that yeah. as well. Okay, I yeah, kind of like it. Not just a pretty face. I'm sometimes a crystal ball. <laughs> yeah, that was a really good prediction. He's doing all of those things, combining them into one. Oh, that's not going to work, though. Yeah, getting the gnome out of here is it's a bit of a pain. It really is. Gets it now, though. Question is, what is Flo going to do? What's even still open? Oh, is he going, going up towards Boomsang? Is he gonna make a potion with a gnome? I think he is. Mm -hmm. And he's like, yeah. he's gonna get sniped on that because Katashi's already oh. there. I mean, yeah. at least he can get a bronze card here. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah oh, he knows. Mm -hmm. The eye roll from Flo. Unhappy with that. Oh. 
we'll let that slide bit of an early marking because he missed the card but I mean <laughs> wouldn't have changed things yeah so he now at least gets the bronze cards but that cost a lot of time like he was going for nothing else for the last five minutes it feels like and now it's kind of square one like what do you do now there's there's nothing open is he just doing quidditch matches going to forest for 10 spiders oh yeah so, 10 spiders yeah. in the fight yeah and outside the fight as well yeah. And he has been to Spongify, so it shouldn't be that hard to get those 10. He doesn't even need all of them in Forest. Oh, yep. It's actually getting a nice uh, skirt. Oh. Night there and I die. assume I assume he jumped? So he wanted to die? I didn't really see. Oh, he jumped. Okay. He jumped, yeah. Thank you. A, a lot of people do that on this tile just out of muscle memory. <laughs> Yeah, we saw him do that in the last match. He doesn't like going down here, even though it's like a lot of spiders. Yeah, it's definitely worth it going down there, I think. Even with jumpless, it's quite an easy get out. Yeah. It's And also, like, you know, you have the issue of... The snipe is not that free, so... <laughs> Might as well do the easy route down down there. Snipe is just one of the reasons why I don't run New Game Plus as often, because, yeah. yeah, it's a horrible strat. It really is. I found it needs to be burned at the stake. I mean, what? <laughs> I actually do not know who found that. It's been around for a yeah. long time. People just didn't go for it because we thought it's too stupid. It. Yeah, no clue. Oh. Nice medium there from Katashi. Getting up. Oh! Oh! Oh, okay. That's an uncharacteristic death. Yeah, that, that was... Uh... That was rough. That's what I was saying earlier, though. Like, Kitaji is going to get two goals here, but they take so long. They're just, they're just so slow playing through the entire chamber and then jumpless. It's just so slow. And Flo is getting two as it well with indeed. the spiders. So, yeah. It's getting... Oh, yeah. Avoid fire damage from the snake statues in chamber as well. Thank you. Well, at least I, I assume he's getting that. Oh, the Basilisk is on the board. I didn't even see that. Okay, that kind of oh, makes that's it worth the it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> that wasn't the goal you missed. Yeah, that makes it worth it then. I now understand his decision. And that is going to put him on to 12, which... Hmm. Yeah, he needs the yeah, rest. He needs, he needs to get the Quidditch matches done now and then gamble correct on Bicorn and Slytherin. That's what it's going to come down to, I think. Yeah. I mean, he probably um, shouldn't actually do the Quidditch matches. He should probably go to one of those first. And again, chat, remember, you got to remember this is a best of one. I know the last two matches that have been best of threes and the next which will be a best of five. Yep. This is a best of one. No second chances. Nope. It all comes down to this one match. True, actually, yeah, if you'd have got the spiders, he could have probably won. I don't know if he would have had 10, though. I mean, he's been to Spongify. Where else has he been that has spiders? <laughs> I can't recall. At least three in Spongify. Yeah, I think that might have been it, though, to be honest. And he, yeah, I don't think, I don't think he could have gotten there. Yeah. He would have helped, though. True. But I guess in retrospect, it's good he didn't, because he didn't get the goal anyways. Oh, insta-marking the jumpless yeah. as well. Insta-marking. Okay, here we go. Damage this, this strat that I cannot do. Yeah, it's difficult. It's actually really good for Flo that Katashi insta-marked this, because now he knows that he doesn't have to go to chamber anymore, even though the triple okay. synergy is in there. And Flo can guess what's coming next. I'm actually this is not looking. I don't know if I like his decision to do the Quidditch matches here because he must assume he's ahead on that, right? I mean, I guess he can't really assume that. Yes. It's an interesting one. I mean, it is going to be a 50 50 no matter what, right? So. 
it just depends on if he goes to Bicorn or to Slytherin, and then what Kitashi does. Oh, this is going to be rough for Kitashi. It's going to be a 50-50 decision, and that is just yeah. brutal. The, always are brutal, the 50-50s. Mm -hmm. His health oh. is a bit low. That does not help him at all. That gives Flo a, a wide open door to get back into this game. Oh, it no. Does indeed. If Flo goes to chamber... Oh, no, where would he go to chamber mining? Engage brain, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> if he does go to chamber, then I'll be very confused. <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty bad. <laughs> kind of doubt. Um, he going to either Slytherin or Bicorn. Slytherin is the faster one. And he sees Kitashi has not marked Basilisk yet, so maybe... Maybe he actually tries to go for both in a row and doesn't let it leave it to chance. Doesn't leave it to the 50-50. He might be done. No, he, there's no way he's done before Katashi gets there, though. Katashi needs to go to Goroda. He needs to not go back him. Katashi, I think he's a, he's nervous right now, which I can't blame him for. Like, this snake is not what he can do. This is, he can do better, better than that, for sure. Yeah. In all of the categories of HU2, he runs... I think I think Itachi is oh. gonna go by corn to be honest. The, he's he's chosen the slower goal before in the last match. Oh, but at this point Flo is kinda yeah, close to being done with Slytherin already, so I don't know. Where are you gonna go, Katachi? Where are you gonna go? Oh, this is an exciting bronze match. <laughs> it is indeed. Did not expect it to get that close, but... Ooh. So I just had to run them for that if we ever do make physical medals, we have to give them like bronze, silver and wizard cards. <laughs> oh, that is cool, yeah. I like that. Okay, yeah, Flo doing it correctly, getting caught, so you teleport a good bit further. Where is he gonna go? Where is he gonna go? Mm, and it is bike on! Kitashi does yes, it. Kitashi! And he might win because of that. I mean... It's oh. not over. Flo is fast, but it's gonna be a lot that he has to catch up. A lot, yeah. I, I'm sure Flo will instamart this, so that's gonna give Katashi some happiness. Yeah, uh, yeah. Or maybe stress him out more, to be fair. I don't know if he is gonna instamark, to be honest. Because Katashi just finished Chamber, so he should probably delay it a bit. Oh, no, no. I, I, somebody else was scrolling up on the other side of my screen. <laughs> I would be grabbing save books if I was Katashi. Because otherwise... <laughs> to be oh, honest... Okay, he's marked it. Mm -hmm. Oh, Katashi said yes, I think, but... Uh, it's not... It's not safe, let me put it that way. He has a good lead. But we'll see yeah. what the... Uh, HP2 champion flow can do. I don't think he's world record holder anymore, right? But he was for a long time, so... Yeah. You are struggling well, the 33 flat. Yeah, gotcha. Let's see what he can do. Let's see if he can catch up. He's one creature push room behind, but that was a good bike on so far. They're both in full focus mode. Yep, they're both technically like right next to each other. Like one is above and one is below. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, true. And will Katashi get the wall walk with all of this pressure? It's not an easy wall walk if you have pressure. It should be free, but you never know. It can be a pain. It Everything. Has to do the glitch of strat if you really wanted to. Yeah, you could. And oh, he gets it. <laughs> that it was terrifying. But to be honest, Flo Flo's already caught up. I think like quite a bit. Pretty much, yeah. If he dies. Mm-hmm. At the wheel. But he's got the safe hook, so at least he's got some He makes progress. makes the first wall walk. Is he going to make the final jump? Oh. Yes. Oh, okay. Big okay. for Katashi. They're one safe book apart. <gasps> oh, oh, if I die! That's unfortunate. And Katashi does not die on this boost, and with that is most likely... I mean, as long as he doesn't fall down here. No, good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that bridge can be a pain. Wow. That is an incredible finish to a really good race. 
a very close finish. Oh, GG's. GG's to Jesus. A slightly early mark, but with a lot because it's the final goal and it wouldn't have mattered anyway. Wow. Wow. Taking the bronze medal. That was a worthy bronze medal match. GG's. Wow. That last that was little, it. like, bit. This board was horrible. I hate <laughs> this board. Yeah, it was that a was... tough one. Yeah. Also, not to uh, to get sniped on Spongify tiles while I'm on 21 and on Challenge Stars while I'm on 29. <laughs> Why didn't you get the ones in the Grand Staircase? Friends. Yeah, uh, just too much routing in my head at that point. There was so much to route on that board. Yeah. That's fair. That's completely fair. Yeah, I think I was on like 19 cauldrons when you got the goal. Yeah, yeah, I only played Sturge for Tolderance and Challenge Stars, and you took the one if I wouldn't have gotten that, that would have been horrible. Um, the other question chat was asking is, why didn't you get the spiders in Chamber? In the first little bit, rather than doing Stone? Me? Huh? That in Chamber... Oh, uh, yeah, because... I just forgot that the goal is on there, to be honest. Yeah, fair, fair enough. enough. That's fair enough, yeah. It was that one, my counters weren't enough, so I had my paper here, <laughs> and that was on my paper. Yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, don't I know. wasn't sure if they were gonna go Bicorn or Slytherin. I was thinking about going yeah. Bicorn first, but I'm like, he's probably gonna pick the shorter yeah. one. But... I was like, okay, I'm always picking the longer one. To does Flo know that already? Is he in Bicorn already? I was saying that. I was saying that, that you're gonna take the longer one. I, I don't know if you guys knew how close that got, though. Uh, I was yeah. pretty sure because I failed a lot in Bicorn. Yeah, you, you went in like 25 seconds ahead or so, roughly, and then at the end, I mean, Flo was like 10 seconds out, basically, from being done as well. So. When, when yeah. you got the save book after Wheel Escape, he was collecting the one before it. Yeah, basically. Oh my god, <laughs> so close. Okay, I knew that it was close, but I didn't sort that close. Yeah, but then he died on the first bit of Wheel Skip, so, uh, yeah. I see. <laughs> Yeah, what an what an insane finish I think to the tournament for both of you and yeah, Let's congrats, go. Kotashi. Third place, yeah. second time in a row. Okay, congrats. History's <laughs> repeating well itself. We uh, might get the exact same podium as last year. Yeah, it's it's very possible now. Uh, but this honestly, was the worst board I've like ever had probably <laughs> in the entire tournament. And this was horrible. I also I only saw a chamber jump list, and when I was in there, I was like. There's this redraw synergy in here. Yeah, I saw that so late, and I was like, you're probably going to pick that, so I'm That's not even going to touch it. Funny, because um, we didn't actually realize nope. that there was three goals in there until people yeah, pointed it out in either. chat. I thought it's two, and I was like, yeah, that's kind of not super worth to go for, but nope, three was kind of insane. But that also sadly means that's the last appearance for both of you. Uh, so I hope you had fun. Thank you so much for racing. It's been quite a lot of matches for both of you today, to be fair. Um, yeah. yeah, it's been it was, fun. It was really fun, fun, like always. <laughs> I'm glad to hear. Right, and we have made it. We've made it back for the very last time today. I mean, we might take a small five minute break in the middle of this, but for the last big time, we're back for the grand final. We have seed one Beaver versus seed two Luzak, the predicted final. Welcome back to both of you. Hello. And I, I'm very excited for this. I think we're gonna get to see quite the spectacle here. Uh, I'll be joined in commentary by Dino, who's been helping out a ton today behind the scenes and now <laughs> finally gets his on-scene commentary as well. Hello. 
and uh, we have the counters for this grand final so everything is gonna go as planned we are forgetful and Miney who also very spontaneously volunteered to do that so shout outs to both of them uh, really appreciate it helps a lot but now I'll leave you the countdown do you know if both are ready and then we get this going thank you very much are we ready for the grand final I yep. guess cool we'll go in three two one go good luck bingo, bingo. good luck bingo bingo, bingo. Potentially only three more boards. Obviously, we're hoping it's going to be five more boards, but yes. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. Um, straight away, I am seeing my favorite thing, Challenge Stars. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Thir 32 of them. But oh, there's also God. five completion stars. But apart from that, it doesn't really synergize with anything, does it? I don't see any other Challenge Star goal. Uh, you've got Defender without jumping, Scourge, Jumpless... Uh, you got to jump on 26 Spongify tiles. You have to go to Spongify. Mm -hmm. um, and Defindo Challenge stars. So I think, yeah, that there's, there's, there's something to do in every spell challenge. So naturally, you could just get the completion stars while doing those. And the good old Harry Potter wizard card is back, of course. Ah. Back from retirement. <laughs> yeah, we can, never, we can never get away from that, can we? No, no, he's always here, always there for Beaver to end the run on. <laughs> we'll 100%. see if he manages um, again. I'm, I make a prediction. Are we going to see a race for getting behind the Quidditch gate to start? Oh, yeah, we might. Into Jumpless Forest, which I think is the first time today that Jumpless Forest is on here. I think it is, yeah. Which is rare. Yeah. There's also Scourge Jumpless. Def oh, Defender Stars combines, I guess, with the 30, 30, what was it? 32 stars? 32 challenge stars. Yeah. Uh, there's two potion ingredients in Slytherin but I can't see any other oh there is complete Slytherin as well oh yeah that's not terrible of a synergy yeah and obviously also there is have 22 potions mm -hmm. um, but there's no bicorn so I don't think we're going to be seeing anyone go to bicorn well maybe it depends on if they want to uh, get the ingredients uh, yeah. Seven imps as well, so that's a, that's a interesting number. Uh, that's but, a good amount. I mean, you kind of you don't have to go to chamber, but it helps a good bit. Well, Makes so it you, a can bit get more you get four in Spongify. Yeah, um, and then three in three forest. Three in forest, which actually syncs up quite quite nicely. It's true, true, true. If you do jumpless forest, you can pick up those. That's pretty pretty solid. Yeah, it's an interesting board though. Like, I mean, a lot of small synergies. Nothing really big but that's yeah. gonna make it interesting to see where they're gonna start with yeah also buy seven wizard cards and the nimbus 2001 <laughs> oh god yeah that's, that's that's brutal a lot of dueling oh. are they both going gryffindor challenge oh, oh they are really don't tell me do i have the same feet no it's different is it different <laughs> it, 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 it is yes <laughs> i'm not sure yeah so I, I was questioning it but yeah no it's definitely different <laughs> Oh, but Liam's oh no! Getting the card. It's not. It's not on my end. But now it is. They're still very even. <laughs> yeah. Because it was yeah. exactly the same. So I was like, "What the hell?" Yeah. Well, at least they both made it to Gryffindor Challenge. So yeah. we'll get to see what they're up to, and how who's done it, doing it better. I think Beaver is a bit behind. Oh, he fell through the Spongify. Oh, oh that might be rough. Yeah, that could be it. That's this could see it snipe straight away. I mean, he doesn't know they're racing it, but it's yeah. a it's a, an interesting start. Maybe they're seeing something we're not fully seeing that they're starting with it. I mean, it's a lot of stars and it's a quick goal to pick up. Yeah, I'll say it's complete the Gryffindor challenge. And like you say, you get 10 stars if you get them all. But I think Luzak's going to stick with the five, which I th I'd say it's the right call. He, you know, he, he, he can't know that Liam is racing. Will he insta mark it? Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Because he had no info on where Beaver is, so he doesn't hold that yeah. one. Yeah, that's good. But the one advantage Beaver has now is that he can play the mind games, because Luzak has the goal, Beaver has not given away any info. For all Luzak knows, he can be anywhere, so... Yeah. And he can looks withhold. like he's going for Scourge Jumpless. Yeah, and uh, some more stars probably on the way. Yeah, and looks like Liam's heading down towards dungeons. Probably for the Slytherin synergy, I assume. Yeah, I'll say, I guess in Slytherin, get that, get that done. Get the armor stance, get some yeah. potion ingredients in the oh, dungeons. 
I didn't even see the armor stands. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. It's a pretty good level. Yeah, so Slytherin is actually a little bit OP in this one. Mm -hmm. It's very rare that Slytherin is actually yeah. a good level to go to, but we have one of those boards, so it's the second level of choice. I do like that more than Luzak's Scourge. Like, it doesn't seem great going to Scourge just for, like, some stars and stuff. Yeah, and stars jumpless. and jumpless. It, yeah, it's, it's not really great. I mean, it, it gets a completion star done as well, I true, suppose. True, true. And I guess some armor stands at the start. Yeah, but you, you'd imagine... I mean, 12 is a lot, actually. Oh, yeah. Like, like, how many are in Slytherin? It's like, what, 8, I think? Is it, is it 8? Bit um, more maybe. Bit less. Yeah, something like that. It's a lot, but I don't think it's quite gonna get him there. Also, I saw Luzak picking up a secret. All Scourge... Oh, All Scourge Secrets is on the board. Okay, that makes it a lot better. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Never mind. Oh, oh, I didn't see that one either. Maybe. Nope, that explains his decision. Um, and yeah. I'm pretty sure that's... I don't think he's gonna do a Jumpless. I think he's gonna do Jumpless and then re-enter and do Scourge Scoop. Because yeah, even though it, it is possible, it's really bad and really awkward to do. He's doing it in the reverse. Is he gonna? Is he gonna get the Probably. card? And, I mean, it would make sense to get the jumpless done now, then skirt skip and get back down here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he's not re-entering though. That surprises me. I mean, he already started on uh, Scourge Secrets. Yeah. I, say, I thought you thought that would have been what he would do. Maybe he's just worried he gets sniped on it. I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't mark now. He's going to delay it this time. The mind games have already started. <laughs> yeah, we're expecting a lot of mind games in this. Yeah, also, um, one that's really out of the way. All Grand Staircase secrets. Yeah. <laughs> just, I mean, just there. you can go to Chamber with it, and there is the Fires and the Basilisk in Chamber, and I guess... Some potion ingredients, Spongebob mm. Tiles. It's not a terrible level on this board. No, oh, Ooh, no Luzak. down. Luzak oh. with the gnome that doesn't want to get out of the hole, so he has to do the difficult boost and actually gets it very nice. Yeah, such a nice boost to look at, that is. Uh, Liam marking two potion ingredients, so my only assumption is he will mark complete Slytherin as well. Which... Luzak can t take take from that because he knows that Liam is not getting stars. Yeah, that's very true. It's an interesting opening to a grand final here. I'm very curious how this match plays out. I wonder because I just Luzak just got a secret in Spongify. Mm -hmm. Does he does he misread all Scourge secrets as all Spongify secrets? But then he wouldn't have started it, right? But it is an easy thing to do, that's true. Both starting with an S, I guess, and... Yeah. Yeah, I, I could it. see it. That would be unfortunate if that's the case. Also, Beaver decides to mark Slytherin because he does not really know where Luzak is. Even though you could assume he didn't go all the way down to the dungeons after Gryffindor, but better safe than sorry with those two. Yeah. And yeah, now... I'm curious to see what Luzak does here, because if he goes for Spongify Secrets, that's going to lose him a lot of time. Oh yeah, especially if he doesn't get a goal for it. Yeah. Well, for now he's getting the three M's you talked about earlier, and with the other one he's on four, so he only has to go yeah. to forest and he would be done. Yeah, that's my only thing, is may maybe he just went in there because of muscle memory, like he, he killed the imp and the gnome and then went there. It could be. I mean, he didn't go into the one that was right next to the yeah, the other imps, so I doubt he's yeah. going for it. Yeah, he's not going for it now. And meanwhile, Beaver is going to pick up one of the quickest golds, because he happens to be outside, probably the silver card as well. Yeah. Getting behind be the Quidditch gate. Yeah, such a fun, such a fun little goal, to be honest. Oh, it is. Yeah, it's really good. And we've seen big chokes on the final jump to make it there. Oh yeah. It's always entertaining. Meanwhile, Luzak is looking a bit confused. I think. Maybe making some notes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably, do. probably marked something off the checklist. And I believe that is a true lead for Beaver now. Luzak is withholding one goal, which is Scourge Jumpless. So it's a 3v2 in golds. Mm -hmm. Also, uh, Liam making some progress towards having a score on all six Quidditch matches. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that pixie bounce for Luzag into the small ledge grab. That was great. Saving okay, some time nice. there with RNG. Is now done with Spondrify. Yeah, I don't... I mean, he gets a completion star as well. I guess that might be one of the reasons he entered. Yeah, makes sense. And so the he's imps. now got Gryffindor, Scourge, and Spongify. Yeah. Might go into Rick 2? No. He's heading outside, so maybe Defindo. But it's again, there's nothing else in Defindos. It's just such an unsatisfying thing yeah, to do. There is two goals. You've got jumpless and ten stars, but oh, there is. ten okay. stars is slow. Yeah. I mean I guess he could yeah, he could he could have done jumpless and get the completion star. I didn't see that one. Uh yeah. Beaver meanwhile has entered Boomsling. I was actually kinda thinking forest. I was hoping we get to see a jumpless forest for him, but instead it's gonna be Boomsling three frogs. Yeah. Which is a also, nice I'm... easy one to pick up. I just thought, is this the first board today with no spiders on it? <laughs> Oh, it might be, yeah. Neither in the Aragog fight nor just randomly in, in the game. Yeah, we've had like three rounds where it's like you've had both in and out of the Aragog fight. Yeah. Which, uh, is, which is insane. And you were correct with your prediction of Luza going through Rick to Semper now, which, again, like, yeah, he gets the completion star, but there's only one goal in there with the crabs. It, it seems yeah. it's so long for one goal and like some stars, I guess. Yeah, and it's a high roll as well. 17 crabs. Yeah, it's a lot. Like, I don't know, usually spell challenges are kind of very strong in, in HP2 bingo, but I think in this board it's the one time you really don't want to go for them. They just don't synergize super well. No, it's, everything's long and there's not much else you can do. Yeah. Oh, Beaver is checking his cards. I guess just in case he gets a Hess so he can prepare for it, gets a potion, or a couple potions, might as well, waits for the card anyways. Really nice optimizations he puts in there, now he's doing Scourge, oh. Okay, we know Luzak has done Scourge Jumpless, he has that in the back, but is he gonna mark it? It probably should by now, because it's been long enough now where Liam could have got anywhere. Yeah. He knows, yeah. But is Liam doing... He's not doing... Is he doing jump? No, I think... Yeah, he might be doing jump plus. I think he was thinking about doing the skip. But then, what would that have got him? Hmm. I mean, I, yeah, no, that's a good point. The skip would have not really done anything. He does go for secrets as well. Maybe he's gonna do the jumpless secrets dream that Luzak didn't want to finish for some reason. That's the thing we definitely gotta ask him after this match. I'm not sure definitely. what's going on there. But for now, it is all, you know, it's pretty straightforward for Beaver and Luzak. They're doing their respective spell challenges. Oh, Peeves being super loud. <laughs> yeah, Liam's <laughs> game is always optimized for loud Peeves and Aragog, so... If he, if he happens to go to the forest, you have to get ready for some jump scare noises. Gets the snipe second try, which is an OG strat, oh, by the way. Oh wow, he just he just marked Scourge jumpless loser. Oh yeah. And as he does that so well, he, he like he literally does this so well. Like he will uh, start marking it. Now I assume that Liam will carry on and just get the oh, Scourge. Oh, he hasn't seen it. He hasn't seen it. No. Oh. Oh, and he's gonna realize. Or did he actually want to leave? Looking no. at the board. Yeah, he's oh, seeing it now, I think. I think he's just seeing it, yeah. He doesn't seem too bothered by it, which surprises me a bit. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, if he goes back to Scourge, at least he can do the skip to get right back to where he was. Yeah, yeah, it's not too so, much progress lost, yeah. Yeah. And he does get the completion star. He's, pro he's actually doing the exact same loser I was doing earlier, going to Spongify now. Yeah, I assume he's just going to get the completion star. Yeah. But this is actually kind of bad news for Beaver because now he's going to be like one step behind Luzak, basically, if he does the yeah. exact same thing. Yeah, Which means Luzak might... working his way up towards the uh, the completion of Star. Fortunately, we don't have Rick 2 Jumpless on here because oh God. That, it sucks. <laughs> yeah, it does. I mean, 17 grabs is bad enough. Yeah, <laughs> he, he's gotten now. Yeah. So he can now just finish. Yeah. Oh, that's the boost even. Nice. That boost is so nice. 
Yeah, so you don't have to walk all the way up, you just boost and fall into the star. Yeah, so looks like on four out of the five completion stars now. So, he could finish that off, because I think if he went oh. to Defindo, got the challenge stars, he could probably get the completion stars, Defindo stars, and 32 challenge stars done. Why did you specifically bounce on that Sponge of Tile? That's not on this board this time, right? Uh, 26 Sponge of Tile. Oh, is it on this board? Oh. Yeah, column oh, three. Yeah, it is. I was I was expecting him to go to Defendo actually to finish that do jumpless Defendo it's two good gold for him but instead he's going he's apparently to, to the known. Grand Staircase maybe I mean Chamber makes sense he gets the Basilisk the fire and he finishes his imps mm -hmm. but it's I feel like it's so scary if you have four to five completion stars which takes forever. And then you yeah. don't finish that off. Like, it's such a scary situation. And I guess there's Sponge of Atats here as well. There's Silver Cards. It's, it's a good area for him to be in. I, I kind of do like his idea, but it's scary as hell. Yeah, it is. Because he has no idea how many completion stars Liam's got. Yeah. Um, although he does know he went to, to Slytherin and Boomslang. So he's mm -hmm. probably using that to think, okay, you haven't been getting spell challenges done. Could be part of his calculation, yeah. Beavers has been in some side rooms, side challenges, not just the lessons. Yeah, but I say it's not the play I would have gone for. I think I would have gone to Defindo, done Defindo jumpless to get the completion star. Yeah. And then maybe I, I probably wouldn't have maybe re enter and maybe get the, the stars there, but obviously 10 Defindo stars you have to kind of weigh up because it's just so long. Yeah, I agree. But he's picking up Grand Staircase Secrets. I mean, that's not a terrible goal to farm some cards and, I guess, get closer to the chamber. And a lot of uh, Sponge of Vitals, to be fair. Yeah, very true. He's getting this one now. It's actually kind of... I like this route. I was never sure what the best route is to get all of those secrets in the Grand Staircase, but this seems to make a lot of sense. But he didn't go to third floor, right? Yeah, yeah. So he didn't go into by Dumbledore's office or to, to, to Dark Arts. Maybe he's not planning to go to Chamber then. Uh, Would be, to say. be a bit weird if he goes for that now. Yeah, it yeah. looks like he's going back. Hmm. I guess he, he, wants to, he wants to leave. warp out of the office, I think. So he wants to end on that silver card and warp out so he doesn't have to go back. Yeah, I mean, that, does, that would make a bit of sense, yeah. Oh, but look at what Beaver's doing. Oh, hello. But I don't know if he is going for Seekers or just gets silver cards, to be honest. He has been getting a lot of silver cards, so... Yeah. If he goes left here, he's probably... Oh, yep, he's going for Secrets. Oh, no. That's gonna be... I mean, again, Luzak is a delayer. He, he does like to not mark stuff instantly. So it might not be the worst for Liam. He might not lose much here. Beaver might be okay after this. Curious to see, because if, if Luzak delays it, but Liam doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could be a devastating snipe. Yeah. Guess we'll get to see. He's done now with all the secrets. Is he going to mark it? I feel like this is a secret you really probably should mark. Yeah, he does. Yeah. He marks it. Mm, Beaver saw it. Not happy about it, but not doesn't seem terrified of the thought so far. No, I mean... When you look at all Grand Staircase Secrets, like he's now probably thinking, is he going, is he warping or is he going to chamber? Yeah. Because, and I think both. I think Liam. I'm not, I'm not sure what Liam's going to try here. Oh, he's going for potions. Mm-hmm. Already on 14, so he only needs to make two of these, and he have 22. That's some nice calculation. He has been brewing a lot throughout this run. It's kind of interesting. Usually you see people make them just all in one go, but he's been spreading it out a bit, which I kind of like. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite, quite a good idea. Now, is he going... Ah, he's trying, I think he's trying to finish Spongify tiles as well. Yeah, he's been to Spongify, so he definitely has a good base count, probably. But 26 is just so many. Luzak might get it because he's in the forest, and I'm a bit worried that Beaver has the same idea, that he's actually about to go to forest. Uh, the, the Quidditch warp don't, would make would make sense for that. So yeah, yeah so we've got forest jumpless. 
Uh, any other forest? I suppose you finish your imps, yeah. Uh oh, they both had a very similar idea there. The question uh, is, again, is Luzak going to delay? Is he even going to be faster? He still has to get past the difficult jumpless segment. Which we'll see how he's going to do that. So it's not all. It's not necessarily over for Beaver here, but it's it's a bit scary. Yeah. Also, let's not forget that uh, Luzak still has the 17 crabs goal uh, on hold. True. True. Also, Luzak getting the silver card before the most difficult boost in Jumpless Forest. That is some confidence. I I, I like know. that. Yeah. I say I admire this. Let's just hope it doesn't backfire. Yeah. Well, this this might be a big decider in this match. Is he going to get this boost or not? Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, why did we ever doubt him? <laughs> was well made. I mean, it looked a bit dodgy, but he, he made it on there. Ooh, Beaver yeah, does the not make down. it. Oh, no, in Jumpless, that is super annoying. Can you even get it up? I think you can. You must you be can, able to. Yeah, you should be able to do it. It's really annoying though, so make sure it doesn't run off again. That's a yeah, big time did. waster, actually, and even though Beaver died first try on the jumpless, or like on the Sponge River tile, he's now catching up big time. Oh, oh my oh, god. The other one came that? down almost there as well. Oh, and he leaves one be behind, which I feel like might actually run off again. Oh my god, this is so hard to watch for him. Yeah. yeah. And Meanwhile, we are. Oh, he's gone. Liam's catching up. <laughs> and we know Liam is. Or Beaver is also on f uh, four imps, so he would get seven with this. He would get there if he gets this boost now. And then somehow gets it before Luzak, which isn't guaranteed. Luzak's on this last one. But man, they've trolled him. Oh, that's his 26th Spondify tile, apparently. Interesting. Yeah, makes sense. Okay. So Luzak does have the imps. But he doesn't mark it. I mean, yeah, imps, imps give away a good amount of info because they're only in three level, but come on. Oh, oh he marks it. There we go. How does he do it? <laughs> look, look, at, look at Liam's reaction. <laughs> I can understand that, but how yeah. the hell does he do it? That is... For all four of Luzak's skulls, he has sniped. Yeah, this is a frustrating <laughs> match for Beaver. He is proving why he is the king of snipes. I, j I honestly have no idea how he knows that much uh, and that well. And, and he's also gonna he's gonna snipe this one as well if he marks it. Yeah. I mean, Beaver must probably think he might be in forest at this point. He's hoping yeah. he's probably in chamber for the M's, but he must have an idea. I uh, marks it as well. <laughs> But how does he know? How does he know he had to mark Forest like in this early and not Rick to Sampra? I, I, I don't get it. Yeah, I, mean, I don't I, get it either. Actually, no, it does make sense because Beaver got Spongify tiles, so it had to be either Chamber or Forest, so he probably wanted to play yeah, it safe. True. Yeah. And both yeah. have Imps, and yeah, so it makes sense that he marks those quickly. Yeah, now what does Luzak do now, though? Does he go and finish off Challenge Stars, or does he... Got to chamber, but I think I now it's Defender time finally to get yeah. that fifth completion star, the jumpless Defendo, and it's yeah. actually looking pretty good for him. Oh, is oh, he not? not? Oh, he is. He, he is. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. yeah, yeah, it makes the most sense. Yeah, I agree. This is this is a good start from losing. I mean, those snipes are just devastating, it's really yeah. hard to come back from those. It's undone a lot of work that Liam's done. The yeah. other thing I will say is I think Liam has done a bit more on cards. Not by much, though. I have absolutely no idea what they're on, <laughs> but I'll trust your judgment there. I, I I could be wrong with that, but I'm fairly sure. Okay, Liam Markin having a score in all six Quidditch matches. Oh, wow, that was a quick one, actually. I didn't, didn't even see him play Quidditch that much. Yeah, or oh, Luzak doing the, uh, I think the, the right move here. Mm, doing and look at Beaver. And look where Liam's going. He's not happy. He knows he shouldn't go there, but he also doesn't have another choice, really. Yeah. But as always, is Luzak gonna delay it? <laughs> oh, uh, also Liam is not doing a jumpless. I think he's going for the stars. Oh yeah, that's probably smart. That's pr that was yeah, probably he... his thought process. Like, yeah, Luzak's 
probably in here, but he's also gonna be doing jumpless, so I can get the stars and some cards. Alusak has 16, oh, 17 silvers. Okay, that is close to going to gold cards. Yeah, he has been delaying Rick to Sempra like crazy for the last 20 minutes, I think. Yeah, I'll say, to be fair, he's probably thinking, like, would Liam go to Rick to Sempra now just to do crabs? Because it's a long goal uh, on this yeah. game match. Now, will he mark this straight away? I mean, he should mark the completion stars. Oh, he goes back in for 10 stars? Oh, yeah. Oh, he, that might be the first time Luzak gets sniped here in this match. Yeah, also Liam, also I forget about, Ar I forget about armor stands in Defindo as well, so. Same. And he is close, Liam. he's been to Slytherin, so that's a goal he will definitely claim. Um, I think he's on 10? Yeah, he's gotta, he's gotta be on double, double digits. Okay, he's on 12. Oh, he's, he's on 12, <laughs> he, he marks it. Fair enough, Beaver gets it. That's why we have counters, because we don't keep track. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't think he would be on that many, but... Well, he, he, he got something with Scourge as well, didn't he, so... Uh, yeah, he got two in Scourge, he got probably Entry Hall, then he got... Yeah, then he Slytherin. got uh, yeah, Slytherin, yeah. and then those two, yeah, it makes sense, I think. There's actually more than you think. I think there are. Like... Oh, yeah. Yeah, Slytherin has a ton, so... Yeah. Okay, so now it's a race for 10 challenge to us, which... Liam has a five-star advantage right now, mm -hmm. so... Yeah, it's interesting. And and this time I'm very surprised Luzak is not marking Defendo Jumpless. Yeah, he really should. I think, is he hoping to do a triple mark at the end of this? Like, he's going to mark uh, Defendo Jumpless, 10 stars, 5 complete stars, and he might have the 32 challenge stars at the end of this as well. Maybe. And true, he did pick up the very last star because you just kind of get past it in Jumpless. So he do, he only needs the first not uh, the first yeah nine I guess or he only oh, needs yeah, nine sure, yeah. rather he, yeah. he only needs nine right now yeah I forgot about that but still with Beaver's lead by five it's gonna be hard to contest that yes definitely but then again is Beaver gonna delay <laughs> maybe I mean he's marked everything instantly so far well yeah I mean the last goal the lose that mark was complete in forest so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> No, you can't really say he's, he's definitely going Defindo from there. Yeah, but, you, I would I would mark because you don't have any yeah. intel on where he is. Like, any goal you can claim is probably a good thing. Yeah. Also, Liam could probably work out that he didn't fight Aragog, so he probably did uh, warp mm -hmm. after doing Forest Jumpless. Yeah, I'm curious when Luzak is gonna like mark Defendo Jumpless. Like that seems like such a dangerous one to not mark. I'm just surprised how he decides on that. Yeah, I say it's a quick, it's a quick goal, so yeah. like, the other person can grab it at any time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. What is he on? He's on eight stars. He needs one more, and I think so does Beaver. And he's gonna get his last one right here. Uh, he should get this if he insta marks. He should get this goal. This is yeah, his time. Yeah, okay, instantly. Yeah, he marks, insta marks. You can if tell. I lose that, if, I, if you lose that now, you must think about marking Defindo Jumpers and five stars now, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, there's no other reason to stay here. No. He's warping out and he's probably gonna very soon mark Jumpless Defindo just in case Beaver comes back down. Or goes back down, or get back in, rather. I would assume so. If he doesn't mark it still, then that's just insanity. <laughs> yeah, I mean, is he ho is he hoping that Liam goes back in for to do jumpless? I assume, but it doesn't really matter much because he can just leave the challenge, and it's not much time lost. Yeah, it's like there's no benefit to holding it now. I don't not, think. Not really. Yeah. And Luzak is now going towards the castle, towards the carts, I guess. Or what is it? No. Okay. What's he gonna What's he gonna, what's he gonna do? Oh, but Beaver does not re-enter. Oh, Luzak goes dueling for the oh, Nimbus okay. and the seven cards. He's gonna be here for a very long time for only two golds. Yeah, he's right. Oh, and Liam's going Richter Sempra. Oh, he does go in for the completion star, his final one, and the 17 crabs. And that could be, if Luzak actually snipes yet another goal, this could be the, the deciding factor. Yeah. It, it really could. This could end the match, but for that, Luzak has to mark it. Like, if he if he snipes that now, I really I don't understand how he decides on when to mark the goals. Honestly. Yeah. yeah. Well, say we need to get inside this guy's mind. Yeah. Find out what he does. How he does this. 
Because he's left. He left it for like thirty minutes at this point. It feels like. Yeah, it's like it's like the first thing he did, wasn't it, after Gryffindor? Yeah. So how many golds would Luzak be on if he would mark everything? Yes, completion stars, crabs into pits, uh, defender without jumping, and maybe so the challenge on, stars. He'd be on eight. If he has challenge, he'd be on nine. So it's nine each. Yeah, it's a potential tie right now. So I guess even if he snipes Rick, to it actually wouldn't completely yeah. oh, end the match. Not, he stopped dueling. Oh, interesting. He's unhappy with something. Did he maybe just see Scourge Secrets? Did he realize he oh, never finished he it? Has. He's going back to Scourge. <laughs> oh my god, so that's what happened. He just completely lost track of it. Yeah, so he was he was just getting cards last time, wasn't he? That's all he was doing, but yeah. it just happened. They were they were in secret. <coughs> Potentially. No, he he specifically went into the one next to Peeves. I think he just forgot about it halfway through. Oh wow. So he has to get Scourge Skip eventually. Which doesn't look very good right now. No, so he's struggling a little bit with it. At least he remembers until when he collected them, so... Although he needs to have a look at marking this Victor Sempra goal here. Oh my god, he's not... Come on, loser! He's not getting the skip? No. And he's also not marking the goals here. Yeah. Which I don't... like... Beaver could be anywhere at this point. How is he not marking? How is he not marking Jumpless Defender, for example? He could have easily, easily been in there. He also cannot get this skip. No. He might take him until the end of... When Beaver's at the end of Riktu, he might uh, still be at Scourge Scoop. I think his angle is a bit too much. Yeah, it's... it's... Oh, that's so infuriating. At this, at, this, at this point, you just set it up, right? You just do a setup. Oh, oh you're no. gonna leave. <laughs> that's Luzak molding a little bit, which is understandable after such a good start. But he's also, still... Liam, Liam is so close to the end of Richter Sempra here. Uh oh, he's menu walking. That means he's gonna mark something. Usually. Or maybe he's just looking uh, at the board. Oh, he marks it! Oh, but he didn't get the oh. challenge stars! Beaver no. marked that one. But still, big snipes. But in the end, Beaver is t in the lead, 10 and to 8. Th that's also... Oh, wait! Oh, wait, no, it will be fine. He'll hit a cutscene here. Yeah, yeah, he's but, gonna be okay. Yeah. But... That means, I mean, Liam's got his 20 silvers, so he could go to gold, gold wizard challenge. Gold card challenge, sorry. Wow, that was uh, an interesting rapid fire for the golds. But if he would have gotten Scourge Secrets, he could have... I think Luzak would still be in a good spot, but now... Beaver goes dueling, oh! Good thing that Luzak did not finish with that for him, otherwise he would be behind on that again. Yeah. Uh... Who's that can spongify? I think he's just going for silver cards, isn't he, at this point? Mm-hmm. Probably. There's not really Place. anything else going on there, so... No, yeah, to get, get silver cards and then... Go to Harry Potter. Like, he probably thinks Beaver is close to that and wants to snipe him on it, is my guess. Yeah, that, I mean, that would make the most sense. If you can snipe Liam on Harry Potter wizard cards, you've got a chance. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think Beaver just got his first key, though, right? Or did he get his second in Richter? He got his second. Oh, his second, okay. I'm s yeah. yeah. Surprised he doesn't instantly go for the HP card, but maybe he thinks he's comfortably in, in the lead, so he doesn't have to. Yeah, it's, it's very rare he's not ahead on cards. That's true. So... I mean, I don't, I mean, Chamber at some point it gets a lot more an appealing. It's a very long level, but it's one of the few synergies left on the board. So Luza yeah. can pick up the final card, go to gold cards, go to Chamber, pick up those three golds, but then still, like, it's gonna be really hard to win from this position on. It really is, yeah, because, like, all, all Liam needs to do is buy, do two buy, buy goals, and then he can pick what he wants to do. Yeah. And I think he's about to give it another oh. shot if he can do skirt skip. Yep, let's, uh, let's try this again. Let's see. No. Nope. It's not... Not going well for him. It's a, one of the most difficult tricks in this game, probably. But that still, he should get it eventually. Now, now that's way too much of an angle, I think. Yeah, and I was he's... Say, I'm surprised he... Okay, he's just gonna go around. I'm su surprised he didn't try to do like a setup for it there after struggling. Yeah, same. 
I mean, I guess people, if they get too good at HP2 and they don't struggle with Scourge ever, then they don't know the setups anymore. Like, it, yeah, it's... True. I have that sometimes as well on running. Like, it skips you get 99% oh. of the time usually, and all of a sudden for a day you just can't do it. <laughs> no matter what you do, you just can't get it. It's just gone. Yeah. I and get it that happens. with HP4 Rock Ride. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so now he has to play the entire first half, even though he doesn't need anything there. Like, no secrets left to get. Uh, I mean, it's not super slow, but it's wasted time. I like his decision, though, that he, that he commits to it and doesn't keep on trying to do the skip. Yeah. Now he's basically where he would have been if the skip would have worked. <laughs> he's made it. Not happy with it, though. And Beaver is... Last silver. Grab his last silver card here as well. Oh yeah, true. That's actually kind of nice. Meanwhile, Beaver is warping to buy the Nimbus, probably. Yeah, I say I'll buy the Nimbus 2001. I don't think he has enough beans to buy the seven cards. So he probably just wants to secure that goal and tell Luzak, wait, I've done dueling, don't you dare going for the seven cards. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey, Harry, what do you have? Yeah, he doesn't have, have close to enough. So the broomstick's gonna be it. Gonna mark that instantly. <laughs> did, did not get sniped for once, which is good. Yeah. Oh, this like gets another silver card. Or is, did he not get the house yet? No, he definitely got it. Yeah, he realized. Okay, good. Yeah. Well, not good because it didn't. I mean, didn't really. Like, like boost back up anyway. Yeah. Uh, and Beaver goes back dueling, which is an interesting decision. I mean, it's gonna it's gonna be good for him. He's gonna get to 12 golds, and then he only needs either the Chamber or Goyle or Scourge, even though we know Luzak has Scourge now, but still. But I think Luzak is gonna go to gold cards and then the Chamber, but it's just gonna be so hard to snipe this victory away from Beaver, who's basically one goal off once he's done dueling. Yeah. Yeah, he delays this one again. That's his last chance, or his only chance. He has to delay stuff long enough so he can beat Beaver, Beaver and snipe him again. Yeah, I mean, we know that Beaver likes to finish up a bingo on Harry Potter Wizard card. Yeah, like, he does. I think he's done that in like most of the games that he's played in the tournament. Which is why I really like Luzak's call to go for gold cards. Like, he, he probably knows... Beaver must be close to 20 silver cards to unlock the challenge, which he is, yeah. as we know. He's just gonna time it right of when to when to mark it. Yeah. Yeah, he's not out of it, definitely. Not out of this first round, which again it is a best of five, so even whoever loses this is absolutely far from being out, but yeah. Beaver is not happy for some reason. Nothing got marked. <laughs> Not sure what happened. Did he do the math wrong? Should be fine for his seven bronze cards. He needs a, he needs a low roll, but he's buying bronze, so it's fine. Yeah. Oh, he's done too many duels, I guess. That could be it, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's, he's done way too many duels, hasn't he? Yeah, he's, he's way, too, way too good on beans, essentially. Meanwhile, lose that getting to the end of gold cards almost. Yeah, where do you think Liam is gonna go? Is he gonna go to gold cards or is he gonna go to like Scourge or something? Also, oh, Luzak, that is a scary health total. Yeah, I say. <laughs> uh, I can't even see the health at the moment. <laughs> I mean, I guess there isn't. If, if he gets sniped by this crab. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was about to say there isn't really much you can lose health on until the end of this challenge at least, but I guess the crab could have been. Could have been one source. Jesus. Mm. He's going Scourge for secrets. Ooh. So. I mean, it is the quickest probably on the board. I mm, And he might assume Luzak is doing gold cards and he really doesn't want to do chamber. Oh, I, I can see Beaver just getting sniped here, honestly. I can I mean, as well. And I mean, at that point though, yeah, he has got a 50-50 chance even yeah. if he does. Because he could, he could just go Goyle and get the cards or... Just go to snake, just go straight to chamber. All gold cards. All gold cards, yeah, you could try and get to, try and snipe get the get the gold cards. 
Yeah, it's a very scourge-heavy match so far. Get to hear another loud peeps. Yep. Yeah, true. Beaver has been in here as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess it's time for round two. <laughs> yeah, time to go again. They both come to Scourge twice. Oh, and Luzak is going chamber, which is the, definitely the right call. Mm -hmm, I agree. But the question is, like, he has to be so smart with the marking. He has to basically know what Beaver is going to do exactly. And the moment Beaver no, does wrong. something that he doesn't predict, it's just over. Like, the moment he goes to uh, Goyle, it's just his victory. But is he gonna go to Goyle? That's the big question. And to be fair, maybe lose like delays are too long and Beaver just gets the secrets, who knows? Yeah, I'll say, because he's, he's getting there, I'll say. Yeah, he's not too far off. Nice frog for him as well, jumping right in his way. Come on, Lizak, you've literally only got like, what, 30 seconds? Yeah, it's getting a bit scary. Oh, I think he was. Yeah, oh my god. Oh, he might. I don't know. Does he do this? I do not know. Oh, has he got a camera in everyone's rooms or something? Like, <laughs> seriously. That is insane. I mean, he explained it during the group stage a bit. It's it's basically, I guess he counts in his hat how long the challenge takes and just kind of checks. But that's a lot to keep in your mind. It's actually insane. Yeah, it's it's incredible the fact that he, he always manages to work it out where the person is right at the end of the challenge or about to complete it. Uh-oh. And this oh. is what I meant, that's what I said. I can see Beaver getting yeah. sniped here over and yeah, over again. Luzak will know exactly what we will do. Oh no. I mean, the question is, is he going to delay that one the right amount or not? Like, I assume he has to kind of finish Chamber to, before he can check it off, right? Otherwise, Beaver warps out and just goes to Bicorn. Oh, yeah. this is... Really close. Oh, Luzak with the death. That's unfortunate. Ooh, that's very unfortunate, yep. Man, the, the fact that he failed Scourge Skip so many times is just rough. The thing is, though, I don't think Luzak reaches the point he wants to get to before Liam gets the card. Yeah. Right, there's no way I don't think he gets past the, the statues and beats Snake by the time Liam gets to the Harry Potter card. I think you're correct. So we'll see if he just marks it at some point, randomly. <laughs> oh well, seemingly randomly, but probably at the perfect time, knowing loser. Yep. He's he, hasn't got, he hasn't got long left. No. Once again, he hasn't... <laughs> didn't get... Didn't, doesn't have long left. Talking is hard, when the match is too exciting. I expect him to kind of finish out Chamber though, but... Then he would lose, obviously. <laughs> Why is this so tense? I oh, know, it's so, so tense. Come on. Is he gonna mark it? No. No, no, he's might, gonna might, get... might mark it after he's gone past the statues, maybe, before he fights Snake. Could be. Or again, I would probably personally do it after Snake because I'm bad. Oh, he fails, and that might be that might be really bad for him. That, that might be it, yeah. That might be it. I mean, again, depending on when he marks it and where Beaver is going to go afterwards. Well, Liam is right there. He's yeah. on the last room. Oh, he marks it! <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know what to tell you. That's just... <laughs> what the... What, what I is don't, going on? I don't know. I don't know. That's That's been an insane match. But now, where is Beaver going to go? Surely he must go Goyle. Like, yeah, he's, he's gonna go Goyle. I, I, this is still Beavers. Like, it's probably gonna be 13 12, but. He does go yeah. to Goyle, yeah. I actually, I don't know if I would have. Like, it could. Luzak could have done that double bluff here and just go to Goyle himself. That would have been insane. It would have been, yeah. <laughs> Beaver, he cannot be sure. He, he doesn't really know. 
Tamba is just the level that makes more sense. Luz that was probably Luzak's one mistake here. Probably should have gone to Bicorn, as stupid as that sounds. Just because it would be the move that nobody expects, you know? Yeah, so I would have... Just... Well, the, the question is, is, does he have any chance to catch up to Beaver in Goyle? Oh, I kept on saying Bicorn, sorry, but... Yeah, no, it's, like, uh, it's going to be tough, because, like, well, Liam's entering it now, and yeah. Luzak's yet to even get down to the dungeons. And he also doesn't have any any health <laughs> so. Yeah, so yeah the health is not looking great yeah it doesn't help i think he has to hope for a death or that liam somehow forgets a card but <laughs> liam's experience with this game i kind of doubt that's gonna happen yeah i mean if the nerfs I mean, kick it, in I mean, it, it especially is well, so. if it's close yeah yeah but luzak now just entering the challenge he's Far behind on this, but it doesn't yep. mean anything. You can't catch up, technically. Yeah, and also on a lot, lot, lot less health that we've mentioned. Oh yeah. Oh, he doesn't even get the card here. Wait, what was the plan there? Why did he start with the boost? I think he just generally. I think he generally just just forgot. I think. Yeah, makes sense. But now he's got. He's gonna have to boost up here, which is gonna be a bit slower. Yeah, that was the backup though. Very nice. Such a cool backup. I like that one. It is a cool. Here's a, here's a good one. It's good to show that off. What a match one though. Like holy hell, going yeah. the entire distance, 13 to 12. Where, where, do, where do we go from here? Like, yeah. <laughs> we've got two more to go. I can't take this. I have to say though, it's insane that Beaver is even still in this match. Well, this is by the looks of it winning this match after getting sniped like 10 times basically. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like six, like seven, eight times he was sniped in this match. Yeah. I really, I really don't know how he's done that, but... Oh, Luzak forgot the card in the elevator. He did. That is that probably is just the end for his run. But let's be honest, it was un unlikely that he's going to catch up to Beaver as it is. Oh, he realized, yeah. He, he just remembered, yeah. The face palm. Going to go there to die, but he knows. He should have probably just jumped into the abyss, to be honest. Yeah, but I was going to say, it would have been faster. Yeah, but this works. He was catching up for a moment there. <laughs> but he was. Uh, and Beaver is probably quite tense still, because he doesn't know. <laughs> All he, for all he knows, like in a couple seconds, Luzak's gonna mark wizard cards. He marks chamber, <laughs> and there's oh, the relief. You know, like, Thank God, there we go. <laughs> he is not getting sniped for once this time. Yeah, I mean, he's still he, not fully sure. Who knows where Luzak is? But I mean, he probably knows at this point. Yeah, he probably he's probably worked it out. Yeah. Wow, what a match, though. Jesus Christ. There we go, and the final card. Yeah. Gonna get it, there it is, taps out instantly. Has all the top rows, interestingly enough. <laughs> <laughs> row one and row two almost. Yep. GG's. One hell of a match one. Every single goal! Every goal! <laughs> I, I, thought he, I thought he would go to chamber because, okay, he sniped me so much, I'm gonna go to chamber because it's obvious to go to Goy. But no, no, I <laughs> overthink that. Gryffindor was a snipe, Scourge Jumpless was a snipe, Imps was a snipe, uh, Grand Staircase was a snipe, uh, fucking Rick 2 and Completion Stars was a snipe at the same time, Forest and Imps was at the same time, then Scourge, then Harry Potter Wizard Card! It was. Wait, were you following okay, not me? Okay, not the window, not the window. Not the you get- mo Most of the things I wasn't even aiming to snipe you that much. You literally sniped me by like 5 seconds on Imps, by like 10 seconds on Forest Jumpless, uh, by like- uh, maybe like 20 seconds on crabs and 20 seconds on completion stars. Like what? The, like what? Yeah. So, so the basically, the card was great. It, it was I, some insane. Did you snipe. see me? I was like, please, please don't be in here. I know he's in <laughs> like, there. But it was so obvious after you go to deuce, then you go buying, then you go no, buying. I didn't even buy them. I already had them. I could have just gone. And then you I could have just bought wizard cards. I could have gone before buying. I already had 20. Yep. 
Uh, ah! I knew, I knew already you had 20, but I'm pretty sure you thought that uh, you had secured this goal, and I'm not collecting enough silver cards. Yeah, I, like I could have just gone instead of Scourge, and but I'm like, nah, I'll just, I'll, just, I'll do this, and then, and then, and then snipe, and then snipe, and then snipe, and then snipe, and then snipe. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, like the last six, seven minutes, I was just playing with you. Kind of how it happened though is that both of you actually did do similar routes in big parts but Luzak started doing it first and then you basically did the same that he did so he could snipe you like a lot of times um yeah. well i have one question though before we go into match two uh i assume you forgot about scourge secrets Luzak, right i didn't i um i did the first half jumpless when yeah. i went to scourge once again yeah and i failed scourge skip about 15 times and yeah, we yeah, saw that forget, unfortunately if i didn't forget the peeve secret the first time through, I would have won on Scourge because I would have beat you. <laughs> like I, I was already on six when you marked it. If the Scourge was correct, then I might have won. But... Yeah. And those imps on Forest, I hate them. I hate them. Yeah, they were giving you some trouble. Yeah, that was rough. That Did was you actually that right when you finished got that them? close. Yes. Yeah, I had I had six in. I had I was on the last one. I was in Forest with you apparently. <laughs> I knew you were in Spongify, and it was. Kind of expect that you go to forest someday. Did I? Did I at least snipe you on stars and spongify tiles? Stars. Stars. Yeah. Spongify tiles not that much. I wasn't really counting, but stars. Yeah, I was one behind. Well, you had to have been close because you went to spongify for your other amps, right? Yeah. I. But I did the first half. Only. See that? That's 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 what I, I thought you were in chamber. So I thought you were holding chamber for so long. I thought you got amps in chamber instead. Mm, but, and that's that just because after a grand staircase secret. So I figured you went chamber. Literally, you could have not timed your goals better, Luzak. It was insane. Literally, literally like, like yeah. I get, I got, I'm, a, I'm do, I'm doing like the boost off of the scale in Scourge, and you yeah. mark it. I'm like, wow, well, damn. And then I'm, where, where was I? Well, I was literally like on the Spongify tiles on the way to the Harry Potter Wizard card. Yep. I'm like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was absolutely insane. Uh, really fun to watch, and that's only the first match out of, well, potentially five. It's the best of five, at least. Yeah, I see both games are up, so I think we're good to go. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, then we yeah, kick we it off in three, two, one, bingo. Good luck. Okay, well, I don't know how okay. we can top that first match. I was but... just going to say the same thing. How do we <laughs> top that? <laughs> um, I guess we'll, we'll... try. We start with a bit of synergy. Uh, will we get a race in Gryffindor challenge again? <laughs> because oh. there's seven stars and complete the challenge. Is there any more star golds on top of that? Not really. Uh, not really. There's seven Ritter Semper and put 13 crabs in. Wow, mm -hmm. buy nine wizard cards. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> yeah. That's a tough oh, one. Uh, we, we don't have the Harry Potter card this time, but we do have <laughs> cast at both the gargoyles in the challenge. All Scourge Secrets is also back, back so oh, maybe yeah. we get to so see that down that a bit smoother from both. Uh, there is 10 bronze cards without getting a health increase and lose a Quidditch match by 250 points. Yeah. So a bit good, of synergy good there. Synergy. 22 bronze cards. Oh, it's a card heavy board again, which to be fair, both of them like their cards. So. Yeah, I say that like, it's, it's card stuff for them. Um, there's forest jumpless oh, again. Again, <laughs> bow truckles, uh, which is a nice synergy. And ten spiders in the Aragog fight. So. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's actually not bad at all. Yeah, we were saying that on a different day of the tournament. Um, that like it, last year we had so many people starting with forest because it was really OP, and this year it's way more balanced. But this might be one of the boards where maybe going forest first is not terrible. Yeah, say, get, go forest, get your bow truckles, get your spiders. Yeah, get cards. Get, yeah, you get cards, you got jumpless. It, it, it wouldn't be the worst decision. Yeah, I don't hate it, uh, but maybe there's something better, though. Yeah, I mean, there's a bit, I mean, there's 27 wizard cards and 22 bronze wizard cards, Ooh, which yeah. is going to be interesting. Oh, God, this is a card-heavy board. I didn't even see yeah, the 27. There's a lot of defenders. I mean, 21 potions in there. I mean, they've got... Mm. There's there's one that's really out of the way, which is Slytherin Secrets. It's <laughs> like there is just nothing else there. <laughs> no. I mean Chamber Secrets is also on there, which is kind of like, uh, why would yeah. you want to go there? Yeah, there's literally nothing there. Um, there's Boom Slang Secrets and cuts all the tentacular heads. That's pretty good. Also two golds and Richter with the stars and the crabs. There's there's some smaller synergies. Uh, yeah. Interesting oh, and board. And, and finish your spell chance with a gnome in your hand. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Can do that in Scourge with the secrets. Interesting board. I don't hate it. It's interesting yeah. what they're gonna start with. I do think it's Forest for Beaver. Yeah. And for Luzak Luzak? Is going Gryffindor, I would assume. As you said, straight off the bat, yep. Yeah. And um, also, another Sinji, have 21 potions and use four unique potion cauldrons. Huh, yeah. So, there's Wait, a fair bit of synergy in this. Beaver is going boomslang, though, and he doesn't stop to do anything else on the way. No cards, no nothing. Probably assumes he... Well, he has to assume he can be racing. He lose like here, he could be. Yeah, I'd say, I think there was, like you said, there was probably three options here. Boomslang, Gryffindor, or Forest. Yeah. Um, so, seven different Gryffindor challenge stars. I think he'll probably just skip the ones on like top of the stairs and stuff, maybe. Yeah, the ones behind the gate, I think, with the two ropes. Yeah. They're pretty awful. I mean, Gryffindor Challenge has so many just out in the open that you can grab. I think if he gets the one up top here, he's basically good. The rest is just kind of in his way. I guess he has yeah. to win one of the secret ones. Ooh. Fails the boost, though. And Beaver is getting cards inside of Boomslang, which is interesting. I guess he needs... Oh, no, he needs the secret. Never mind. Yeah, I so say he's going the secret anyway, so you might as well get the cards. Yeah, we'll see if he actually picks it up. Because if he thinks he's racing, then he might not. But he gets it. Yeah. It's a bit of a shame the uh, Spiders is in the Aragog fight. If it was outside of the fight, it actually would be a really good, nice... That would be a really nice goal to have. Mm, yeah. Because you basically done, go no? everywhere with Spiders. Yeah, it would be. Uh, is not Mark... Is marking it? Is Mark... Oh, Beaver's marking it. Okay. Because, okay. yeah. So Beaver thought he might be racing, and this is... I don't know. This is bad for him, because Luzak has now the ticket to withhold golds again for yeah. hours and hours and hours. <laughs> Luzak will definitely not be marking uh, Gryffindor challenge for nope. a while. <laughs> nope. Uh, Beaver tries to hit them from the top, which we've seen Flo struggle with earlier. It's like a really annoying goal. And oh no, in the moment he oh. jumps down, he gets it. Oh, that's annoying. <laughs> I'm actually... Although he can, he can get the bow truffles when he goes back up anyway. So. I guess, yeah, that's true. I guess that's probably the reason he does go back up, and maybe he wants to spawn in the entry hall as well. Yeah, then he has a, yeah, I mean, yeah, spawn in the entry hall, then you got a choice of a lot of places you can go. Yeah. Also, I totally didn't overlook the uh, synergy of the Bronze Wizard cards having 10 without health increase and getting 22 anyway. True, that is also another pretty nice one. Like, cards, I think, are really, really good on this board. Which is, yeah. I mean, both of them have not really gone too much for them. In their respective levels, there weren't that many. I mean, Beaver picked up the two, at least. Um, Luzak is going for some now with the Scourge Secrets and then probably the Gnome in hand. I think that's all there really is in this level, though. Yeah, I think, I think Luzak's saying I'm getting this goal out of the way, given what happened last time. Yeah. Where does he go from there? Because hmm. Spongify is, like, not really needed, is it? In this? No, I don't think there's anything. No, so you could probably ignore that completely. <laughs> um... I, I still think Forest is pretty good. Um, yeah. Maybe, maybe that's where Liam goes now. Maybe when he comes out of Quidditch. I would kind Which of assume he... that personally, but we'll see. I mean, yeah. I mean, he is going for the uh, loser Quidditch match, which he mm -hmm. just got. Yep. So that's the third goal. So Luzak knows exactly where he is. Yep. Oh, it's okay. Also, Luzak came bean boxes as well. Oh yeah, true. Oh, I forgot about that. There's not quite six in Scourge. Oh no, he's not getting bean boxes. Never mind. Oh, he got one. He didn't get the oh, second okay. one. I hope he knows that. So we won't have to unmark. But I guess that's an interesting thing for the counters to keep an eye out. Or an eye on. But for now we have Beaver not going to Forest. Maybe it's less good than I think. I don't know. He's going to Finn though. Yeah, interesting. It's oh, a level no, a lot of he, runners. Or is, just, or is he just getting cards? Uh, maybe, actually. Like, if Finder's a level a lot of people avoid, yeah, he's also avoiding it. Until you, you know, kind of have to go in. A lot of people like to avoid it because of how oh, long it is. Oh, I wonder if Liam's getting the 10 bronzes to get the health, in like, to avoid the health increase, and then, mm -hmm. then he'll go forest. 
Oh, that could be, that could be. There's like a lot of easy bronze cards in the overworld here. Yeah. Yeah, he's getting this one as well. He's got to be close to 10, right? I would assume so. I saw him pick up quite a few. This one's a silver, isn't it, in here, but... Yeah. No, still, still counts, counts towards still the Still counts goal. towards the 27, yeah. Luzak has finished with the gnome. Does he want to mark it though? He's unsure. He's also on three gold, so they are, at the moment, they're even. Used gate, so Liam using a cauldron, so that's mm -hmm. his first one. I still like that. That's such a nice multitask. While you're waiting for the card, you use the cauldron to make a potion. Yeah, it's really nice. It's such a nice optimization. Where's he going now then? Is he, is he just going to go and do the cauldrons? Mm. Looks like it. Then maybe, maybe, maybe... He might, yeah. I don't know, actually. Might He might just finish the cauldron and then get his 10th bronze card to get Quidditch warped to the grounds again. Something yeah, that like would, that. that would make sense, wouldn't it, yeah. I doubt he goes for chamber. And Luzak like, yeah. um, is on... How many boxes? Is that a sixth? No, I think this is going to be a sixth. This should be the... Yeah, he got, yeah, he got two four in, scourge, in here. He got four here, yeah. yeah. And two in defend uh, and scourge. So he is good on that. And he just marked Gryffindor challenge as well. Not an insane snipe this time, so it's nope. it shows, you know, he, he can fail as well. Yeah. <laughs> Even the snipe machine can fail. <laughs> Liam now on three cauldrons, so he only needs to use one more. Mm -hmm. Is this gonna be his tenth bronze? No. Probably the one in bathroom then. Because he's got he's gotta be on nine. He's been picking up a lot of cards. I saw him grind for quite a while. Oh, he's picking oh. up bean boxes, which might yeah. be a sniping Luzak. I it mean, could be a snipe, yeah. I mean, it's one of those goals where you kind of think, why hold it? But then I realize mm. that there's only so many places the bean boxes are actually in. And yeah. Scourge, it's like Scourge and Grand Staircase. I agree. It is, it is withholding a good amount of information, but six is also really not that many. Like, it's very yeah. easy to get. Even just in the grand staircase, you can get six. Can yeah, you? exactly, yeah. Uh, you can get five. Five, five. yeah. No, no, you can get six, actually, yeah. Yeah. You got, you got the four here. You got one in Dumbledore's office. Oh, Dumbledore's office, yeah. Today. Yeah. Which I think is what Beaver's going to go to do, yeah, actually. Yeah, Beaver's going for it, yeah. So he's going to have that soon. Let's see if Luza can snipe at this, this one as well in this match. Are we, are we going to see a reverse snipe here? I mean, Beaver has been marking everything instantly so far in this and the semi-final. Oh, he's only on seven bronze cards. I'm surprised oh, by that. Wow. <laughs> he collected so many. Yeah, same. We've, we've, watched, we've watched him pick up cards all, all game. Yeah. What's Luzak like on? Maybe. Six, I think. So they're on the same amount of bronzes. Obviously, Liam can get the one here. He's warping now, interesting. I guess he got right. everything from the Grand Staircase. Yeah, hang on. And that's the last bean box. Come on, Liam, mark it. Yes, he marked yep. it, he sniped it. And Liam's like, it's, it's a weird goal to hold, as you said. Like, I feel yeah. like he really should have. I mean, I mean, it doesn't give away much, like you say, because if you can get them all in Grand Staircase, it's like, eh. Yeah, there's exactly. no real clue of where someone is. Yeah, it just kind of means, hey, he collected some cards and that's it. May, may even put some pressure on Beaver so, you know, he knows Luzak collected cards, basically. He might be behind. Okay, Luzak going forest. Finally. I finally someone's fine. doing what I recommended. Yeah, yeah I was going to say, yeah, we <laughs> Let's had, go. you had the good idea and now finally someone's taking advantage of it. Oh, he was on five boxes. Okay, never mind. How was he on five? Did he only get one in, in Scourge? Did he not get the one at the top? I, I, I say I watched. I was watching Beaver at the time. Did he not get the one by the gnomes? I thought he did, but I guess not. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Actually, also, um, while he was in Scourge, why didn't he just finish the spell challenge with a gnome? In his hand? Oh, he did. He did. He just didn't oh, he mark did it <laughs> as as per oh, okay. usual. No, he has that goal in the backhand, basically. Yeah. Again, I was watching Beaver. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so we got so we got that, but then didn't grab the bean box while he was up there. That's a surprising one. Yeah, and Luzak is doing jumpless, getting the bow truckles, which is actually kind of cool. And it's it's very, gonna... I, I didn't know it's possible until the yeah. portal showed me. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of a tricky tricky one to get. And it's uh, the second time we can show off jumpless forest during this final. Yeah, oh, are we about, are we about to get like a mini forest race? Because... Uh, hmm. Could be. Eva's now Quidditch warped. He's marked the four unique potion cauldrons and ten bronzes. Mm-hmm. 
Nice, nice ending there. Good routing. Ending on the yeah. cauldron and hospital wing and the card. I like that. Yeah, that was very cool. It's 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 actually incredible how he can route that so well. And Ooh, when he is going, going to forest. forest. And Luzak knows he has just done a Quidditch match. Like, he knows yeah. that there is a good chance. Like, he can calculate this very well, I think. After we've seen the other snipes. Now, he should be able to calculate that perfectly, even. Yeah. He's gonna get yeah, the silver gonna, card here. He's gonna get the bronze card here. He's still gonna work towards 22, so... Yeah. Even though he just missed one on that tree, on that branch. Yeah. Luzak again getting the card here. Mm hmm Obviously showing off his confidence of getting the uh, the jumper strap. Yeah, I like it, I like it. He also and seems... the menu, the menu walks are just... <laughs> That's unreal. Yeah. He seemed to be thinking about something quite heavily in that segment. Oh, he gets the boost into boost. That's kind of sick. So he negates the fall damage because of the Spondrify. And it's very fast. Um, I really wonder how much he's going to delay this. Because again, he, he must know that Beaver is very likely on his way to Forest. Yeah, definitely. After that Quidditch match. I'm also curious how many bow truckles... Uh they're on as well because I haven't mm. been keeping track of that. I mean, Beaver's been to Boomslang and I think he got four. And Luzak has not really been anywhere with bow truckles, has he? Uh, I mean, no, apart from now, obviously. So he's, he's, he's oh yeah, so he's there now. Five, There's yeah. One. Yeah, five here. Yeah. yeah. So Beaver should be ahead on that, but he definitely isn't at ten. So he, we would have It'll to go nine, to Defender. Also getting the silver card, by the way. Both have the confidence with that boost. Yeah. I like it. Meanwhile, Luzak is killing the spider, so he does have both forest golds. Now the question is, is he going to be able to time it? Which, again, I, I think this time... If he if he messes that up now, then I'll be a bit upset. <laughs> because he's been sniping so well, and this is actually, for once, really calculatable. So Yeah, I don't actually know how many potions Beaver is on at this point. Um, he did the four unique columns, so he might just be on four. I think he's on four, yeah. yeah. He, I think he only had one Wigan tree bark. Mm -hmm. Okay, Luzag is tapped out. Is he going to mark something? Or is he just thinking about his next move? Oh, he marks it. Yeah. But, but again, I, that one was just relatively easy to predict just because he knew beaver did a quidditch match he probably will go to forest still a good snipe yeah. absolutely very good snipe but that, that one that one i could see at least <laughs> unlike the ones in the last match yeah so now what is beaver gonna do he still finishes the level i guess he wants to spawn in um, the grand staircase if he's gonna beat arrow oh no he wants the potion ingredients and the card probably yeah you'll probably quidditch wolf from here yeah I assume so as well. Can Cause... You can technically make infinite potions on that cauldron as well, but I don't know. I mean, he doesn't have many ingredients, so I don't know if it's worth it. He might make like two and then leave. We'll see. Or not. Maybe he's just going to go for it, but he, is he going to do that until 20... What do you need? 21? 21, yeah. So he needs to use this like 11 times. Nah, he's not good. <laughs> yeah, that seemed really good. awful, so... Yeah, like, if you're going to do like potions, just go and get the ingredients in Bicorn first. Ah, yeah, something like, like that, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Luzak is in Riktu now, pushing craps into pits again. It's a lot of cards in Riktu. It's a good challenge to go for if you need card goals. And it still yeah, has the yeah. seven stars, so one of the few synergies left. What else have we got? So we've got Caster, different gargoyles in Goyle, which also mm. would finish off Bow Truckles. I think Beaver oh. should go to Findo here, but he might not because of the Bow Truckles, because it's like... I mean, actually, is there only Bow Truckles? Yeah, maybe he shouldn't go to Findo, never mind. I thought there's something on the board, but no, never mind. Where is, where is, is he, is he going to get the cards up here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, as you said, though, it's mostly just kind of isolated goals at this point. I don't really have too many synergies. I guess the potion ingredients are one of the few that has synergies with 21 potions. And there's a yeah. lot of cards in Bicorn, so maybe what he's going to go for? And yeah, both on 10 silvers now, which is pretty sick. Yeah. Synchronized. Pretty nice. 
Uh, Luz, also both have got, even though the health bars are different, uh, they both also do have at least 10 bronzes. Yep. Which means they are kind of close to those 27 cards. Yeah. Beaver's on 23, apparently. It's the official count. Oh, nice. Thank you very much. So he might actually just finish that out and then go to Boomslang. Uh, to Bicorn, sorry. Yeah. That, that I yeah. think that makes the most sense. Makes oh. sense. Oh, he gets it. There we go. Well, maybe he's on 27. <laughs> he checked again. Yeah, it looked correct. Yeah. I, I trust his maths. <laughs> I trust his maths as well. I mean, he just checked in the menu, so I'm, I'm sure it's fine. Exactly, yeah. Uh, he's going Goyle. Okay, yeah. Oh, no, maybe. Okay, get in this card first. <laughs> yeah, I'll be dreaming of bingo today as well after this, I think. Yeah. It's been okay, quite, yeah. The, quite the day. Yeah, and he does... Go oh, he does go Goyle, though. Interesting. Yeah, it's a he'll finish off his bow truckles first. Oh then... yeah, mm -hmm. because he's on eight. Yeah, he was on nine. Oh, he was on nine. Good point. Yeah, yeah. but he, he got eleven in total in the end. He's going for the, the cool snipe on the gargoyle. Yep. Uh, and needs nine gargoyles here as well. Which is almost the high roll. Ten is possible. It's one of the few golds where um, where it doesn't say all because it's like a range can be from I think seven to ten. But 10 is all of them, so Beaver can skip one Gargoyle in this entire level. Which I think is going to be the one in the room after the big crab that's kind of to the left. It's a really dumb one. Yeah, that sounds a bit like... It's either that one or you go for... You miss the one that's on the... Like, hidden by the side of the wall. By the same area. Yeah, that's the one I meant. Like, he's going to get this one. There's one, like, basically on the other side. Oh, no, he's going to get oh, that no. one. He's going to get it. So which one is he, which oh, one's he going to yeah. miss? I because wonder. there's a freaking potion ingredient here that I've actually never seen anyone pick up. I I, I used to get it for the uh, unique flubber when Mew is gone. Oh, yeah, that's good. I mean, I guess he's going to skip the last one now that's behind the wall. <laughs> oh, okay. he, he'll, he'll, probably, he'll probably still show off his uh, call snipe on it anyway. Yeah, true. Just uh, just because he can. Yeah. Oh, he might, he might, he might, he might miss this one. Oh no. Nope. I mean, that one's relatively quick. Yeah. Maybe. But yeah. I think you're right. I think it's gonna be if, if he's gonna if he's gonna skip one, he's gonna skip the last, the very last yeah. one. The rest of them is just super free at this point. He's gonna get the bronze cards in here, of course. Luzak, meanwhile, is done with the craps. Is still gonna get the silver card in here, which I kind of like. I don't know if he needs the star, I guess we'll see. Or if he's on seven already. But that is a nice little secret to pick up. A lot of synergy. And then he is sitting on one, two, three, four unmarked golds, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, sounds right. Which does put him even with Beaver, but Beaver is obviously going through Goy right now, which would be his will be his ninth right now, once it's also marked. Uh, but it is a lot closer than the board may make it seem, just because Luzak is withholding once again. So far, though, no snipes. No, yeah. For once. <laughs> Actually, no, yeah, that's untrue. Same. There was forest. But Never mind. There was forest, yeah. yeah. It was a, a mini snipe. <laughs> a mini snipe. That was still a good amount of time wasted yeah. for Beaver. Yeah, definitely. But, I mean, Beaver's still got his bow truckles and everything in there, I suppose. So it's like, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it was He's made some small progress on his potions as well. It wasn't fully wasted, I agree. And I think he's three bronze cards out from getting the bronze cards. And with that, he yeah. would claim like all card golds except the gold card one. And that's rough because Luzak has spent a good amount of time on getting those as well. So if he gets nothing in return, that's tough. Yeah, so Luzak's going for the all 28 beans in Willow. Mm hmm. Let's hope he doesn't get a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Well, he's got full health at the minute, so I think he should be fine. Well, that's what Portal thought. <laughs> <laughs> True, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, Beaver is meanwhile making potions. I mean, he has one more ingredient, which isn't that much more than in the forest, but now he's going to go through with it. Might as well say yeah. he only needs to do one more. Yeah, it puts him to 10, which is a good spot to be in. I mean, he needs three more, and Luzak needs some... Oh, Luzak has phone call percent. <laughs> he keeps on playing, okay. <laughs> I, I, that's, that's, uh, Giga Chat right there. I was about to say maybe we should go in there and, and tell them to take a quick break, but 
the, he seems to have it. He seems to be able to handle it. <laughs> I mean, good thing that he doesn't have to do like super mechanically difficult segments. Yeah, picking up during a speedrun. I mean, it was a short one though, apparently, so. Yep, so it sounds like it's all good. Mm -hmm. Gets the headset back on, I mean, kind of back on, and is back in action for the final beans. Beaver has entered Spongify, meanwhile. I th think only for cards, right? Cards or maybe Gnome? Finish with the. Mm, no. Nope. Yeah, true, not. true, true. He's probably oh, going to. Oh, no, do it could that. be, yeah. He's got to open it first, yeah. Yeah. Which is a thing that Luzak has been holding forever. And he looks like he's gonna... He's, he's just done it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the sniping returns. I mean, it doesn't hurt Viva too much because he wasn't really yeah. committed to it yet. He just got cards for now. He got his 20th yeah. bronze card, so he's two away from that goal. But it is 10 to 9 again. Uh, we do know that Beaver is basically on his 11th once he gets two more bronze cards. But then, still, actually a good bit left. Like, it's not yeah, super say, obvious right now. Still got Chamber, Bicorn, Slytherin, and Gold Wizard cards. So there's still four levels involved in this. Yeah. So, this could very easily uh, go another way. Because they could both be going to the same place right now. <laughs> oh, Beaver's going to get... Oh, the cards in here, I guess. The one relatively quick card. Looks and then... Dueling. Mm hmm so I get the bronze here, and then it'll get the silver so we can get into the gold wizard card challenge. I kind of like that. Oh, no, but he doesn't like it, apparently. He's he's leaving. I mean, it's kind of yeah. tough, obviously, to predict where Beaver's going to go. He marked, like, the, gar the Gargoyles and Goyle, and then 21 potions, and then nothing for a while. So at this point, he could be anywhere, basically. So it's just a guessing game which of the remaining single golds he's gonna pick up. But I, I think dueling just takes too much time. So going into one of the other ones, preferably the quickest ones, with the quickest one, which is Slytherin Secrets, I think, uh, makes sense. Yeah, okay. I think Liam's gonna get one bronze card in Scourge. <laughs> yep. And I then mean, he'll go, he'll, he might, uh, straight to gold wizard cards? I think he might, yeah. Because so he doesn't get sniped on it again like in the last round. And this is such a nice one to get. It's a really quick one that a lot of people forget about just because it's in the middle of a challenge. But with Skirt no uh, Skip, it's no problem at all. And then he can just boost out with the snail. So it's a really quick pickup. Obviously, Insta marked it as well. Yeah. Which at least gives Luzak the knowledge that he doesn't have to go for cards anymore apart from Silvers. Now the question is, where is he going to go? Down to the dungeons, but which level? Because yeah. Luzak is in Slytherin. That's going to be, I mean, a potentially big decision here for Beaver. Yeah, really is. You can, t you can see that he's thinking, he's contemplating. Oh, oh he's going Slytherin! No! That is the one decision. I mean, he cannot know. Maybe he's just getting the silver card. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, he, he can't possibly know what level Luzak is in out of those three remaining Chamber, Slytherin, and Bicorn. So. Yeah, the last thing Luzak marked was Willow, so. Yeah. He's going Slytherin. He is going Slytherin. And Luzak's got too much of a lead now, I'd say, at this point. Oh, for sure. He's not going to overtake yeah. him on secrets here. I mean, especially now that Luzak is past the part where you can die, so... Yeah. It all, it all depends now on when Luzak chooses to mark it. <laughs> As always. No doubt it'll be once Beaver enters the last secret. Yeah, that's the catchphrase of this final, I think. Yeah. I, this kind could actually bring Luzak back into the game quite a bit. Like, I don't know how their silver card count is. I don't know what they're on. I think Beaver has 20, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. I think it does have enough to get into. I don't think Luzak's far away. No, no. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure Beaver is still heavily favored since he has the gold card challenge unlocked and he's in, in the lead on golds in general, even if he gets sniped here. But 
it's it's a pretty tough snipe regardless if he gets it. Yeah, uh, this is a bronze card, isn't it? So we have to open for the secret anyway. Guess he wanted to wait, get caught by the Slytherin. Liam gets like one of the slowest silver cards in the entire game, I would say, but he, he might be thinking if I get sniped, at least I got a silver card. Yeah. Uh, so, but I, that kind of tells me he's not on 20 silvers yet, right? Maybe, yeah. Maybe he's close. There's, there's no other reason to get that one, so... Nah. Yeah, so if you have the 20, you don't have to worry about getting any more. Yeah. And there's no other card goals on the board. Yeah. Also, Luzak picking up the last secret. Yeah, he could mark he it now. He will still leave normally, though, because then he can go straight to Bicorn if he wants to. Gets the final Slytherin girl away from the exit. Which is not really the exit, but rather the girl's dormitory, but it's our exit, apparently. <laughs> and now he's gonna go to you know, probably Bicorn, as you said. No reason not to when you're in the dungeons already. Exactly. Now, is he gonna think that Beaver went to um, Slytherin? I mean, he's gotta, he's gotta think that right and mark it soon. I assume he at least fears that Beaver went there. Like, it would be very weird if he holds this for longer than another couple of minutes. Yeah, it's like at this point now, like, in towards the end game, you've got to start thinking, like, hey, what's the worst case scenario if he went to the same level? And he marks it. It's another very perfect marking. I mean, Beaver not quite there yet, but he wasn't far away, and he's probably going to get the silver, and then he, he has to I mean, warp out, right? Yeah, like, he has to think that Luzak's gone by call. Yeah. Like, there's no other reasonable place for him to have gone. Yeah, exactly. But this is another high-pressure situation. And that oh. is his 20th. Okay, that's good. So he can that's go gold cards. And I think he might go gold cards, just to make sure he doesn't get sniped on it again. I mean, could he go gold cards, then chamber? I mean, he's going to do one or two things. He's probably going to either do dueling to get like to be able to buy nine cards or go straight yeah. gold cards in chamber i mean gold cards in chamber sounds like it's synergized as well because the levels are right next to each other yeah so we'll see i think that has to be the play like jewels doesn't get him anywhere he gets to 12 golds and then you know, loser gets the rest potentially. The question is, is he gonna go to gold cards first or to chamber first? Because that might matter. Like, Luzak might get the 50 50 here. Yeah. But still, two more golds for Beaver is. Seems like it would be doable. It is a good lead, and he can freely choose the level to go to. And it's not really gonna get sniped here. I mean, he doesn't know that, but. <laughs> I'm going to say gold cards. Yeah, it makes yeah, sense. Yeah, I think so too. It also, because it's like... I actually know the spawn point after chamber is also Grand Staircase, so... Doesn't yeah, really also matter. if you went chamber first, you either were about to Quidditch Warp to not fight Basilisk. Mm -hmm. Ah, true, um, actually, yeah. Yeah, so this makes the most sense. Even though the second Gargoyle is kind of early into the challenge as well, so I'm not sure if he's going to finish gold cards or if he's actually just going to warp. He could. Maybe warping into dueling is actually a safest option because that's the most or the least likely thing for Luzak to do. Meanwhile, Luzak doing one of the. It's only a long goal, like getting all the ingredients in by Oh, goal. yeah. Yeah, that is a dreadfully long goal, especially if it doesn't have any synergies. Yeah, it did have, but uh, Beaver's a claim of the uh, potions, unfortunately. Yeah, <laughs> the one of the one of the few synergies there is with Bicorn was taken away already, so now it's just kind of there. And I think Luzak missed a potion ingredient, or two even. Oh. Yeah, in the oh no. Oh no, that's so unfortunate. So even even though he could get the 50-50 now if he goes to chamber correctly, this this is that's it for this match, I think. I don't yeah, know how he can it. recover from that. And we have to get ready to unmark if he marks it. I mean, he probably knows himself that he's not quite there, probably. 
think he's gonna. He might. I don't. I don't think he knows. Looking at his facial expression, I don't think he knows he missed two. He seems no. content and focused, but once he marks it, we are ready to unmark, basically. Yeah, I think he's just holding the goal. Yeah, he's holding it. You think, but that's gonna—that's not—that's not gonna feel good when he, if he marks it. We have to mark it. Mm. I mean, yeah, at this awesome. point, bit of an unfortunate ending to this match. I mean, it's not quite the ending yet, but it's gonna be tough. I mean, he will actually go to chamber early. Oh, that's so rough. He could actually snipe that one, but he just doesn't have the bicorn. Yeah, Beaver marks the gold card challenge, which. Luzak probably is uh, happy about it. He thinks like, yeah, okay, he's gonna go to chamber. I'm there first. I can get this. I can win this. And I think he would have. He would have won he this prob probably. Yeah, he could have won this if he'd have, if he'd have got all the ingredients in Baikon. Yeah, but now I don't. I don't. I mean, maybe. I mean, it is still. I think it's still technically possible. Yeah. Because I like, if. If he goes back to Bicorn, he, he missed the ones early on, didn't he? So if he remembers which ones he missed... Yeah. Then... Like, it, it counts. It's not in one single playthrough. Like, it counts yeah. in multiple. So if he just goes back and gets the two he missed, it's fine. Yeah. But, but the I problem mean, it... is he's still going to buy nine wizard cards. Yeah. Which is a lot of dueling. <laughs> I don't think it's completely impossible that he can bring this back. But he needs Beaver to, do, to keep on doing exactly what he's doing, basically. Uh, did he get the first secret, by the way? I didn't see his... Oh, yeah, he's on one. Good. Okay, at least yeah, he didn't forget one, yeah. that one. <laughs> so I'll say that, that would have been worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it stays It stays exciting, at least here. Man, that's so unfortunate, though. He had a really good chance to take this one. I mean, again, still possible, but now it's looking a bit more rough than it could have been. I mean, the only thing that he could probably do is... If he goes to dueling and starts to earn the and the cards mm -hmm. and then manages to get the bike horn get the two ingredients and mist and then instantly mark it while Beavis yeah. at the end of bike horn that gives him the advantage he could even just start dueling like to have some progress so when it comes to a dueling race he's got the advantage yeah this but is it's, it's gonna a be lot, a lot's gonna go his way yeah, basically, he needs everything to go perfect for him at this point. I, which makes it actually very exciting. I'm very curious what he decides on doing, first of all. And when he marks things. Beaver is also kind of close to him now, even though he went in with a bit of a disadvantage, like it went in a bit behind. But Luzak yeah. uh, lost a bit of that lead, probably thinking about what his next move should be. <laughs> Which I can't blame also, him for at all. No, definitely not. But but also one thing to bear in mind is we know that Luzak like calculates how long challenges yeah. are. Yeah. So if he decides to hold off on marking Bicorn until Beaver is towards the end of it. Oh yeah, and then, then we have to unmark it, yeah. And we unmark it and it's like that gives the game straight to Beaver. Yeah. Because he won't think to go back to Bicorn because he thinks he's done it. Oh, Luzak is done with the secrets. Oh, no, he's not marking it, though, and Beaver will. And that's it. That's, it. that's, game. that's game. Oh, that's rough. That's it. I mean, it probably would have been for Beaver anyways, but he didn't. That's the one snipe he couldn't pull off. Uh, wow. Well, let's bring them back in. Oh, boy. Another really close one. GG's. Yeah, GG. <laughs> Holy hell. Um... I don't know if you're aware, by the way, Luzak, about the bicorn, but you did miss two ingredients. Uh, which ones? The ones in the middle storeroom, basically, that has the bronze card and the switch. Oh, yeah, I skipped those. Yeah, but if, if without that, it would have been in one hell of a final for this match, I think. If for some reason I thought that I have to complete chamber to claim this secret, oh. and yeah. Wait, did you already have it? Yeah. <laughs> for like 10 seconds. And I was continuing for some reason. He had a small lead into chamber over you, basically. Ah! Uh, again, though, like... me like five times again. It was less... Um, 
time heavy snipes than the first match, I would say, but still some brutal ones with forest I mean, and Slytherin. Both the forest ones and then the, the gnome. Uh, yeah. The beginning of the game. And like, Slytherin. The start of the game, like, um, does it all. Like, I think Beaver won in like first five minutes going to Booms, like, Amy forgetting the bark and scourge. Did you have uh, 20 silvers? Uh, no, I stopped, stopped out like, on like 13, 14. Because mm -hmm. I saw you were like 5, 6 cards ahead. Yeah, I wasn't sure if I should go gold cards first or chamber first. But I guess mm. it kind of worked out. It shouldn't have though. I was really close, trust yeah, me. Yeah, it was very close. I, it would have been really interesting to see what both of you would have decided after, like if Luzak would have sniped the chamber secrets right now. But um, if I fade the bicorn, then uh, I think I wouldn't save it that much. Yeah, it would have been yeah, tough so to come I back from. Because like you've you probably would have marked it towards when Beaver's at the end of bicorn, and then yeah. we're about to have unmarked it. But I have to say those matches are as close as they can be. So yes. really entertaining grand final. Still, the score does not display that well because Beaver is still undefeated in bingo tournaments with this yeah. two zero. But yeah. as we said, it is a best of three. If the matches are as close as they were already, I'm really ready for them. So if you guys are yeah, good, so, yeah. then we count you down. Yep, sure. Uh, you want to have the honors, Dino? Sure, thank you very much. So let's get this on the road in three, two, one. Bingo. 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 We have the Harry Potter wizard. Oh, again. of course. It makes its return for the potentially yeah. last Why match is... of this tournament. Yeah, I know. Um... <laughs> Gryffindor challenge might be the starting point again, <laughs> though. Um, yep. Yeah, it will be. Secrets. Like, the thing is, at least we got rid of 28 bronze cards. It's only 20 now. And 20, 23 20, yeah. wizard cards, yeah. And you got to buy four bronze cards as well. So. Yeah, nice bronze synergy. Uh, I, They might actually start with the Gryffindor challenge, both of them. Mm. Is going behind the Quidditch gate into, like anything outside an option there isn't really much there's willow has one goal but there's forest jumpless but yeah Ooh. it's not right oh but you can lose a quidditch match by 250 points it might not be a bad start you go behind the gate lose the match go to jumpless forest or something maybe yeah even or the frogs and boomslang something like that potentially a start but i do think Gryffindor challenge is the more enticing one yeah i would agree i mean you could also uh, there is there's three gargoyles in Willow, but I don't think that's worth it, maybe. I mean, it's a quick goal, so maybe. Yeah, I, yeah, and I guess that and then into Forest could be decent. I don't yeah, hate I'll it. Yeah, i could do that. It's a, uh, it's, it's, it'd be interesting to see. Yeah. Um, is there a... Oh, yeah, it says buy four bronzes and buy the Nimbus 2001. Wow. It's, it's, I, think it's, I think it's drawn the... Uh, the the broom, like, mm -hmm. all, all day. the time. Have we, have, we, have we had the armor at all today? Well, on the last board we had to remake, it was the armor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, it's actually an interesting thing that gets asked in chat right now. Uh, the gnome finishing its spell challenge with the gnome is not including Gryffindor challenge because that is not a spell challenge. Yeah. So uh, only the is four it, that are in the game, or the five, rather. It, no, four. Is it, is it actually possible to get the gnome up there and pick it up before you get the star? Uh, I think so. It should be possible. It's just going to yeah. be really annoying in the Spongify room to get it all the way up. Yeah, I suppose if you jump all the way around as well, maybe. Yeah, I think it should be doable. Just annoying. Yeah. But it's irrelevant because we don't, we don't. It's not allowed anyway. Yeah, exactly. So, so we've never seen uh, anyone try it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, Beaver uh, straight away to Gryffindor Challenge as he announced last match. And Luzer goes to the dungeons. Ah, uh, map. Complete Slytherin, throw Nomad Malfoy. Oh, the armor stands? Yeah, that's actually a nice synergy I didn't even see before. Mm. Oh yeah, there's even gnomes in the final room in Gryffindor Challenge. You guys are absolutely correct, so yeah, it wouldn't actually be that hard at all. Uh, interestingly, Luzak does not get the silver card, because I guess there's actually no silver card goals, is there? At all. Mm, well, you need silver to get into the... Get the Harry Potter oh card. yeah, the Harry Potter card again. God damn it! <laughs> he is on everything, as we that said. Goal. <laughs> yeah. So, those are at least both challenges that give them like good goals, and they're both relatively short challenges. So I like the starts from both of them here. 
I don't even know. I mean, Gryffindor talent should still be a bit shorter, I would say, even if you need all secrets. Yeah, I'd say so. Actually, mm, it's kind of close, but we'll see. Well, I guess we'll see, because as long as they don't make mistakes... Wait, what? <gasps> Luzak missed the gnome! Oh, no. While well, talking about not making mistakes. Yep. It's not a great start. <laughs> mm, that's really, really yeah. unfortunate. Also worth mentioning that uh, with Gryffindor Challenge, Liam's made a little progress on the Spongify tiles. Oh yeah, like three <laughs> or something. Yeah. There's a little progress there, but it's still progress. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess, I assume Beaver is going to insta-mark because he's worried he's racing. Yeah, he marks the eight instantly. Yeah. And then he's going to mark the secrets, which, <laughs> well, we know where that leads. That leads to Luzak sitting on his golds for half an hour again, which yep. makes for entertaining matches, so I'm, I'm not against it. Uh, he gets the gnome across. Now he just has to do bridge skip. Which he shouldn't have a problem with. I mean, mechanically, they're both very skilled, of course. The only thing we've seen issues with was the skirt skip. And Beaver does go for the Quidditch match now, which I like. Uh, yeah, I like gets that. that goal. It's a pretty easy one. I think he managed... Uh, he failed the damage transfer. He was a bit upset, so he failed something. <laughs> Must have been the damage transfer. So oh, he's... Gryffindor scored twice. No, Gryffindor scored. Oh, maybe scored that's twice. what it was, yeah. Mm -hmm. Losing 20 seconds to RNG there. <laughs> Unfortunate. I don't know how much Luzak lost to his death, but that might actually even that out a bit. Like to forgetting the gnome. Yeah. Wait, what is he doing now? Oh, he's getting the silver. Wait, no. What is he doing now? Oh, the armor stands, of course, yes. Just has to make sure to find his gnome again. <laughs> I'm surprised he cast twice on those because the, those armor stands only have one. Yeah, they're, they're, only, they're only a single, aren't they? Yeah, they're only a single cast. But I guess he wants to make sure in case he misses or something, I guess. And he's gonna lure those people away. He's gonna throw them out for. Meanwhile, Beaver has finally finished to lose by 260 points, even. <laughs> Which puts him ahead, even though even after Luzak is done with Slytherin, it is gonna be a three versus two, and he will be ahead on stars after that challenge. But the question is, where is he gonna go from here? Is it Willow into Forest? Nope. Looks like silver cards for now. Yeah, makes sense. It does. Might as well if you have to go to gold cards. Looks like he's going. Willow? Yeah, that's like it does look Actually, like it, the direction he's walking towards. I guess it makes sense. It's just quick golds you can pick up. They don't seem to synergize super well with anything, but I mean, a goal is a goal, right? So Yeah, so you get, you get, you get your 28 beans. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 28 sorry, three, more. Sorry, three, three gargoyles, sorry. That, yeah. Yeah, um, and then go straight to forest from there. And then you can think or think further where you're gonna go depending on what Luzak marked, which will probably be nothing, <laughs> let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, he'll hold that for the next, next 10 minutes. Yeah, I don't know how many armor stands he's on. He might be good. He got like a lot in Slytherin and he got the ones in dungeons and maybe in entry hall, I'm not sure. But that is a goal that I don't... I mean, it, it makes sense to delay that right now because... The only way you can have 11 now is if he go, went into Slytherin, so... Mm. Oh, he's only halfway there. Okay, that's actually less than I thought. And he chooses to go to Boomslang by the looks of it, which is a good decision for him that he doesn't go to Willow. Oh, Beaver, I'm insta-marking it. Wow. Does not want to get sniped. It's an interesting one, though, because... You wouldn't naturally think that someone's going to go to Willow early, like, without doing anything else. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I assume now we're thinking Beaver might go forest from here, which would make sense, but it doesn't no. look like he's going to. Apparently he's going back to the forest. Uh, to the castle, rather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or he... picking up secrets? Is that on the board? No. Oh, he just wants the bronze card, I guess. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, Luzak has oh, entered Boomslang. Is, is, is he, he going to get behind the Quidditch gate? 
Oh, yeah. Um, but you softlock if you do that during the night, I think. But I guess you can. But true, that could be. That could be his plan, yeah. actually. No, never mind. He goes to the castle. It might just go in, come straight back out, or... Yeah, come straight back out. Now he'll do the Quidditch gate into forest. Yeah. Which I think makes sense, so he's not softlocked behind the thing. 100%, yeah. Yeah. Let's see if he's gonna actually not fall down this time. We've seen that way too many times this tournament. <laughs> we'll lose that mark anything. <coughs> it's also a good question. Beaver takes what? his time on the final jump. Yep, make sure to be behind the Quidditch gate. And now, yeah, go in forest. And I will... Lose that also killing some bow truckles there as well, worth mentioning. Yep. Which is on the board. Nine bow truckles. Oh yeah, I didn't even see that until now. That makes Forest a bit more appealing. Luzak now... Oh, is oh. he on his way to Forest? He knows Beaver just went behind the gate, so... Yeah, so you got to think maybe Forest isn't a good idea, but it looks like he's going to go there anyway. Maybe he's going to try his luck. Maybe he just thinks... like He's confident in his jumpless Forest. I mean, we've seen that Beaver's very good at it as well, so... <laughs> that is true. I mean, he did die once on the Sponge of Fire. That might be enough for Luzak to get a hat. Uh, especially if he skips the Bow Truckles. That might be his plan. He might just want to want to do Jumpless and skip the Bow Truckles or something. We'll see. It's an interesting decision. Yeah, see, it looks like it. He's skipping ah, those he two is. Bow Truckles. Yeah. Which I don't know if that's enough to give him an edge though, but if he plays it smoother, then he, he can't get this. Beaver is at his first attempt now. Is he going to get it first try? Oh, he does get oh, it, and that's big. Nice. That is really big. Aluzak as well though, hot on his trail. Oh boy. I mean, the second boost, or like the boost, shouldn't be a problem for either of them, but you can still fail it. Beaver not opting for the silver card this time. Which might be, oh, might be actually a really good decision for him, but Luzak with a better boost here, caught up now. Oh. Goes for bronze. Both of them go for bronze, and they are in the same spot. <laughs> oh. Oh, both getting the wrong ledge grab. Beaver getting, Luzak getting it. Oh my god, this is actually really tight. Okay. Well, this is this is potentially deciding quite a bit. Beaver with a small hat, uh, small, not head start. What's it called? Lead. No. Small lead. Yeah. Uh, there's no spider goal on this board, so nope. you'd imagine they will Quidditch war in the Aragorn fight. Probably. And looks like Beaver is collecting the ingredients. No. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, it might be good for later, of course, but in this race, that is not good. And Luzak yeah. also, I don't think, got the bronze card, just in case. No, he didn't. No. And I think he's going to instantly mark it. He knows Beaver is here. There's no way. Otherwise, he wouldn't skip the boat truckles and stuff. He, he, he must. He must know. Yeah, he, he's, he should mark this straight away. He's going to warp and then mark it. Right? Surely. Surely. He's tabbing out. He's marking oh, he it. it. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> I mean, again, this one, you can definitely snipe. I can see how he got that one, but he probably didn't expect it to be that close on Luzak's end. I don't think he thought that. No way. And that is no. a lot of time loss for Weaver. He invested a good amount of time on that, and uh, he got some bow truckles out of it, some bronze cards. It's not all lost, but that is rough. And now he has the problem that Luzak finished the level before him, so if he goes to Boomslang, Luzak's already been there. Oh, okay, that's rough. Uh, with the golds, Luzak's holding back. It would be a 5-4, to four, I think, right now, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, so Luzak is holding the Boomslang... And two Slytherin, yeah. And two Slytherin goals, yeah. And he is close on the armor stands, but... Uh, what is he... he's looking... oh, he marked something. The Boomslang Frog... Oh, Beaver just entered! I can't believe it. 
Wow, that's so unfortunate. The second he entered, he marks it. I mean, at least it's a short level, so, you know, 20 seconds you're out again, but oof. Mm. And Beaver with the same problem again. Looks like will enter the next level before him, so he might get sniped yeah. again. Like, he has no way of knowing. Liam will finish his bow truck here, though, won't he? Oh, that is a good point, yeah. Yeah, because Luzak skipped him in forest, whereas Liam didn't. To win that oh, race. Wait, oh, wait, Luzak snipes it. No way. He got them in. He got enough. He got them in Goyle. That's, that's actually insane. Goyle. Oh, God, yeah, Goyle. That is actually insane. I mean, at least Beaver got two flower pots, I guess. <laughs> Three. So he's starting on that goal. Oh, Luzak, though, did he forget something? He forgot the first car, didn't he? <laughs> Again, that happened to someone. Because <laughs> otherwise I don't see any reason why he would have warped out of that. Okay, ten bronzes for Beaver. Yeah, I think he was fully focused on sniping the boat ruckles that he didn't get the card. And that is a problem. Yeah, he could have also just tried to die somewhere, but in that room it's really hard to die because you can't even take fall damage. <laughs> That's no, how they yeah. coded it. But insane snipes once again. Uh, and Beaver has entered Spongify, and Luzak might for once actually enter the same level as Beaver. Yep. Yep. Yes, is okay, here we go. That's another race, and I guess depending on what they collect on the way... It might be a race for Spongify tiles. That's that's all there is really in Spongify. It's actually surprising that they both go in here. I mean, it's a lot of cards as well. I can I can kind of see it. Yeah. Well, who's that going for the cards? So. Nope. He gives it one I attempt abandoned. and then abandons it. Fair enough. Yeah, that's, that's fair. Yeah. Even walks past the stars because he kind of knows no chance he's going to beat Beaver on that. He's been to Gryffindor Challenge and stuff, so... Yeah. Unlikely at this point. Oh yeah, also that's a very good point. If he would have died after missing the card, then Bo Truckles would have to get unmarked, and that would have been potentially really bad for Luzak, so actually a good good idea that he didn't. Um, I have absolutely no idea how many tarts they're on. I hope they know themselves. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Yeah, I'm sure they do. So I really don't know how close either of them is to get this. But Beaver actually getting the secrets and stars. Meanwhile, Luzak is obviously skipping it. Okay, he's on 12. That's not that many. He's getting silver cards, but not the stars. Hmm. Interesting race through Spongify, I won't lie. Nobody got the flow tile, sadly. Who's like is contemplating if he? Oh, he gets the bean box. Oh yeah, there's eight bean boxes on the on the. Oh, board. I didn't see that until now. And eight is a lot. You kind of have to get that one. I don't know if Beaver got that one. I didn't see. I think he did. Thinking you didn't lost track of that uh, of that goal. There's another one here, obviously. And I think there's even one more further in, right? I might be wrong. I hate bean Maybe. boxes. I never remember. Same. Okay, jumps on some more tiles. I have the feeling Beaver is probably also done before the end of this. I think he would be, yeah, because he had Forest and Gryffindor, Gryffindor challenge. challenge. Yeah, so he got probably like six or so out of that. Yeah. And, and then he got a good amount in Spongebob. He didn't get all of them though, so... Hmm. Guess we'll see. <laughs> That's a great way to dodge the crushers, I think, unintentionally. Yeah, the, the triple bounce. Yeah, it, it worked at the end. He got through. But Luzak is there now as well, so he did actually catch up by skipping the stars um, to Beaver. He's not going to finish the challenge before him, but I really don't know how they're looking on, on, on bouncy tiles. Okay, apparently that is our first yeah. snipe on Luzak, I think. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think it is. I, I don't think that happened yet this grand final, so 
Nice, nice one for Beaver. Very unfortunate for Luzak, of course. He's still going through with it, going uh, to get the ingredients. And then probably gets the hell out of that challenge. Yeah. 13 I I wonder, potions. Hmm? Not Sorry? that many. I wonder yeah. if that's what Liam's going to do now. Yeah, he has a good amount of ingredients that he collected so far. Yeah. I think he can make four at a time. Yep. Yeah. It looks like he might be going for that. Oh, you can make three, okay. Oh, three well, that's still time. pretty that's, good. That's fine. So it's four uses, whereas I think Luzak can only make one at a time at the minute. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely going to get that one. While Luzak actually goes to Skirt, which is which Beaver is right next to. So if yeah. Beaver decides to go there, we might have another snipe on our hands. Luzak looks a bit confused, though. He's getting armor sense now. I was about to say that one is not empty. Now it is. Mm, I guess he can finish with the gnome. He can get the secrets. I guess challenge stars that he doesn't really care about. And the bean boxes. So it's a good challenge for him. It's the only right thing to do, really. And Beaver is thinking the same. Of course he is, because it's such a good level. Oh, Loser gets a Hess. That kind of throws him a bit back. That might give him a chance to close the gap a little bit yeah he's he's also going for the armor stands but we know that luzak's been to slytherin yeah i think luzak must be on like eight or nine at this point already yeah he's got to be close yeah but 11 is just so many it really is yeah especially if you don't like get them all in slytherin it's just tough he looks a bit indecisive probably doesn't quite know but he knows beaver just made potions so no matter where he's in, he's not in a level, except if it's chamber or forest, but there's like no reason to be in there at this point. So he, he should be kind of confident that he's ahead in this challenge, so if he plays it well, he's going to be able to claim this goal. Yeah. Oh, loud Peeves is back. Oh, hello. <laughs> he makes a return. Yeah. A nice bronze card on the way as well. Also, like, if Liam picks up the challenge stars, he should finish 29 challenge stars here as well. Oh, yeah, he's probably very close to that, yeah. Oh, and he goes for the card below, even. Oh, no, never mind, he doesn't. I, I don't know why I thought he does. <laughs> when I saw him cast out the Lumos. <laughs> Yeah, that, that would be that would have been bad. It's just the secret, obviously. It's been a long day of bingo. Yeah, I'll say, but it's been a <laughs> a good long fun day. It has been, it has been, and maybe it continues. Who knows? I mean, yeah, I'll say, it's not over yet. No, it's a very close match once again. Um, Luzak obviously withholding as per usual, as we know, and I he's close on beanbox, getting close to bean boxes as well. Yeah. Even though I believe he will have to go to the Grand Staircase, there's not enough in Spondrify and Scourge to get there. Not quite. Uh, the big question is, though, is he going to delay Scourge Secrets? <laughs> I doubt. I, I think he has to know that Beaver went from Spondrify making potions into Scourge. Or at least he has to yeah. assume it. Yeah, you've got, you've got to think that the, to get the potions use the, the cauldron right by Scourge. Yeah. I mean, obviously, that's, it's a lot to assume, but looking at how Luzak played this match, I think he, he should know. And he gets the gnome as well. Marks the secrets, I assume? No, he didn't mark no. anything. Because there's one secret left. Oh, wow. Uh, Beaver with 23 yeah. cards. Whew. 23 wizard cards, yeah. That's gone. Just waiting to see Scourge secrets go blue. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen oh. very soon. Oh, also... Um, Luzak is finishing with a gnome in his in the hand. Yeah, so he's, he can claim those two for himself, probably, if he doesn't delay it uh, unreasonably long. I assume that it's he last will secret. also go for the gnome. Mm -hmm. Definitely will. They were once again doing very similar things. And now the question is, Luzak gonna mark this off? Yeah, he will. He knows Beaver might be close. Yeah, he goes. He goes yeah. and marks it off. And even marks of Slytherin, just everything, everything he's done now. Which gives us the true result, which is an 8 to 7 in favor of Beaver. But Luzak is going to get the bean boxes now, so it's basically an 8 to 8 if he doesn't delay that again. 
And he is in, uh, the, in the league. But he's oh. got 29 challenge stars just now. True. Just going to mention that and he marks it. <laughs> True. But Luzak is in the lead on armor stance, so I guess, I guess it's kind of, it's very close. And the big question yeah. is, where do they go for now? And Beaver might, is he going to go for the, for the bean boxes as well? Even though he knows Luzak has been in Scourge. He might try to snipe it. Yeah, I say he might, because he can get cards along the way as well, so. It looks like he's going to uh, DADA to get the one in there. Yep. Luzak marks it before before he gets sniped uh. on that. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's smart. I like that a lot. Yep. He knows exactly what Beaver might be doing. And it's such a five head game with those two. It's actually really good to watch. It is, yeah. And say so we're at 9-8, we're at but it's pretty much 9-9 nine, nine because mm -hmm. Luzak has a massive lead on the armor stand. Yeah. Um, the question is though, what are they gonna do? Nobody's... Actually, Beaver might be opting for Chamber, but I think he's just gonna get the Bronze card. Yeah, I, I feel like, yeah, getting the Bronze card, because I feel like Chamber just to get... Yeah, to it's beat, to bad. Beat the Basilisk, it's, it's not good. It's really bad. And then maybe at some point, Dueling is gonna start to look appealing, to be honest. Well, yeah, I so say got two buy cards on there. As boring as it card. is, yeah. And then, if you buy four bronze, I guess you still need silver cards to get the Harry Potter card. They don't really synergize well at all. Yeah, oh. Oh. Uh, Liam yeah, has the 20 bronzes. Yeah, pretty obviously with the Hess. And Luz like instantly warping out after seeing that, which is a cool move, I have to say. Yeah. Um, I assume his plan is to go dueling now for real. And I think Beaver might do the same, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, it would make sense. Looks like with the advantage of having one less health bar, so he dies a little bit quicker here. Which means he now has the big choice to make. Where is he gonna go? Looks like back to the castle, but I guess it makes sense. There's nothing outside right now. Yeah, there's nothing else outside now, so... It would make sense to, to duel now. Yeah. Yeah, Luzak's going there, and so is Lit. They're both going to duel. As I thought, they're b I mean, it's just what makes the most sense on this board. Um, duels are not really that skill-based. There are a lot, of, a lot of luck involved in this, so it doesn't really mean much that Luzak went in here first. Like, this is... it's so close that it doesn't really mean anything. Also, they could still decide to buy different things. Like, maybe Luzak decides to buy the broomstick, Beaver buys the bronze cards. They trade one to one, so this is not the worst thing ever for Beaver. Nah. But we'll see how it plays out. Now, obviously, we're going to see dueling on two screens, which is always exciting. <laughs> the best content. It's the dueling race. Yep. And I think Beaver caught up a little bit already. Yeah, they have, yeah. So they're, they're, on, they're on the same match. Oh, and Luzak got a dodger, and that's how quickly it shifts. And now <laughs> Beaver is in the lead. Again, doesn't have to mean anything. There's a lot of duels left, and the annoying ones are coming up. And now Beaver got a dodger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and Luzak as well. <laughs> oh, never mind. Great. Can't wait to see Peter to start blocking on both of them, so we just see a massive oh, ongoing duel. Oh, God, yeah, that's going to be good. Oh, wow, that was a nice fight for Beaver. Dang. Luzak does the strat where he stops the thing so they don't uh, move. No, not the greatest for Beaver. Luzak might be able to overtake here again. If he gets this one cycle. Oh, oh. Oh, oh no, he got it. Yeah. Last second he got it, and then he had a slightly longer load. So Beaver is still in the lead. Now, oh no, and this one's treating Beaver much nicer than Luzak. So it's a couple more seconds. I mean, it's really good that they're not racing for the 10 dual school. <laughs> yeah. It's like you say, it depends now what they choose to go and buy. Yeah. And Peter is being a pain. Oh, Beaver's Peter is done. Luzak's Peter way faster. Very nice for him. And so they even out a bit more again. 
What an exciting dueling race. <laughs> so now what do they decide? How much do they want to duel? For how long? Oh no, Luzak oh. got a dodge and Beaver is out. He's gonna buy some cards. And wow, that was a long Peter. I don't know how close Beaver is to Armor Sense. Maybe he's actually not that far away with those two. Maybe. Also, uh, Beaver's not going straight to buy cards here. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> Neither of them might, to be honest. Luzak will. Oh, and that is bad. That's bad. That, that's going to be a snipe. It's going to be a snipe for now, for the moment, oh, but that means... Oh, Luzak gets the uh, armor stand. Oh, true. That's good. Uh, but for him, it means he can't go back to Goyle because he's going to buy the bronze cards now from Goyle. He can't do that goal. Like, oh, in, yeah. like in one of the previous matches against Flo, he's going to lock himself out of that, basically. Um, which is... I mean... <laughs> Not great, I would say. At least I'm pretty sure he's buying the Goy cards. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, he definitely bought four, four cards. What is oh. he going now? Yeah, that's a good question. Is he, is, is he going to Goyle because he's, he's actually a bit nervous about it? Oh, he goes back to no. dueling. No, he wants to, he wants to buy the broom. Oh, no. No, okay. Maybe it's Goyle. Maybe Bicorn? I hope Bicorn, because Goyle, again, I don't know. Yeah, he could have just left them on the floor and then it would have actually been fine. And Beaver bought the Nimbus, so now Luzak should probably check the cards off just in case. And he does go to Bicorn, which I think is a good decision because, again, I don't know if he can even still do Goyle. Uh, but I'm surprised. I mean, he might mark it in a couple of seconds. He might make Beaver duel more and then mark it. Yeah, that would make, make make a bit of sense. Yeah. He, d he definitely needs the buy before bronze goal, though. He needs to claim that. Oh, he does. There we go. He marked it. Another jewel won't end. For yeah, another Peter being a pain. Classic Peter. Okay, so where does Liam go from here? Hmm. If he goes by corner, that's going to be interesting. I don't. Th hmm. I mean, complete by corner is the faster goal. Which means he might go to Goyle. I mean, he's getting the silver card first. I think he's going by corn. Yeah, he is. Yeah, this that's... Could be, this, could, this could be big. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate for him. <laughs> what? I mean... It really depends on the snipes again, if Luzak does decide to mark it, or if he's, like, in the chamber one weeks too long. I don't know. Probably not going to be Beaver's goal, but who knows, with uh, the late marking we had so far. Yeah, I'll say, we're up deciding to mark things late, but it's like, right now he has to assume that Liam's either in Bicorn or Goyle. Yeah. Because he, he wouldn't go Chamber just to defeat the, defeat the Basilisk, and 
uh, it'd probably save the uh, Harry Potter card for last. So. I mean, he's not marking it straight away. <laughs> <laughs> so that's I don't know if that's a good or a bad sign for Beaver because either it means he's gonna spend oh never mind oh, we don't have to speculate anymore it. there he goes that's just another snipe there so it's 11 to 11 now but don't forget we're not sure if Luzak can go goal and clearly nor does he yeah he, he it's I kind of like that though at least he knows this time that there might be a problem with his goal and he does leave so he needs the other two golds, basically. He cannot afford to lose either of them, or he might be locked out. Yeah. Uh, so he's gonna probably start with... I don't know if he has how many silver cards he has, to be honest. Nor do I. Um... I, I guess we would have to check once he... Maybe he checks himself or something. Yeah, I'll say, if he, if he manages... To, it's like he's going chamber straight away, which... Mm -hmm. is probably the right move. Well, probably the only move he can make if he, has, if he hasn't got enough silvers. Ooh, Beaver is checking silvers. He might just duel and buy one? Is that his plan? I mean, that... He, I, he I don't hate well. it. Wait, no, but he has enough beans to buy one. What is he dueling for? Does he need more than one? I don't think so. I don't. I don't understand what he's dueling for. Yeah, I'm really confused. I thought he's one off of the 20, but maybe it was just I saw that wrong when it flashed fla flashed up. I mean, he has That's to be further go, away yeah. then, so. But it is it is giving Luzak time to get to the snake. Yeah, but even if he gets to the snake, he then would have to get enough silver cards to um, go into gold cards before Beaver does after dueling, which. Yeah. Unlikely, yeah. I think it will be kind of tough in the time he has. I don't think he can, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. No, and then it comes down to basically um, Liam just has a free reign at Goyle. Yeah, basically. I mean, I guess Luza can, after he's done the chamber, he could restart his game. Good. And then maybe watching the intro is like, what, one and a half minutes? He, he might actually... Wait, that might actually work. Gold cards is kind of long, and then Beaver has to go to Goyle as well. But then the other question is, does he realize that? So. I don't know what he was signaling with his hands. Eight? <laughs> Yeah, Luzak definitely was in Goyle. He, he warped out of it earlier, which is why I believe he bought one from there, but we'll see. And a, and a death in chamber as well. Mm, that does not help his cause. And Basilisk is just so, so slow. Your purchase will make you the envy of your friends, Harry. Okay, I think Liam's getting his... Is this his last silver? Yep, looks like it. Yep. So that's gonna open up the ticket into gold cards. Uh, which I assume he's gonna go to, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, it looks I, like it. It makes the most sense. There's no right, way yeah. he goes to chamber or something. Even though he probably wants to go like gold cards into chamber. Man, if Luzak would have not... I mean, again, I don't know if he is soft locked out of the thing, but if he isn't, then... I mean, he wins this, right? But if he is, then I don't think he wins it. Yeah, I'd say... Oh, so yeah, true. Beaver might have bought a goil card as well on accident. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Well, if they're both soft locked, it's going to be, right, press new game. And race. <laughs> oh, and then it's actually good for Luzak. We might go. We might go into a match four here. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. It's possible that this actually goes goes on longer. I really don't know. I guess it depends. 
Uh, Beaver need Beaver's on. They're both on eleven. They both need two more golds on th of this board, and they're both gonna yeah. claim one each. Yeah, the the all six wizard cards in Goyle is going to be the decider. This is gonna be very interesting. I wonder what they decide though. Like if they if either of them notices and actually like reloads the client. And yeah, if lose like delays. Oh my god, this might actually. He does delay the Basilisk by the looks of it. Is he, he's not restarting his client though, so I think he's just gonna go straight to Goyle and I guess we'll find out if if he can get all the cards or not. <laughs> if he can, this is gonna be interesting. I, I don't... I mean, yeah, he's gonna try, which I guess makes sense before reloading. This has got very exciting with that. <laughs> yeah. I won't I lie. I kind of hope he can get all the cards. Same, but, same, yeah. But I'm also like, I just don't know, because he bought four bronzes. Okay, now he marked the Basilisk, which means Beaver knows he... Yeah, he thinks he's lost, because he thinks, yeah, Luzak's going to Goyle, and that's it. But I'm not sure if he, if he has. We're about to find out. So the first card here is a bronze. Will it be there? Oh, it is there. That's good. That's that's oh. actually really good. Losing might yeah. just have this. I mean, who knows? I, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Like every chest that opens like comes with that moment of, <gasps> yeah. is it going to be there? Oh, I didn't get this one either in the first playthrough. Oh, no. He did, that, this one he got in the first oh. playthrough, though. Oh, he did. He did. Yeah. He yeah. Did. Which, I guess, to be fair, makes the rules even more confusing. Yeah. I think it's a good idea to have a possible revision on that, but for now, that is the rules if you buy them. It doesn't count. But yeah, that one he got during maybe, his first maybe, playthrough. Maybe for next year we can review that and see yeah, if we change yeah. it. I agree. Okay, the next bronze card. Will yeah. the bronze card come flying down? <laughs> it's the, the lady where they made a mistake on the card. Because the card says she only got like 16 years old or something and she looks like a grandma so he get, gets it so it's there i think there's two more bronze cards in here beaver marks the harry potter wizard card luzak thinks he's won but yeah, yeah we I, don't know yet <laughs> i'm we not sure know. he might we be very know. close to achieving his goal of i mean here's the bronzes the bronzes are here he is he seems very he seems Safe. happy. Yeah. If that face changes. <laughs> oh god, I really hope it's not gonna be the heartbreak. Come on. He's doing this from the top. Always cool to see. He did it wrong though. That's <laughs> not that yep. cool to see. Yeah, that was his goal to win a game over Beaver. So he's close to actually fulfilling that. Fulfilling the prophecy. It's a card. That's good. That's card. Okay, I think. I, okay. Yeah, one more. Unless he's got super unlucky and he's only bought one. That is a card. He's good. It's a card. He's got all the cards. He's got all the bronze cards. Then the silver card is definitely able to get. So. Yep. That he didn't buy any. So yeah. Ladies that is a GG loser. History. Beaver's undefeated streak is Ooh. over. It is over. It's ended. I honestly didn't expect that, given how this match went. I mean, Beaver did get sniped again, so. For any wrestling fans, I put this on par with the Undertaker's streak ending at WrestleMania. <laughs> at the very least. Yeah, I'm really curious if Beaver would have had all silver cards. Like, we'll we'll make him check before we get into the last round. Mm. Yeah, crazy, crazy finish. Uh, the Well, potentially last round. The next round is what I meant to say. And there goes Luzak, and there he claims it, is, it and that, that is it. That is bingo. Dang. It's what a match. The streak has ended. Yeah. It is officially over. Beaver has lost in a bingo tournament match. So GG is like Seven snipes. Oh, man. We were so nervous when you went into Goyle. We were thinking, oh my god, please don't tell me the bronzes are not going to be there. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. Uh, did he already this, go in before? This is fun, funny. And very ironic. I think I won only because I forgot the first card in Goyle. 
and I was entering it for the first time. If I didn't forget to do the gnome in Spongify, I would have won. If I didn't forget to do a bunch of things, I would have won. Yeah, I think it won. I mean, you got sniped yeah. pretty hard again as well, so... Still, another crazy match. Yeah, <laughs> another really close three, one. Three games and th three insanely close games. Oh, cool. Oh, so Never mind. Oh, Never mind. Oh, oh you Never you mind. Oh. Wasn't there. <laughs> we thought so. We <laughs> it thought didn't so. Even matter. Yeah, no, we it thought you bought it. Liam was, it, it, it was Actually, so blocked. I did. I was buying for bronzes, so I was kind of lucky it wasn't gold. Yeah, yeah we I, also thought we you were, were soft locked, yeah. <laughs> actually. So if that would happen, that, then it's a tie. No, yeah. no, you can restart your uh, game. Yeah, yeah. Like, it would have ended up being that both of you would have done it as well. I had to watch the intro Wait, again. Can yeah. you restart the game and. Yeah, the yeah you can do a new game, yeah. Oh. So if you then lock I yourself out of something, you have to a new game, yeah. Uh, wow, that was crazy though. <laughs> uh, I mean, that is the two on one. So Luzak is back in this match. The start of the reverse sweep, potentially. I mean, yeah. if you can take one game, you can take three. So oh, we'll see where this goes. We're in for a long one. We're in for match number four of the grand final. I'm happy about that though, at least. It wasn't the sweep and who knows? Maybe it's gonna be a reverse sweep. Very curious to see. We'll start round number four in three. Two, one, bingo. Good luck. Bingo. Good luck. All right, back at it again. What do we have on the board? A lot of secrets. Oh yeah, that is a lot of, a lot of tens I see at first glance. <laughs> yes. So we've got all Boomslang secrets, all Defindo secrets, all Goyle secrets, all Chamber secrets, and all Victor Semper secrets. And then the challenge stars, are in none of those. It's in Scourge and Spongify. <laughs> and hmm. also there's Chamber Jumpless as well, so you're yeah. gonna have to do Chamber twice. Yeah, because Chamber Secrets and Chamber Jumpless just doesn't work out. But yeah, at no. least no gold card challenge, so they don't have to collect silver cards, only buy three. 27 bronze and 21 bronze, that's actually interesting. Yeah. That's, that's a cool a, that's board. Oh, there's also the Basilisk. Chamber actually for once having triple golds. That's uh, yeah. rare. Uh, clip eight gnomes out of bounds, which is not too bad. Go with mm -hmm. the fireplace in Goyal. We'll go with the goal secrets. Uh, also, there are buy three bronze and buy three silver. Yeah. That's going to be interesting. What else have we got? Uh, Boomslang Secrets goes with four chocolate frogs in Boomslang. Actually, not that much for people to track it. No, that's true. At least the tracker, the counters can take it a bit more chill during this round. I mean, there's challenge stars, I guess. I really like this board. This is a lot of synergy. It's kind of nice. It's a good, yeah. like, good one for the round four. A good potential final board, but we'll see yeah. how it plays out. We'll see how it goes, yeah. So you got, you got 17 unique gargoyles, but if you're going goyled, you get 10 of them. So. Yeah, very true. Oh, it's, oh, it's by Quidditch armor as well. There's three by goals. <laughs> yeah, dueling strong. It's actually yeah. nice that the gargoyles are back on the board because the one time today they've been on the board, we had to reset it. So, <coughs> so there's that. Yeah, and I mean the, the challenge stars aren't too bad because there's only 21 total, but you need to get yeah. 10 in Scourge, 10 in Spongify, 10 and 7 in Retisambra. Oh yeah, yeah, you're gonna be more than fine if you just do the golds. Yeah. I, I imagine someone starts duels first. I, we've never seen that. Actually, we have seen that in, I think, previous tournaments. The issue is you don't have the 10 beans you need as an entrance fee. Yeah. So you have to grind those first. Yeah, neither does that. Beaver goes for cards. And Luzak goes for... Scourge? No. Chamber, maybe? Maybe Chamber. No way. A Chamber start would be insane as well. Are they both going there? No way. There's nowhere else to go, is there? No, I are mean, they, are, are they gonna are they gonna race for gnomes <laughs> and then chamber? 
I mean, I guess it's a good start. You have gnomes and then two chamber golds, but... Oh, no, Luzak's going for all the beans, I think, on Lockhart's balcony. Yeah, might as well combine that. And it looks like Luzak doesn't really think they're racing it, though, I feel like. Because he's getting cards and everything, so he probably doesn't assume Beaver went here. Because it is a, it's an odd starting point. It really is. So is he gonna mark it? No. Yeah, he, do, he does not assume it is a race, which might be a problem for him if he goes for the gnomes as well. But then the same thing, like, Beaver could think the same, but then they're not racing or anything, so he might hold off on the gnomes. I don't know how many gnomes that is, but he must be close. <laughs> Yep, that's oh, he 12. Got, he, went, he went for it. And now Luzak knows, and he might go to the chamber now to snipe Beaver. Oh my god. That's just the power of having the information of your opponent marking. Wait, but... Oh, wait, what? What is he, what is he doing? He, huh? He must know that Beaver is clipping the gnomes right now. This is a really strange decision. Yeah? I mean, he's just firing away. <laughs> Or did he not notice it was claimed? No, he must have seen it. I saw him. I saw him look at the board. Yeah. Maybe he just thinks he's better at Beaver doing it. And to be fair, Beaver is struggling right now. So, what is he doing? What is it? What, what is going on? Did the board not refresh for him? <laughs> I mean, he must be trying to clip them, right? No, he's leaving now. I'm very surprised, confused. He, he might have just yeah. not seen it. Hmm. I'm curious to ask about that, yeah. Yeah, I'm really curious what he says about that. I mean, he finally goes to chamber. Yeah, so, so at he's least doing there's the that. First, I think. He just jumped, so. Yeah. <laughs> Again, it makes sense. Jumpless, I think, is the slower one, definitely, than all secrets. I mean, if you want to go to the best list, though, you might as well do it. You have to play the entire challenge, anyways. There goes the yeah. gnomes. Good decision for Luzak to not hang around, honestly. Yeah, I say he also he got uh, half of his spiders done. Yeah. And now we are in a chamber race. Mm, of course, but Beaver is doing jumpless, which is really good for him because this way he's at least not gonna get sniped. Wait, is he doing secrets as well? Maybe maybe getting that one while he's while he's gonna go through there anyway. Yeah, then... I guess. Yeah, that's maybe the idea that he he gets the secret for when he has to come back later, he can just like jump down. I mean, I don't know if I like that much, but oh, sure. Oh, died. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But I mean, they're not really, it looks like a chamber race, but the only goal they're contesting is Basilisk. And since Luz like not doing jumblers, he should be there like so much faster. Oh, the yeah, secrets are not that slow, so. And Beaver, because Beaver is not going to be able to get the secrets, it's it's not this one that he's at. Well, it goes the other way already because he can't get the one up top. Jumpless and all secrets does not synergize at all. One of the biggest anti-synergies in this game. Yep. Luzak has made it. No imps on the board as far as I can tell, so... Yeah, no. The, the only uh, enemy tracking is... Uh spiders outside of Aragog. Yeah. It's actually like, like it turns like, it's, if you're doing this board for a blackout, it'd be a terrible blackout board. <laughs> yeah, it would be. You have to play chamber twice, it's just horrible. Chamber twice, you have to go, you have to go literally everywhere. Yeah. I actually thought at first I like it as a blackout board because there's a good amount of synergies, but no. No, just no. Yeah. <laughs> And you got a jewel, you gotta buy everything. Yeah, oh god. It's, you need it's... 27 bronze with the cards. Well, at least you don't have to go to the gold card challenge, I guess. That's the one benefit. True. We take those. Okay, Lozak is almost at the end. 
Uh, Beaver actually not too far behind, considering he's done everything jumpless. Kind of, uh, kind of a good chamber for him there. Yeah. I won't lie. Uh, Luzak does mark all secrets. Yeah. Although no. Beaver didn't notice, I don't think, because he, he just went in that secret. Yeah, but Beaver must know that all secrets jumpless is not happening, so he knows he yeah. at least gets the jumpless goal, and then probably, I doubt he's gonna fight the Basilisk, like he has to warp after that. Oh, he's casting at the secret, maybe he didn't notice. Huh. Keeps looking at the board though, so... Yeah. But yeah, essentially now it's 3-3, three to three, uh, but Luzak is gonna get the snake, so... Well, it's almost 3-3. Three to three. Luzak has the beans, beaver has jumbless chamber, but then Luzak is gonna get the basilisk, so uh, that's a pretty good start for him. Oh! <gasps> He's not getting the basilisk! Why are you... Why would you not do that, Luzak? Why? I, I'm... Well, he seems like he has an idea. Maybe it's a fake out? Maybe he thinks beaver is gonna warp anyway? But uh, still... I mean, I guess now he can enter the next level ahead of beaver. That may be, that may be the idea. Maybe, Maybe he just wants to snipe him on the next level. That's, that would be five hat to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. Another thing to ask him about, to be honest. Oh my god, and Beaver dies at the, at the <laughs> swing. Is there a quid? Oh, there is the Quidditch goal. Yeah, that's probably what he wants then. He wants to pick that up because otherwise Beaver is going to get that at the end of the chamber. Oh, because it, 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 is Beaver going to immediately... Uh, oh. Whoop, oh no. Oh my god, Beaver does the reverse five hat. I think he's thinking about it. Yeah, he's, he's going yeah. for it. He will do the snake. He will kill it. I don't know what drives him to do that. Like, that's actually insane. But I guess... Because Luzak hasn't marked it yet, and it's been a while since he marked the secrets. Maybe he feels conf comfortable? Well, yeah, because you, you think that if he's marking all chamber secrets, he's not going to hold back on marking Bastard, because it's a bit obvious. Yeah. Yeah, Beaver, he doesn't seem very convinced with this decision, but... No, he's still glancing at the board every now and again, thinking yeah. what do I do? Luzak now also thinking very deeply. And he looks like he's on his way to get some cards, go to Boomslang, pick up the secrets and the frogs. I mean, two very quick olds, so I yeah. support that Boom. decision. Boomslang is always a nice uh, level to enter. Yeah. Okay, Beaver's done with the Basilisk. Is he gonna mark it? Yeah, he has to, right? Surely, yeah. Uh, no? Is he also going for the Quidditch one? Is it? Oh no, he does. There you go. Nah. Oh no. No, no. Oh no, lose that mark, the Quidditch one. I I assume he doesn't want to give Luzak intel right now, to be honest. I mean, he knows that Luzak's probably not going to go back to chamber anytime soon. Oh, he does. There you go. He okay. marked it. Yeah, I think that makes more sense. I would have been yeah. very confused if he'd never marked that, but... No, well, more I info mean, to Luzak. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I mean, Luzak probably works out anyway because of the... Uh, True. The gnomes goals being marked. True that, yeah. But now the question is, does Beaver go Boomslang? He really shouldn't, and I think he knows he shouldn't. Yeah, it looks like he doesn't go there. Yeah, and not part of Luzak's plan, probably, that Beaver continued to do Chamber. I don't think he intended that. I thought he... I think he thought, as, as I did too, that Beaver would teleport out. Or warp out. So they're both picking up... Oh, well, Beaver's picking up some carts. Oh. Luzak, you need the frog. There we go. No. Oh, yeah, no, he realized. <laughs> yeah. Good thing you failed that boost. Yeah. Yeah, you need all four frogs. Yep. Where's, where is Beaver going to go from here? Spongify, maybe? Mm, yeah, I think so. No? Yeah, yeah, okay, no, he does. Uh, which is the 10 challenge stars. It's good progress towards the 21. Uh, there's spiders in here. I don't know what he's on right now, if he can get enough. He might actually be able to. And obviously, if you want cards, Spongify is always a good level for you. Yeah. Um, I think he's on 5, because he got the ones in chamber. Yeah, I think you're correct. Which sadly means he cannot quite get it, right? It's so only three uh, in there's, here? There's three... Uh, there's five. No, there is five. Is there five? There's two at the there's, elevator, one after? There's two by the spider secret. There's one 
on top of the web, and there's yeah. two in the peeves area. Oh, I always forget about those because you never ever go there. Yeah. But yeah, good point. He might actually, I think that's probably his plan. That's very five head. That's good routing. Yeah. I like it. Oh my god, and look where Luzak is, and he might oh. get reverse sniped here for once. And it's again Spongify. <laughs> it's the, yeah. This last match he also entered that second, and he also failed that boost, so history repeats itself. And it's worth mentioning that Luzak also got the spiders in Jambo, so... Mm -hmm. that's not, uh, he's struggling with this boost a little bit here. I think he... does he want to die now? No. Going for it again, auto boost, and there he goes, gets it now finally, but his health uh, did not like that. Nope, it's a little bit dicey. Oh, I thought he would die because he missed the upper latch. And now he goes for the secret anyways? I'm a bit confused by that. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's a unique gargoyle, but... Huh. Yeah, it's probably not one worth going for, though. Not really. I mean, it would have been if he would have used it for the secret, but he did the boost three times, so... I don't know. Well, I guess we'll see how this plays out. I mean, yeah. Beaver is definitely going to get the stars first. There's absolutely no way he's losing that one. Yeah, maybe it's, maybe he did it so he didn't have to fight the imps here. Because he can carry the Lumos. Oh, yeah, that would be smart. Oh yeah, that's probably why. Yeah, but then he still shouldn't have done the boost, honestly. Yeah, I say if you're gonna, if you're gonna do it, just just do the secret first. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Beaver killing those two spiders. I assume he's gonna go around here, like you said, to finish off the ten. So that's the potential double snipe against Luzak, which yeah. Well, now oh, he knows well, how that feels, but that's gonna uh, be tough. Pixies kind of ambushed him and like just lying on top of their heads. <laughs> yeah, Beaver is going around here. Gets the spiders. He did get the ingredients as well, but there isn't a potion goal, is there? Mm, no, I was wondering as well. I guess while the door was opening, he had some free time, so just in case he needs potions or something. Yeah, true. Yeah, looks like yeah. sadly far away from the spiders, so Beaver is gonna pick this one up. That's it, that's 10. Is he gonna mark it? My mark it at the end? bit risky, but he should be fine regardless. Yeah, there he goes. Taps out real quick. Oh, Luzak. Doesn't, mar <laughs> doesn't mark the um, Spongify ones, though. Yeah, I'm surprised by that. That might come back to hurt him. Or he's trying to find it. I do like how Boomslang, uh, how Boomslang, how Luzak instantly marked Boomslang after he saw the spider goal, because he thought, okay, if he got spiders, then maybe he's in Boomslang. So, I like that. That was a good, a good Potential snipe, but now he's questioning is Beaver in Spongify. You can you can yeah. see it in his face. Yeah. He is not sure if he should continue with this. He's really not sure. Oh, <gasps> oh no. That's a big death. Yeah, it's big. That's very big. And Beaver's in uh... coil. Okay, goal makes sense. You can finish yeah. up the gargoyles, get all the yeah. secrets, go up the fireplace. It makes so much sense, actually. And you get some yeah. cards as well. This is a really, really good uh, synergy. He's checking his cards. But when does he mark Spongify? That's a good question. I mean, it's not too much left until Luzak is there. Because Luzak could very easily just mark it as soon as he picks up the last star. I think he will because he doesn't know where Beaver is. Like he was, I'm pretty sure he was questioning if he might have gone to Spongify. And this is the last star, so yeah, he's still questioning it. Yeah, <laughs> yep, ah, there, there he is. goes. He read that perfectly. Whew. So that so. Leo, so that means obviously Le Liam didn't get much from Spongify apart from spiders now. Yep. So. That is a big time sink. Yeah. I mean, he got some gargoyles, and Luzak wasted time on gargoyles, so he, with Goyle, he should snipe that, even though this one's giving him a very hard time. <laughs> now he jumps down finally. I didn't even know you there could you do that, Fine, to be honest. Finally gets it there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> did he go up the fireplace? Oh, yeah, he already marked it. He okay, did, yeah. Good, yeah. He did, yeah. good, good. good. 
And uh, oh, with... forgets the secret there. <laughs> that would have been really sad. Oh yeah, Gaia's secret. I thought it's just complete, so definitely neither that one. Uh, now Luzak. I mean, the Goyle synergy is obvious, but Beaver has claimed the fireplace, so Luzak is obviously not gonna go there. So instead, he chooses Scourge to finish off the 21 stars and get the 10 stars in here, and I guess get yep. some cards. That would make sense, yeah. Even though Rictus Sempra technically has two synergies, and he could also get cards and finish off his stars, so... I probably would have chosen that personally, but I guess both are fine. Yeah. So has a good amount of golds that Luzak is about to pick up, but kind of the same for Beaver with um, the two that he has. Oh no, not if he dies though. Oh no, yep, he needs to get the gargoyle again. Yep, and he will. Yeah, that boost, that, that room can be really tricky with the boost. There's some really BS ones. Luzak may decide to go to Rita Semper straight after Scourge, because he knows that Beaver's in Goyle. Yeah, I think so too. I think there's a good chance he will. Yeah. Because then he could, because then he's got what? One, two, three, got four goals he could claim with that. And I mean, if he gets Scourge, the Challenge Stars, and the two things in Rictu, I mean, that will put him to 10, which is in striking distance of, yeah. of winning this. And I don't know how far away he's on Gargoyles. Imagine he snipes that somehow in Scourge. Yeah. I, I doubt the it. On, the only danger of Rictus Emperor is if he gets a Hess. Oh, yeah, that's true. Gotta be careful about that. I don't know how close he is to that either. But I don't think he's, getting, he's, I don't think he's picking up cards here. Mm, I saw him pick up a good bit. So he's, I mean, I don't know. I also don't know how far away they are from 21 bronze cards. <laughs> also, that snail push, yeah, that didn't really do much because he, it's not a star, it's not a bronze card. Getting this star, not forgetting any. The good thing about Scourge is that no star is really slow. So even if you get 10, it's kind of not a problem. Yeah. Uh-oh. Luzak? Oh, he's gonna go... No, okay, you realized. Good. Yeah. I was about to say, <laughs> he cannot walk past that one. He's not really gonna go back. Beaver is now done with Goyle. Has to pick up the last secret. I would be really curious to know how many gargoyles he's on. It's gotta be close to being done now, right? I would assume so. I mean, he got 10 in, in Goyle right now, so... Oh, 15, okay. Just gonna pick up two somewhere on his way, I guess. <laughs> Wherever he decides to go next. Uh, where does he decide to go next? What is this? Hospital uh, wing? No. Hospital wing, maybe? Well, he used the wrong spawn revital for that, but I guess so. So there is a gargoyle in there, and there are silver cards, but it's not two gargoyles. Hmm. Potential unmark coming if he is miscounted? I mean, I assume, I assume he knows. He didn't mark it yet, so he probably... Oh, he didn't oh, no, mark he it. Did. Are we sure he's not? Has he been anywhere else? He got, he got some in Spongefire Wait, as well, he's been he's he? been in... No. Hmm. He's been in Chamber, so he got one there, probably. Did he, get, did he get both of them in the end? Did he get the one in the secret? I... Th he, I, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if he got one there at least. If anyone can check his chamber. He got one in chamber? Okay. Okay, yeah, we're, we're fine then. Okay, yeah. then, then we're good. Awesome. See, we got this together. We count those goals properly. Then we're more than fine. Mm, so that's a bit of a snipe. Luzak has invested a good amount of time into Gargoyles, especially in Spongify. So he probably isn't happy to see that. <laughs> oh wow, that's actually kind of cool using that Spongify tile to get all the way down. <laughs> yeah, that's quite interesting. Yeah. I've, I've never seen anyone do that. Only Bingo thinks. It's the beauty of Bingo. Yep, you see new stuff every day, basically. Bronze cards can be really important here. Um, because there's still two bronze card golds up, and I guess buying three is also up. I'm curious yeah. when they start dueling, because it's still pretty good. Luzak might yeah, be on his way. He 
might go dueling now, yeah. No, he goes Rick too. <laughs> ah, okay. That's, that's smart, to be fair, I think. It is, Cause, it is. Because Challenge Stars are on offer, and he could have finished the, the Rick 2 goals. And I think, is this where Beaver's going to go as well? Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if Beaver does, but he might also just go dueling. Yeah, he doesn't know. He's not happy with it. He is not happy with it at all, and he has good reason not to be. But for once, he's actually not, like, that far behind. I say, it's only one room. I think you might have been correct earlier, though. I think Luzak has started picking a bronze card, or did he get the one in the first room? I don't feel like he did. No, I don't think so. Well, that's interesting. He maybe has given up on the card goals, just gives them to Beaver and tries to pick up the rest. Or maybe he did get it and I'm just blind and was focusing on the other player. <laughs> Apparently that is the case. Fair enough. That makes more sense as well. Just giving up on those, I think it's kind of... would be a bit weird. Oh, Beaver getting trolled on the... <laughs> on the snail pit. Still getting yeah. the wrong ledge grab. I don't know how this stupid pit works. Still getting the long, wrong ledge grab. Still getting the wrong ledge grab. Wait, how is... Yeah, that makes no sense. I don't really know. Sometimes you get medium, sometimes you get long. It just... Oh, wow, nice snipe from the crab as well. Yep. It's a weird latch. Also worth keeping an eye out for any Hesses. Uh, mm -hmm. If they do pick up a card and they get a Hess in with December, it it kind of soft locks you a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. I mean, it's a fixable one if you just enter a cutscene, but... If there's one nearby, that's true. Uh, but let's see. Well, if, if Luzak actually manages to snipe this and if he doesn't delay it too long... He would be on 10, right? And Beaver would only be on 8, still stuck on those, but with two bronze card goals in reach. But Luzak is also actually close. He's on 19 bronze cards. Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, he might actually get that. He's, like, quite far ahead in Rick to Zemper now, and I don't really feel like Beaver is catching up anytime soon, as long as he doesn't fail Chasm somehow. Like, Rick to Zemper is a very easy level at least like in bingo it's hard to it go is. optimal in it in an actual run but just like completing it is free wait luzax oh. he's thinking about the bronze card he like he can't pick this one here he's marked 21 challenge stars yeah he can yeah. pick up the next bronze card though because the cutscene in the last room will give him give him his spells back now the big question is what does beaver stay in here for for the bronze card probably and Luzak is on 21. There's no more bronze cards in this level. Oh no, Beaver's still going for the secrets. I don't know why he thinks he can snipe that. I mean... Maybe he thinks Luzak didn't go for it or something? Maybe. Maybe he thinks that Luzak just went for the stars. Must be something like that. Which we know he didn't and he's gonna mark that very soon. Because he's you marked the other rig to go, so I assume he will. Yep, instantly, instantly instant, there. Instant, instant mark, yeah. I mean, Beaver still gets bronze cards out of it, but now it's ten to eight, and and Luzak is one card away from taking the bronze cards. Oh my god! If this goes the full length, then I I'm dead tomorrow. But Wow. Okay, yeah, Beaver goes to Jewel. I think yeah, that, that's a sensible decision. But here's bronze card number 21 for Luzak. Yep, that's the that's the next goal, and Beaver is not happy to see that. Yep, mm -mm. <laughs> not at all. Oh my God, this this could be this could get to like a very exciting decider though. I don't I don't. Yeah, I, I yeah because. Like, Lose that only needs six more bronzes, and he can get a lot of that while doing Defindo secrets. Yeah. <laughs> so 
So he's got one. How many bronze cards are in Defender? I mean, I don't really know, to be honest, but I'm, I'm four, maybe? Find out. I, I think four. Yeah, I think it's four. So he needs the four. He can get the four in here, then one more. And mm -hmm. then he's got he's got twenty seven bronze cards. Yeah, that sounds about right. So Luzak Luzak might force Viva into like match number five here, which is just insane. <laughs> what yeah. the hell? Yeah, the the undefeated streak is well and truly over. Jesus Christ. I mean, that, that's. I honestly, I won't lie. I expected Luzak to put up a fight, but I didn't think he would go like this far. No. That's uh, that's really imp impressive. I mean, Beaver is gonna duel. He's gonna get three golds with that, but it puts him to eleven. It's it's not even it's not even that close. <laughs> so yeah, he got sniped see, a I, couple I, of times. Can I see over jewels and buys enough bronzes to get to twenty-seven? Oh, I don't. I mean, maybe he could potentially do that. That would be smart, I like that actually, to snipe the bronze cards away somehow. I don't know how far away he is, he doesn't even have the second health bar yet. But it, it's probably the only way he comes back. Yeah. And yeah, can he even buy that many? That's another question, because has he been too much? Uh, he, he's collected cards everywhere he went, I think, so... Yeah, he went to Goyle, so he got cards there, I think. Yeah. Uh, he went to Chamber. Obviously, there's only one card in there anyway, so you probably can get that one. Yeah, he's... He hasn't really been anywhere to, un to be able to buy them, has he? I can't recall right now if he's been anywhere else. No, I don't think so. Like, he, I don't think he can buy many. Like, maybe three, four bronze cards. Maybe five, but I don't think he can get to 27. Like, wow. And maybe, maybe he can snipe it. Um, yeah, maybe. We'll see. I'd say it'd be, be good to get for him, because then he, obviously he'd get uh, one, two, you get four of the goals. Yeah. And then it becomes a bike horn race. <laughs> yeah. Which nobody wants a bike horn race, so. Yeah. We've already seen that once with Flo and Katasha. That was a pretty exciting one, though, to be fair. I did like that yeah, one. Yeah, it was good. Oh. Looks like with a bit of damage, but thankfully he has three health bars. Beaver is now buying the armor. Is, is he gonna mark that? He probably shouldn't, right? Ah, but it's so hard oh. if you're so far behind. Yeah, he does. Yeah. I mean, at least he does... Um, Lock out the golds for Luzak, basically. Like, Luzak's not gonna go dueling because he knows Beaver could buy anything at any point. I, but I think that means Beaver should also stop buying things. I mean, I guess he's gonna buy bronze cards, like we said. Yeah, he needs to, he need, he needs to get to 27 bronze cards before Luzak, but that's mm -hmm. very difficult. Yeah. So he's bought two. Also, he probably doesn't have enough beans to buy... The more. Mm, I mean, I don't know what to put some on. He's definitely gonna oh, has. Oh, he's out. Yeah. So he could only buy. He could. He could only buy three. He's now on twenty. Well, Twenty-one. 21. And after he picks that one up, that's not enough at all. I mean, he gets the goal at least, but. Has he done the cards in grounds? Uh, I mean, even if he needs six, that's that's a lot. <laughs> it is. Oh, I don't has, think well, he has six left in the, the castle. One on the, the one on the ledge isn't there. Yeah. That's, uh, hmm. That's, I don't know what I would do in his position. I mean, he has to go into end one of the level. He has to assume Luzak gets the Findo and bronze. I mean, Luzak gets bronze cards, probably. There's nothing he can really do. But Bicorn yeah. has some bronze cards, so it helps him to catch up. Then there's one in Snape's classroom, so he would be on, I think, 26 after this, actually. Yeah, the problem he's got as well is uh, Luzak only needs one goal. So. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, he has to get bronze cards before Luzak, but he doesn't really have the means to right now. Ex no, I mean, he needs six, and there's what, three in my corner? 
What has Luzak decided? He goes, ah, oh, he goes to Bicorn. But it's not terrible for him. Even if he gets sniped, he gets the bronze cards, and I think he gets them done, right? Yeah, I think he's almost done with them. Yeah, he only needs, what, two at most? Oh, he goes to just collect bronze cards, apparently. He only needs one bronze? Oh, okay, then, well, that's... Well, that's gonna do it then. <laughs> what was he thinking about that long? <laughs> I guess maybe contingency plans in case something goes wrong and that's it. Marks that's it instantly. It. There we go, wow. it's 2-2. Two, two. I have no words for this. I have no words for this. Well, let's get them back in. Wow. I'm asking Beaver why he didn't claim the middle goal oh. and different Spongy Fighter and Stars. Well, I didn't think you would go there. <laughs> How did you get uh, spiders, man? I went there, I just didn't think you would go there. Oh, okay. Wait, did you get 10 stars or...? Of course. Yeah, that was another smi snipe, basically. Even though Beaver had it in the in the pocket. Um, that was that was an exciting match. I like the chamber sh stuff, Luzak. I liked your mind games there. Yeah, I was... I was 100% sure Beaver would defeat mm -hmm. the, uh, wouldn't be defeated by Basilisk and would warp out, yeah. but for some reason he did. <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's what I figured. Like, you wanted to outsmart him, basically. Is, did you call that, Beaver? Did you think he would do exactly that, or...? Yeah, he warped out. Yeah. And he just delayed the 250, I assume. Yeah, he did, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Did I you do was... beans before you went to chamber? Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. That's why you were faster on uh, gnomes in bathroom. Yeah, that's another yeah, interesting... Break and control I, in me, I man. know the cycles the from the bathroom, and the you go straight going. ahead when the glow just... Uh, the door just barely closes, or you take another, like, half a minute. So I took some bronzes and some beans, and it was perfect. So. What was the plan there, Luz, like, going for the gnomes after you saw the goal mark? Did you just want to clip them, or...? I wanted to click clip them for like a few seconds. Yeah. But then I decided, yeah, if he claimed it already, he's. I know Beaver it likes to do it uh, like very fast, like near the toilet. Yeah. So it's basically a few seconds for him. For me, it would be even a minute to clip eight gnomes. Uh, I wouldn't uh, beat him into it. Yeah, and I think that's honestly that was a good call. It was definitely. Um. He probably would have beat me based on my. Freaking gnomes. They did kind of troll you pretty hard, yeah. And, and then that ledge grabbing Rigtu? That sure. ledge grabbing Rigtu literally cost me a goal. I would have gotten there in time. <laughs> yeah. And he kept giving me a medium, like I seven was times sure in a row. Gold chamber secrets, but you went for jumpless. I, I, I went for a bowl. Yeah, you left your one. options open basically. Oh, okay, okay. Made, yeah, made sense. Okay. Gonna be very interesting to see. It's been a back and forth. Is Luzak gonna be able to do the reverse sweep, or is Beaver gonna take it on the last match and win the third bingo tournament in a row? Let's do the very final countdown. Uh, I give you the honors, Dino. Thank you very much. Right, let's get this last match underway. Yep. Three, two, one, bingo. Good luck, good luck, bingo. Good luck, good luck. From Can one this Harry Potter wizard bingo. card go away? <laughs> no, of course he's there. He's always there. <laughs> Jesus. You cannot escape um, the Harry Potter card. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> the first thing I saw on this board is there is triple Goyle sy synergy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there is complete Goyle, go up the fireplace and cast the eight different gargoyles in Goyle. Okay, we might have a situation here that one of them goes for complete Goyle and... Uh, and the, uh, what's it called, fireplace, and the other person goes for gargoyles or something? Yeah. Like we've possible. seen earlier in a match. Also, um, may I bring your attention to column five, row one. Oh, God. 31 bronze cards? I mean, at least there's That's 18 on the board, so it's not that terrible, but it's kind of terrible. <laughs> yeah. Like, that's actually mental how many that is. They like to give us the card goals. Harry Potter, the 18 cards, 21 total, 31 bronze. Phew. Yeah. It's another um, people cardboard. Yeah, what else have we got? 25 Spongify tiles. That's not too bad, actually. Uh, uh, not great either, though, I would yeah. say. <laughs> I've seen, I think it could be worse, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, we have five stars from each challenge is also really rough in a lockout. 
but you can combine it with the Scourge challenge stars, I guess. Yeah, there's not there's not a lot of spell challenge stuff there. No, six beans and chasm. There's an interesting board. Once again, I feel like we say that every time, but I mean they they have to start goal, right? There's no way they don't. Yeah, I mean a trip a trip a chance at a triple goal. I mean. Oh you yeah, there's Peeves. So. There's Peeves as well, so I guess if you don't want to race in Goyle, you might go for Scourge. Yeah, get your 10 challenge stars, defeat Peeves. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, you got, yeah we, got, we got all Defindo secrets, but yeah, as oh, we know, oof. Defindo is just long. Oof, oof, oof. Uh, there is Boom Slang as well, so we've got four chocolate frogs and cut all tentacular heads. Ooh. Actually, I mean, to be fair, you could do the route of Quidditch Gate, uh, Boom Slang, and then maybe Willow Forest or something. It's not off the table. No, very true. It's not um, terrible. 11 bow truckles as well. So, yeah, so another reason the to go there. That are there. Yep. Uh, you got, what, four in Boom Slang, uh, four in Goyle. I'm very uh, curious. For, for, forest is on there as well, so yeah. bow truckles is not going to be a problem. Okay, they're both going, da going downwards already. Oh no, they both no. don't want to race Goyle. Oh, <laughs> they're going for the Quidditch gate. Oh, but Luzak is going for Boom Slang. That's an interesting oh, start. Oh, interesting, yeah. So I, th I think Luzak must know that Liam's going to go for the Quidditch gate. He's like, yeah. okay, I'm going I'm yeah. to beat him to Boom Slang. Yeah, I have the feeling that Beaver probably expected Luzak to start in Goyle. But I mean, it's hard to tell, but I feel like it. We'll see when he marks it. I, I assume it's going to be an Insta mark. Yeah. Also, I think like you probably might go boom slang because then it spawns you in the entrance hall, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So you could go boom slang straight to Goyle. Oh yeah, that is smart. Looking what? Oh, that's what Luzak is planning. Yeah, he's nodding. Oh, no, his plan is his plan is working. Yes. That's exactly what he wants to do. I think. Looking what Beaver is doing, and then, yeah. well, do it faster, basically. Now, what does Beaver do? Does he assume that Luzak has gone Goyle? Oh, oh. Oh, he's going, is he going Defender? Is or is he, he going, going? No, he's, going, he's going for cards. He's going for the bronze card, surely. Yeah, surely. I will say, you, you, you do not start in Defender. <laughs> no, you do not do Defender secrets. That sounds awful to start yeah. with. Okay, Luzak is meanwhile cutting the hats off already. Not the smoothest, but he's getting there. He will grab the frog as well, because there's four frogs. Yep, I got a heart attack because he jumped. I thought Jumpless is on there, but no, it's just the frogs. <laughs> now, does Luzak assume that Beaver is going Boom Slang straight after Quidditch? I would think so. Like, I think he's going to mark it not long after he's gotten it. I think he has to assume that at this point. Yeah, he does need that frog. Okay, there we go. Actually, probably the longest combination of Boomsling Golds. Oh, Snipes the Pot. Is that even needed? Oh no, that was the ingredient, right? Yeah, that was the ingredient, yeah. Oh, but wow. I can't see any... Oh, Brewer Potion with a no. I didn't even know you can do that. There's also a unique Potion Cauldron, so... Uh, oh yeah, right in the bottom left, just hiding away. Yeah. It opens the chest for the card as well. That was a sick Snipe. Beaver in the meantime is going to Goyle, it seems like, which he's now settled on. He, it's really scary for him because he has no yeah. idea where Luzak is. Like, does does he assume that he's he's the only person here? But surely you must think with a triple synergy. Yeah. Also, Luzak, you did not pick up that that frog. Uh oh. You're absolutely correct. Oh no, not in the final match, Luzak. Oh no, I guess we're ready to unmark. Uh, I think he's going to claim them very soon. Yeah, so counters, please keep an eye on that because we'll have yeah. to unmark four chocolate frogs. He definitely did not get that one. That is rough. But the good news for Luz, I guess he's not doing what you initially thought going into Goyle. I think he's thinking about it, but it's just so scary. Like, you don't want to do that yeah, now. So it, surely he must think that with how good it is, that's where he is gone. Yeah. He gets the first potion cauldron and might just go into Scourge. Yeah, it, yeah. yeah, it makes sense. Oh, that's that's so annoying though at the start like that. Missing that frog, that's super rough. But oh well, he's in Scourge now, so who knows how it plays out. He's gonna get the peeves, the ten stars, and well, make some progress towards five from each. And the wizard cards, of course. 
Yes, with the cards, because 31 bronzes is actually insane. <laughs> Absolutely insanity, yeah. You do not want to see that ever on your goal, on your board. No. I mean, when you consider the fact there's only 50 in the entire game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, more than half. It's like, yeah, you got to get 31 out of 50 bronze cards. <laughs> I mean, if it comes down to it, that would be an interesting card collect collectathon. Yeah, I mean, the only good thing about the boomslang thing is if if he realizes uh, Delphi's forgot one, it's not like it's a slow goal to go and do. Yeah, like, that's true. He, he can quickly do it, but yeah, it's still not ideal in any way. No, no, I agree. Um, Luzak is now picking up the starts. It's actually interesting that Viva hasn't marked anything in goal yet. Hasn't marked the fireplace. Um, even though that is one that would easily be snappable if Luzak goes to Goyle. So now they're both playing mind games, which... Yeah. Oh boy. The masters of the mind games right here. Yeah, I mean, like... Luzak has to do it, because it works so well for him. Like, yeah. to, to not only win one match, but to win two against a, a very, very talented bingo player in Beaver. Oh, you yeah. Know, undefeated before this tournament. Yeah, it's crazy that this, this streak has broken. I, I actually yeah. didn't expect it, but nice. But yeah, I yeah, won't lie to you, I, I have a bit of a headache from all the bingoing, so I, I kind of can only imagine how Luzak must feel because he's been bingoing a lot as well, so... Yep, only the, only the nine matches today, you know? Yeah, yeah, it's been quite, it's been quite the marathon day for him. But he has finished Scourge. Does actually end it early, so he didn't get the five, that 10 stars, right? No, it doesn't he did. That's interesting. So he, okay. he got the 5 for the 5 in each spell challenge thingy. And then just left, I guess. He got Peeves, of course, but another Cauldron, also not terrible. He can finish those in the Grand Staircase if he really wants to. He ends on um, hospital wing. Good do yeah. Maybe he goes also, to chamber and ends on that one. <laughs> maybe, maybe, yeah. Oh, he doesn't get this cauldron. Luzak, what doing? And Beaver is actually already there, by the way, which... Oh, as long as he doesn't get trolled by the gnomes and the cycle is just not there. Oh, that's why he didn't get the, po the cauldron, I guess, because he didn't want to lose the cycle. Good for Luzak, actually really good that he missed that cycle, because at least he can now um, go for the cauldron and not for the gnomes, like he's not getting wasting time. But Beaver also stopped going for it. Oh, he just wants it for the potion. I'm stupid that yeah, the, yeah. the toilet isn't even on the board. Nope, just just brew a potion with a gnome. Yeah, he's gonna get that. I want. I wonder if he does it so he can dupe. I think he will. I think he's. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna still stay in the wall, stand next to the wall, so he's not losing the ingredients. There goes Brew a potion with a gnome. Luzak seems to have expected it, kind of. Um, what is he going now for now though? Are there beans on the balcony on the board? No. Uh, no. Is he just here for the cart? Uh, possibly it's a, it's a bronze card, so... Oh, and Beaver is racing him for the cauldrons now. He's also on two already. Has one more technically in this level that he could use, but probably goes to the Scourge one instead. And But Luzak will end here in Hospital Wing. And I think he's gonna be fast. I mean, Beaver needs two cauldrons. Uh, oh, does he need two? Yeah. He's only on two so far, so that's gonna be his third. Uh, Luzak marking the Peeves because he has no idea what Beaver is, which makes sense. And that is going to be the fourth. He should also instantly mark that. Yep, and there he does. goes. Yep. Not a goal that you hold. Beaver is on his way to his very last cauldron in the common room. So another snipe, <laughs> actually. Yeah, he'll still get the bronze card, though. So. Mm -hmm. And then the silver as well, for good measure. Luzak with a small yeah. failed boost. Yeah. Oh, he's already on 10. Okay, wow. That's a lot oh, of bronze yeah. cards. This time he does not want to lose the race. And 8 more is not that far away, actually. Skips the silver card down here, though. Interesting. Harry Potter not that appealing today. <laughs> I think we've all had enough of that card. <laughs> yeah, we did. 
can agree. Oh no. Oh no, what happened to Luzak? Did he resize his game? Yeah, yes, I, think, I he think he did. The speedrunner's worst nightmare. He full screen. Oh, he oh, full screen. That's even worse. Sorry, no time to I don't know if Beaver's gonna wait. Yeah, yes, good. I like the fair yeah. play. I mean, Luzak is gonna lose enough for that, to be honest. So we'll wait until he has his game back up. Oh, uh, wait. He's gonna have to do the whole of that grand staircase again. Yeah. And his game, I think, is still full screened. We got everything in this tournament. Yeah. So the cards got undone, and I guess the potion cauldrons have to as well then, right? Like, I don't know where this... There was no safe... Oh, that's so unfortunate. Oh, yeah. So we have to undo the, the potion cauldrons. Are they... Are they riding right now? I'm not sure what's going on. Do we want to drag them back in? Yeah, let's see what's happening. I think... Oh, hang on. Luzak's game's coming back on. Oh, okay. Okay, now we're good. Oh, and he's after Scourge. Oof. So we, we clear the cauldrons as well, right? Yeah, we should need to clear the cauldrons. Can you do that? I can't switch colors, really. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, thank you for getful. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's... Uh, I mean... I mean, the good news for him in a way is that... that the, there are no good news. Level, so he can <laughs> still go and get them again. True. I mean, to be fair, Beaver might say, you know what, go and get them anyway. Yeah, he might leave leave it to lose like now, but... What is happening for him? Is it still, still broken? That is a bit unfortunate to happen in the final match, I won't lie. That is... Uh, that's really rough. <laughs> I mean, that... Oh, and he lost the ingredients lost the ingredients now. this time. Okay, it's... Uh, I guess the ninth bingo match is too much. <laughs> yeah, so it's... Eight, eight was the limit. Yeah, it's a social experiment. How many bingo matches can one person take? Eight. Apparently the answer yeah. is eight. <laughs> is there even any mucus anywhere near here you can grab? Because otherwise no. you can't do the last cauldron. No, I don't think so. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I mean, at this point, yeah, I mean, nothing we can do, of course. That is really, that is rough. I mean, we'll see. Maybe he can find his way back. Who knows? Uh, he's also missing a card that he had earlier because he had, like, the 10th one on there last time. Oh yeah, he did, yeah. Where did, where, where did he get that head? Oh, it was like the, uh, was it the bottom of the Grand Staircase? Oh, I guess it's because of, um, he, he skipped the card in the ADA because... Oh, it's the ADA, wasn't it? There you got it, yeah. yeah. <sighs> that, that must have been like the worst spot to die in. That's just so rough. Yeah, it hadn't, hadn't been a load for a while. Yeah. Then the worst part was it happened as he was heading towards the load. <laughs> yeah. He was going to the exit of the Grand Staircase, which would have wouldn't have been as bad if it happened afterwards. Yeah, I'm not sure why he couldn't like get out of the full screen again. Because, I mean, you can do that. <laughs> you can. I, I think he just thought, you like, I'll quit the game and reload. But then he realized after he quit the game, oh, wait, I uh, haven't had a load for a while. Probably. Yeah, he could have gotten... I mean, the safe book is literally at the bottom of the staircase, so... Yeah could have gotten that but obviously I mean you don't really think about that when you're in a match he's going to chamber yeah. now oh he's not going to chamber never mind a beaver I mean what picks up another bean in the chasm Lizard could finish the 21 here still if he gets the one and charms but doesn't seem like he wants that one he's probably going for the one in DADA oh now beaver claims the 21 wizard gods uh, yeah <laughs> Yeah, Luzak is like one card off. Still gets it, but I mean, a bit late. At least he's close on... Is he close on bronze cards? I don't know. Like, this cost him like so much, it's kind of hard to tell. I don't think so anymore, because mm. he's just got the two health bars and he just picked up another bronze there. Oh wow, and he has, he has 
and the silver as well. But mm. silvers actually don't count for anything anymore. Well, there's the Harry Potter wizard card, I guess, oh, as Harry always. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah, that that card. I I tried to put that out of my mind. Yeah, it's 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 gonna be hard for Luza to come back to this, but sadly the rules are the rules. We cannot bend them. That would be thoroughly unfair. So it'd be like that. He's throwing some. Wait, he's just throwing the imp in. Is that? Oh, there's six imps yeah. on the board. Yeah. Six imps, actually a nice roll. Yeah, yeah. I mean, five is better, but it's not yeah. terrible. He can get that with Spongify and Forest only. So I assume that's his his strat here. And Beaver is in Defender. Is he actually doing the secrets? No, he's running past it. Um, yeah. What's what else is he doing? For? Also, Luzak is still holding on to the tentacular heads in Boomslang, by the way. Yeah, and the frogs that he probably thinks he has, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we need to remember to uh, unmark that when it comes up. I mean, so that's gonna be another kind of blow for him. Unfortunately, because he definitely did not collect that rock. I mean, at least he has that one that he's holding. <laughs> he's not hes not that far behind, but it's also not looking pretty. I mean, Beaver is no. sitting on the Gargoyles, by the way, on all of them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He has all the Gargoyles. So he's on seven, technically, so... Yeah, so it's seven to two right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, even if he would have gotten the potions and wizard cards, I mean, it would be seven to four. Yeah. Not like, wouldn't be that much better. Oh wow, those oh, pixies! Wow. <laughs> it really is I mean, going from bad to worse for Luzag right now. He also can grab the mucus at the end of Spongify to yeah get the potion cauldrons done again. But oh my god! Oh wow, when he missed, I I have done that many times where I've yep. got to jump on the Spongify tile. Yep. Oh my god, that was a scary runoff. Is is he? Yeah, he's going for it. He forgot to open the secret though, but that makes sense. I think that's smart. Oh, he's going here first. What even is there in Spongify? I haven't even paid attention. Spongify tiles, I guess. Well, the Spongify tiles, yeah, so... Yeah. And he gets the potion ingredients. He uh, gets some stars, of course. Oh yeah, he needs five stars in every every spell challenge. I think he's yeah. already on five in here, I right? I think so too. So it's not a big deal that he missed that platform. <laughs> Doesn't need the secret here, nor the spiders, but he gets... Oh, yeah, I guess it's the tile, so might as well. Kind of hard to track what he's on after that reset as well in the Great uh, yeah. Grand Staircase. Uh, Beaver is actually getting some cards in Defendo. Interesting that he chose to play it. Is that a goal? No. But he definitely didn't get all the secrets. He, that's for sure. So I guess he's just getting quick bronze cards, which makes sense, because, I mean, 18 is on the board, and he must yeah. be close at this point. And he did Luzak get... Grab, Luzak grabbing that mucus was mm. very interesting. That is interesting. I wonder why he went for that. Oh, Beaver now marking the Gargoyles. Makes it seem like he's just been in there. Which uh, was a big lie, of course. Like thinking about that bronze card, it is a pretty decent one, but uh, decides not to grab it in the end. Yeah, surprising given he'd already broken the web. Yeah. So where else is he going? He's going down now. Getting some more sponge avatars. He must be close on. Oh no, never mind. He must still be close on that. He can finish the potions thing, but Beaver can as well here at Hagrid, I think, if he decides uh, to go yeah. for it. It's his 18th bronze card. Yeah, he goes for it. That's his fourth golden. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's. I mean, it's. What can you say? It's just the worst possible way to end this grand final. Yeah, I was gonna say. It's, I won't lie. It's a bit of a uh, underwhelming final, mate. It final is. Game. But to be fair, they have given us one hell of a final, so. Uh, oh yeah, hundred percent. But I, uh, I mean, 
at this point. It's just kind of a matter of time. Beaver gets the bow truckles. I think he's even sitting on some gold, isn't he? No, he's not. <sighs> no, he's not anymore. And Luzak, I think, literally only has the four chocolate rocks. <laughs> so, yeah. Yep, that was a fuck, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yep. <laughs> From Luzak. I mean, we're having a forest jumpless race a little bit here, but... Yeah, yeah, Beaver gets it first try. It's kind of a remake from the second or third match, I think. Looks like does not yeah. get it first try. Tries the backup, which I don't think works. <laughs> but at least he can still smile after that match, which is good to see. He didn't get a safe book again. So, uh, did not learn his lesson earlier. Man, what a, what a rough finish. Or oh, Beaver was lucky that he didn't die on that. What is Luzak even going for here now? Sponge for Tarts, I guess. Because he jumped. Yes. Oh, that is sadly <laughs> the unmark coming through for the four frogs. Are you gonna. Yep, yeah, thank you. Got it. I mean, at least now that doesn't matter that much anymore, so there's that. It's just rough. <laughs> yeah, it's very rough. It's hard to find words for that. I mean, he might claim the sponge of Vitals at least. Uh, I assume. Yeah, I would assume he would. He's getting the M's, true. He got those in sponge. Oh, yeah. Wait, did he get those in sponge? He only got one, right? Uh, I, I assume he got it. Did, did he get them in the room with that food? I mean, I trust the counting, otherwise it would be unmarked, right? I, I, I don't yeah. remember him being there, but he must have. He must have. He did get them, okay, good. Yeah, Beaver's done with Jumbo's Forest. Oh god, very loud Aragog, but thankfully he's out there quickly. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. So he needs two more cards, and I mean, at this point he can just choose. He knows he's won, Luzak knows he's lost. Uh, yeah, that's all there is to say, sadly. It is an underwhelming final match, like you said. But again, yeah. what, Luzak, uh, what Luke said in chat is very true. Um, Luzak got us to a match five, made us go all the way, which is absolutely... which I didn't expect, to be completely honest with you. It's a very, very, very impressive effort. Definitely, yeah. Uh, I think the fact the fact that he came into the final saying if I win one game I'll be happy and then he's pulled yeah. into a, a decider. Yeah, he won From two. From 2 down as well. Yeah. Really, really impressive. I am... I tip my hat for his, from his bingo... Uh, for his bingo skills. And I'm honestly, if he can bring Beaver to the ropes and almost defeat him this year, I mean, I can't wait what he can do next year, right? Yeah, exactly. Is, is next year the year where uh, we get a new champion? Yeah. I mean, it's been a three-year beaver reign. At some point, it has to stop, right? Well, you think so. Yeah. And beaver is done with... Oh, he's doing quick six scores, I guess. Makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I only got two more to do. Yeah, I'm actually really curious. I think we have a good amount of players that can do well next year. Yeah, definitely. And everyone's got a year to practice now. Yeah, and there will be new goals though. That's a thing to consider. Yes. Which, who knows who, how the players react to it, obviously. Some people might learn them easier than others. Yeah, Kitashi, for example, one of the players who has improved, I think, again this year and still got third again, so... I, I wouldn't be surprised if there's some more upsets next year. Beaver now has six yeah. matches, he needs one more goal. I guess he might just go to Boomslang, honestly. 
He saw that being unmarked. No, he goes somewhere else. <clears throat> I don't know what he, what he's cooking now. Yeah, I say what's 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 the thought? What's the thoughts here? Like at this point, I hope he doesn't go for anything like Harry Carr just to end on Harry because I think Luz like really wants to be done at this yeah. point. <laughs> I think, I think at this point we all do. I think we all just want to get I mean, head. not wrong. I mean, we don't have to draw this out, but I don't think that's what he's going to go for. He goes to Scourge. He's going to get 10 stars. That is reasonable. Yeah, I like that. Because he knows Luzak has been... I mean, he, does he know Luzak has been in there? He defeated Peeve, so he probably assumes. Yeah. Probably the last place he assumed him to be in. Has, has Reema been in every other spell challenge? Like, could he go for the five? Um, has he been in Richter? Yeah, he has been in Richter, right? Yeah, he has been. Has he been? <laughs> yeah, because he got the chasm. Yes, Things. true. Yeah. It's all matches kind of blend together. He hasn't been in Spongify, that is true. Oh, yeah, Spongify, yeah. So, and he's, I mean, that's, I guess, his contingency. And Luzak actually happens to go to Scourge as well. Imagine oh, uh, he overtakes Beaver and snipes it. Level, Imagine. I mean, it's kind of poetic, that's true, that they potentially end in the same level. Oh, oh yeah, he collected the stars in the beginning. He might actually snipe this. No, don't do this to yourself, Luzak. Yeah. But can he get skirt skip? He's been struggling so hard with that trick today. It doesn't, I don't, he can't get the angle. Maybe that's why he went back to Scourge to get his revenge on Skirtska, but... It's not going well. It's not going well at all. I don't think it's... And now it looks a bit more like the angle. This looks good. No, maybe... Nope. Okay, he's, he's, got, he's, he's on the right angle, nope. I think, now. There he's on we it go. now. But the issue is Beaver's already there, so... Uh, basic... I mean, almost there. He's still getting bronze cards as well. But Luzak is actually on pace to snipe the 10 stars here. The one last race is happening. And Beaver just takes every single card as well. Just in case he needs them, which he won't, but... I mean, to be fair, for all he knows, Luzak is withholding like 20 gold, so... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I sure. guess he's not certain yet. <laughs> what a coincidence that they're going for the same level now. That's really stupid. But I guess Beaver is just gonna go to Spondrify and he's gonna get the five stars from there, right? And yeah, then so if, 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 if he gets sniped on this, yeah, yeah. he just goes to Spongify and finishes which, there because... Which yeah. he will get sniped on this, I'm pretty sure, so... Yeah, Luzak is done. That's the last star. He's on five. Yep. That's exactly yeah, the ones it. he was missing. <laughs> Beaver. <laughs> one last snipe. Let's the go. Last snipe. There we go. One last one. He's going for the bronze card, I guess. One last eye roll from the Bingo Champion 2023. I think I can say that much without uh, promising too much. Yeah, I, th I think the uh, we all know the uh, the game is settled. It's a it's a matter of when now. Yeah, I mean, there's so many boards on the uh, so many goals on the board, and Luzak has to get every single one of them. So I don't know. It's gonna be tough, especially because Beaver just has to go to Spondify. and I think Luzak cannot snipe him on this, right? He hasn't been to Rikdu, so. No, yeah, he... the, ain't no way he gets those. I really hope Beaver doesn't collect cards all the way, but I guess it makes sense. Just to be extra sure. Jesus, what a match though. I mean, yeah. incredible final. Incredible. Could not have wished, honestly could not have wished for a better final day. It got very long, but it was entertaining throughout, which is actually impressive. Um, basically every single match during this final day was interesting and close i can't remember one that was a complete like stomp uh which yeah really cool shout outs to the five people that we saw racing today who did an incredible job to I keep agree. us on the edge of our seats okay come on Liam. Just, just get your challenge started. you don't need cards <laughs> i don't think don't. he's getting this one right no, do not do not get this one do not nah. go for the imps no he doesn't no way yeah 
Like, he knows he's so close at this point, and if he needs cards, he can still get them somewhere else. Okay, two away. Mm -hmm. Luzak has warped, meanwhile, out of the Findo, I think. Oh, he just got the five stars. Yeah, he's trying to snipe that one. I mean, to be honest, I give him a lot of credit for continuing as well. Yeah. I know a lot of people that would have just stopped and, I don't know, would have just done nothing, I guess. But at least he's playing. He's giving us some stuff to look at. So that's really nice. Beaver still getting cards, I swear to God. Ah, just get the star! <laughs> <laughs> just end this. He's not getting the star in here for some reason. Is that this fifth one? Yeah, this is number five. And, and there goes. G G's to G -G's. Beaver. G G's to our new bingo champion, new and old bingo champion for three years in a row now. Congratulations, Mr. Beaver. Well, I any, feel any... like it's not deserved. Because yeah. Two of these goals he had. Yeah, I think the feeling, we kind of all have that feeling because that was a really unfortunate anticlimactic final match. But well, still. I think I have like the advantage anyways on cards. So. Well, I. I um, had six more uh, before the break, so yeah, yeah. So I also yeah, gave like up on that, and I was basically okay. It's gonna lose. I'm gonna try to get as many goals as I can and maybe snipe something. <laughs> yeah, like so that. Already, I mean, shout out for continuing. I'm at and sixteen, so like I'm pretty close either way. I wasn't yeah. collecting up to this uh, uh, after this point. Like I have twelve only. Yeah, but to be fair though, Luzak, like, I don't know if you expected to take two matches off of Beaver here today. Uh, so no, my my goal was to take one. Yeah. So, like you you made it really really close. We almost had a new champion here today, and if it was this close this year, then I'm said it in commentary. I'm very curious to see what happens next year. I retire. <laughs> fair enough. Then we at least have a new champion, but. <laughs> We have the final tournament tree, obviously, with Beaver winning the grand final. Loser coming in second. I think if I click this button, ah, well, it kind of worked. I'm still undefeated in uh, in like matches. True, true. You only dropped some like sub matches, yeah. Yeah, and uh, I mean that's what the website says at least. It shows you at exactly. three zero, lose like in second, three wins, one loss in the grand final. And Katashi, why does it show? Oh yeah, it doesn't know we've we've done a bronze match. <laughs> Obviously, Katashi is in third here, Flo in fourth, and then we have Rene Imac Portal and myself in joint fifth. So I guess GG's to us. <laughs> Although yeah. next year we're getting new goals, so at yes. least last year's trio stayed the same. So yeah, we have the same the same top three as last year. Honestly, though, GG's to this match. That was an incredible best of five. I'm glad we decided to do one. Yeah, it yeah awesome. if it would be best of three, then it would be boring. Like, I not agree. boring, but... It would have been less would, less intense. Zero. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I think for now I'll give you the, the final words, Beaver, if you have any as the winner. If you want to hold a speech. Bingo. Honestly, that is the best speech I've ever heard in my life. Thank you. I, I'm quite happy with that one. And uh, yeah, Luzak as well, thank you for playing nine matches today, genuinely, and for helping out with counting as well, I believe, so shout out. Uh, hope you're not completely destroyed for tomorrow, but hope you had fun and GG's to No, anyways. no, that was fine. I hit a break, so if I was counting the matches I was supposed to, then that would be mm -hmm. kind of problematic, but... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's I nine matches. Seven. That's still a lot. lot. No, it, yes, seven. I think the most that anyone's ever played. But yeah, true, you also had quite a few. Hope you enjoyed this tournament. We'll probably, almost definitely, have another one next year, as we already teased with new golds and probably also new and old runners. Uh, I mean, I, I need to rewatch can... the first four matches. Can oh, I yeah. say something? How many times I got sniped? Yeah, sure. Fine. I, I'm gonna do the flipsy flips and flip this back on you and say thank you uh, for an amazing tournament. You've done a lot of hard work behind the scenes organizing this. So can we get some claps in the chat for Nixo, please? Because he's worked his butt off organizing this tournament. Him and his mod team have done an incredible job. And it's been a joy to be a part of it. So thank you, Nixo. Mm, come on. Thank you, thank you. Uh, it's been a blast having this and having those amazing people. I mean, thanks for mentioning the mod team as well. And thanks to everyone else as well. Take care, have a good night, and enjoy your sleep. Stay healthy. It's the most important thing. And bye-bye. 
Bye bye. Hello, it's me again for a small outro for this tournament because life me really wasn't capable of doing it that day because there was a lot going on, I can tell you that much. A lot of good things, obviously. But I'm just basically here to thank everyone once again for being part of this tournament. The absolutely amazing runners that we have, alongside the amazing counters and commentators, they were all genuinely so important for this tournament. And obviously I couldn't have done it without them. We need people that help out, that play in this to give you guys good entertainment, I hope. And I think we delivered with this tournament. I think it was really fun to watch and really cool. And that leads me to my next thanks. Thank you to you guys for watching, for watching this on YouTube, for watching this on Twitch, anywhere really that you did. And uh, I hope you enjoyed, I hope you had a good time. There will be one next year, of course. Couldn't be a year without bingo. So I hope you're gonna stay tuned for that. We'll add some new goals and it's gonna be a completely new competition, which I'm really looking forward to. But thank you so much, honestly, for supporting this, for watching this, and for enabling me to be able to do those cool events and those things hopefully for many many years to come thank you so much everyone enjoy your weekend enjoy the rest of your sunday and i guess again happy new year take care stay healthy and bye bye <laughs>